Chapter 441? Swiftly growing coordination. Duke Key suddenly surged violently within the dense forest. A moment later, a human figure slid against the ground as he shot backward before finally smashing heavily into a protruding rock that was on the ground. His face twitched and a trace of blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. The intense pain that transmitted from his back caused a fierceness and brutalness to flash across this yellow-clothed young man's eyes. However, without waiting for him to act, the black shadow in front of him suddenly flashed and stopped. An enormous dark shadow carried the sound of wind being split as it heavily and angrily smashed at the head of the former in front of him. Don't. The dark shadow pounced in front of him. The terrifying force contained in it finally caused a shock to flash across the yellow-clothed man's eyes as he cried out involuntarily. As the voice of the yellow-clothed man sounded, the dark shadow that was smashing toward his face suddenly stopped. Even though the dark shadow had stopped extremely punctually, the wind that was contained with the swing still passed through the air and ruthlessly caused the yellow-clothed young man's face to go through an upheaval of changes a couple of times as though it was a water wave. Only then did he recover. The dark shadow gradually left and an enormous ruler was heavily inserted into the ground in front of the yellow-clothed man. The black-robed young man looked down at the yellow-clothed man from above. His faint voice caused the latter's face to tremble again, hand over your fire crystal card. You. You are new students. Why do you need our fire crystal cards? The yellow-clothed man swallowed a mouthful of saliva and eyed the four other intense battles going on. His eyes rotated a little as he opened his mouth to ask. Naturally, we want the fire energy. Xiao Yan softly laughed. His palm, which was holding the heavy shoe in ruler tightly, tightened its grasp a little further. He smiled and said, hand over your fire crystal card within 10 seconds, or I will first beat you until you are half dead and take it myself. Which option do you choose? A coldness swarmed into the yellow-clothed man's heart as he eyed the smiling, delicate, handsome face that belonged to Xiao Yan. This fellow was really terrifying. As he sensed the ice-cold tone within Xiao Yan's voice, the yellow-clothed young man felt unwillingness in his heart, but he did not dare to procrastinate. His face was filled with bitterness as he took out a pale, blue-colored crystal card from his storage ring and handed it over to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled as he received the card. His eyes glanced at the number on it, 32, and nodded quietly in his heart. Not bad. A very fruitful harvest. It was really unexpected that this fellow was actually even wealthier than the people that they had previously robbed. Xiao Yan's body suddenly moved as he held the card in his hand. His right leg kicked at the yellow-clothed man's temple, with a strength that was neither hard nor soft, coincidentally controlling the strength such that he only kicked that fellow until he fainted. And not to the extent of him losing his life. Not long after Xiao Yan finished off the yellow-clothed man, the other four battles also approached their ends. A moment later, when four human figures bounced heavily off the ground and collided together, the battle had finally ended. Five Fire Crystal Cards if we subtract the seven days of guaranteed minimum fire energy, we have gotten our hands on a total of 125 days worth of fire energy, which can be distributed. Each person can coincidentally be allocated 25 days of fire energy. There is no disagreement, right? Xiao Yan received the fire crystal cards from the hands of the four of them and calculated. After which, he waved the five cards and smiled as he asked them a question. Yes. The four of them nodded. As they had already agreed on this distribution method, it would naturally be impossible for them to disagree. Seeing that the four of them nodded, Xiao Yan smiled and threw the cards toward the four of them, while speaking with a smile, everyone, take it for yourself. If there is not enough, take it from another crystal card. The five people held a card in each of their hands and used force to rub them against each other. A glow immediately flashed. The original red-colored number on the dark black crystal card increased by a little bit once again. After snatching the fire energy, Xiao Yan threw the pale blue crystal cards back onto the chests of the few Inner Academy students. He smiled at them, who were tied to a tree trunk, immobilized, and said, Seniors, thank you for your gift. We will repay you if we have the time to do so in the future. For now, we will first bid you farewell. Hurry up and leave. I sense that there are other groups headed toward us. Xiao Yan turned around and spoke one sentence to Hu Jia and the other three after which, he waved his hand and swiftly fled into the dense forest. Behind him, the four people, whose faces were filled with excitement, followed shortly after. Now, they suddenly realized that selecting Xiao Yan as the leader was quite a wise decision. 
In just a few hours, they had already successfully obtained the fire energy from two groups of Inner Academy older students. This bountiful harvest really caused them to be extremely excited. Around five to six minutes after Xiaoyan's group disappeared, the tree branches of this part of the forest suddenly shook a little. Immediately, five shadows flashed out. After they appeared and saw those five Inner Academy older students that had been tied to the tree, with even their mouths were covered, their faces were immediately stunned. They exchanged glances with one another. One of them carefully cut the rope. Immediately, that five unlucky people fell down flaxedly and panted swiftly. We were actually robbed by the new students. After catching his breath, that yellow-clothed man immediately jumped up and cursed out loud with a green face. The group of older students, who had just arrived after hearing the clash of the fight, were startled when they heard the curses of this yellow-clothed man. Their faces were instantly filled with strange expressions as they looked at the yellow-clothed man's group. What are you looking at? If you were to meet that group, you would definitely not be in much better shape. Why does this batch of new students have such abnormal fellows? The strange expressions of the other party caused the yellow-clothed man to be furious. He did not care whether it was this group which had fished them out of the deep waters or another. He simply parted his mouth and scolded. In any case, they may be able to rob new students in this forest, but they were also allowed to attack the older students. Rest assured that we will not be as useless as some people who actually had their fire energy stolen by the new students. This is a strange occurrence that has never happened before in the past 10 years of the Inner Academy. In the future, you will likely be considered famous within the Inner Academy. A person leading that group had also become a little angry because of the yellow-clothed man's words and was too lazy to continue stopping here. He waved his hand and led his companions to swiftly move into the dense forest. They immediately disappeared. When you all meet them, you will know the definition of depression. What use is there to have such a tough mouth now? The yellow-clothed man waved his fist furiously at the group which had just left. He took out the pale, blue-colored fire crystal card from his chest and saw the eye-piercing number on it. 7. His expression was gloomy, much like a storm was about to approach. He appeared extremely frightening. Nearly three hours after Xiao Yan robbed the yellow-clothed man's group, they had finally met another solitary group of older Inner Academy students as the sky gradually became dark. This time around, however, their plans were completely dashed. This was because this group of older students had a degree of cooperation and teamwork that far surpassed the expectations of Xiao Yan's group. When they met the two groups from the Inner Academy earlier, Xiao Yan's five-man team had relied on their outstanding individual strength to spread out the opponent and finally defeat each of them individually. This time around, however, they had met a tough metal plate. Although this group had initially felt some panic when they were ambushed by Xiao Yan's five-man group, it was merely for an extremely short while before they swiftly recovered their calm. The five of them had their backs facing each other, much like a metal drum. No matter how Xiao Yan's five-man group tempted them, they only relied on their excellent cooperation and teamwork, combining their strength to resolve the attacks. After this seemingly stalemate-like situation lasted for around half an hour, Xiao Yan finally made a decisive decision waved his hand and lead his team to retreat. This time around, they returned from their hunt without reward. It was also because they had undergone this failure that they clearly understood just what kind of difference existed in the degrees of cooperation of this team of theirs when compared with those of the Inner Academy. After recognizing their shortcomings, Xiao Yan's five-man group also began to feel out and train together. After one sleepless night of training, the degree of cooperation between them may not be said to have soared greatly, but compared to yesterday, it was an enormous improvement. This was because at the very least, they had recently begun to know how to join hands and not just rely on their own strength to interwise with one of the five opponents at the same time, like they had initially planned. It must be said that this one night of cooperation practice among Xiaoyan's five-man group did indeed benefit them greatly. This was because the next morning, Xiao Yan's group had coincidentally and luckily met with the group that had forced them to retreat yesterday. When the two parties met, they were originally startled. Quickly following this, however, a fiery battle once again erupted. This time around, Xiao Yan's group finally, unlike yesterday, did not feel as though their hands and legs were bound. Although they still had difficulty breaking through the metal drum-like cooperation, at the very least, there was the faint trend of them being able to retaliate. That group from the Inner Academy also discovered Xiao Yan's group's improvement. Moreover, they were also shocked to discover that as the entanglement between both parties became more intense, 
the cooperation within Xiaoyan's group was also honed during the battle and gradually became more skillful. If it went on like this, it was likely that they would truly be finished off should they wait until their opponent's cooperation became even more skillful. However, not long after Xiao Yan's group began to have the advantage, Xiao Yan's expression suddenly changed. He could sense that there seemed to be two groups around them, which were flying in their direction and hurrying to this battleground of theirs. Clearly, they were attracted by the undulations of Du Qi caused by the fight here. Immediately, he did not dare to delay any longer. With a wave of his hand he said sternly, let's get out of here. Hearing Xiao Yan's cry, Bai Shan and the others, who had already fought until they had some feeling, were immediately stunned. Although they felt some reluctance toward leaving this good situation, due to Xiao Yan's extremely accurate warning during these two days, they could only forcefully stop and follow Xiao Yan to swiftly flee into the dense forest. Finally, they disappeared from the line of sight of the Inner Academy's group, whose members were covered with perspiration, after having fought against Xiao Yan's group for quite some time. Bastard. The improvement of these fellows is too much. The next time we meet, our cooperation is likely not going to pose much hindrance to them. A young man, who looked like the leader of this group, stared at the spot where Xiao Yan's group had disappeared into. He could not resist softly cursing with a gloomy face. After the fight this time around ended in a draw, this group of older students from the Inner Academy suddenly felt a chill in their hearts as they discovered that this group of new students, three men and two women, seemed to expressively hook onto them. As long as there were no other groups nearby, this group of new students, which were hiding in some dark and quiet corner, would attack them from different directions, tiring them until they were totally exhausted. In a mere short day, this group of older students from the Inner Academy had been attacked by Xiao Yan's group no less than five times. Moreover, during these five instances, they realized that the cooperation and teamwork within Xiao Yan's group was becoming stronger and stronger. Only at this moment did they discover that these fellows were actually using them as a stepping stone. However, by the time that they realized this, it was already a little too late. Therefore, the Currentum had discovered that they were once again surrounded by Xiao Yan's five-man group, which had been lingering and pestering them. This time around, the cooperation that Xiao Yan's five-man group displayed finally caused them to end up in despair. In less than ten minutes, the group, which had caused Xiao Yan's five-man team to be at a loss on their first encounter, was attacked by this group until they fell to pieces. As the loser, the fire energy in their hands naturally served as the spoils of war and were seized by Xiao Yan's group. After this battle, the news that there was a group of new students who were hunting for the fire energy in the hands of the older students of the academy had finally and gradually began to spread within the forest. Therefore, some of the groups of senior students from the inner academy began to panic. The entire forest for the hunting competition had also begun to become chaotic. The good show appeared to have formally begun. End of chapter. Chapter 442. The fighting strength after forming a group. Hey, I heard that there is a group of new students in the forest that hunt the older students instead. Ah. That can't be right. Which group is strong enough to do so? They were actually able to defeat those fellows? Ha ha, who else? Of course it's the strongest group of incoming students. Xiao Yan's group? They have guts. During these two days, we, the new students, were bullied by those bastards in all sorts of ways. Now, it's their turn to taste what it is like to be robbed and beaten. Very good. It really relieves my anger. Ha ha, let's hurry. If we are lucky, we might even be able to meet Xiao Yan's group in the forest. As long as we follow behind them, we need not worry about those older students from the inner academy. Various different kinds of rumors began to spread throughout the forest. By this time, the matter regarding Xiao Yan's group hunting down older students had almost spread throughout the entire forest. Regardless of whether it was the older students or the new student groups, they were all stunned by this shocking news. Not long after this rumor began to spread, just when these people had maintained a doubtful attitude. Four frighteningly gloomy-faced older student groups from the Inner Academy were filled with melancholy and anger as they directly headed to the edge of the forest without hearing or bothering to look around them. Even though they occasionally met some new student groups along the way, they did not attack them. They simply left the forest with dark and solemn faces. The new students may have had some doubts with regards to their actions, but the older student groups understood it very clearly. 
According to the rules, if the older student groups in the forest were to lose any of their fire energy until they had less than 10 fire energy, they would have lost the qualifications to continue staying within the forest to participate in the hunting competition. Moreover, they needed to leave the vicinity immediately. Clearly, these four groups were leaving this place, which caused them great embarrassment in an extremely unwilling manner because the number of their fire energy had fallen below 10. Numerous gazes within the forest sent off the four groups. Immediately, the place became somewhat quieter. It was only a long while later that the doubt still present in some of the gazes finally and completely disappeared. Replacing it was a seriousness and faint anger. The occurrence of new students robbing the older students instead had basically never happened during these past few years. As the older student groups within the inner academy, the current sudden occurrence of such an event happening within this forest was like a slap being ruthlessly thrown onto the faces by the younger classmen. Moreover, this slap was actually loud and clear. New students who are acting in an uppity manner? They will pay the price because of their own arrogance. The gazes of all the older students withdrew from the edge of the forest as they spoke viciously. Immediately, one human figure after another suddenly flashed out from within the forest. Some groups, who thought highly of themselves, began to be unable to endure it any longer as they took the initiative to begin searching for Xiaoyan's group. Each year, the new students were suppressed by the older students. This was basically a tradition at this point. Therefore, they really did not want any new students to break this cycle that they had once undergone. Hence, they currently needed to completely kill off the arrogance of that group of new students. Due to this, the few groups of older students began to rifle through the entire forest. However, after searching for an entire day, they did not find the slightest traces of Xiaoyan's group. Just as they thought that Xiaoyan's five-men group had begun fleeing far away out of fear, this arrogant new student group once again appeared against everyone's expectations. In an empty clearing within the forest, withered, yellow leaves were spread all over the ground, forming a thick layer that looked like a yellow-colored carpet. At this moment, there were five new students, whose faces were covered with dirt and dust on this open ground. They had their backs facing each other as they formed a small circle. Their gazes were filled with anger as they eyed the five young men who had surrounded them. Each of these five young men wore a tower-shaped badge on their chest. Hand over the fire energy and you will avoid a ruthless beating, what do you say? A young man, who was clearly an older student within the inner academy, lifted his eyes. His hair was gathered at his shoulders. At one glance, he had a feminine aura. At this moment, this long-haired young man was eyeing the five new students putting up a resistance as he said with a faint smile. Hand over my ass. If you want, you can directly come and snatch it. I, your father, will go all out and bite you once, even if I have to endure a hard beating. The five new students who were surrounded had a tough character and plenty of attitude. They carelessly wiped the traces of blood from the corner of their mouths, and one of them immediately spat out blood as he cursed furiously. Kiki, what a hard bone. The long-haired young man clapped his hands and laughed softly, all right. Since you all won't cooperate, we can only knock you down first and take it for ourselves. Bah. What is there to be arrogant about? Don't think that you can walk horizontally without fear just because you are older students. When you all meet senior Xiao Yan and the others, you can only obediently hand over your fire energy. Ha ha, who says that us new students don't have the ability to resist? A new student laughed out loud. The laughter contained a ridicule that was difficult to hide. Xiao Yan? The eyebrows of the long-haired young man jumped a little when he heard this name. The smile on his face gradually paled as he coldly laughed, it seems that all of you have placed your hopes on them. Unfortunately, that group has disappeared during these past two days. Who knows where they have gone to hide themselves. The next time that they appear, their ending will not be much better than yours. Hence, stop having such daydreams. Obediently hand over your fire energy, and you can avoid a harsh beating. Once he said that, the long-haired young man waved his hand. His four companions, who had surrounded the new students, slowly took a step forward. Powerful Du Qi arose from within their bodies. As the Du Qi flowed, many of the, the withered yellow leaves began to flutter around. Kiki, the senior, are you referring to us? Just as that group of older students was preparing to defeat the audacious group in one go, a soft laughter suddenly sounded out, ringing throughout the empty clearing. The sudden voice that had sounded caused the flowing dew key in this place to become a little dull. All gazes suddenly followed the direction where the voice had come from, where it was thrown over. Finally, they stopped on a tree branch outside the open area. 
At that spot, three males and two females had unknowingly appeared. They were smiling as they stood there. The black-robed young man leading them had a large black ruler strapped to his back, revealing their identities. Senior Xiao Yan. The group of new students, who were surrounded, paused their stunned gazes on the black-robed young man, before a wild joy immediately swarmed onto their faces. An excited voice was involuntarily shouted out. In this forest, where the new students could only be bullied, Xiao Yan's group was undoubtedly the life-saving last straw within the hearts of all the new students. This was because this was the only group who had successfully defeated the older students. You are Xiao Yan? In that case, you must be that group who is running around hunting down the older students for their fire energy, right? When he heard the young man's shout, the expression of that long-haired youth changed slightly. His gaze stared intently at Xiao Yan's five-man group as he laughed coldly. Very good, it is really unexpected that you all actually have the guts to appear. Seeing Xiao Yan nodding his head, that long-haired young man slowly took a step forward. Powerful Du Qi surged out from within his body. With a wave of his hand, four human figures flashed over from behind him. They immediately landed around this long-haired young man in an orderly manner. It may appear that they were randomly standing around, but it was quite ingenious. This formation would allow them to react to any attack from any direction at any time. Hand over the fire energy? Or shall we take it by ourselves? When the five-man formation was formed, the long-haired youth's confidence greatly soared. He lifted his head and slowly spoke to Xiao Yan. These words. Can you let me say them? Xiao Yan laughed softly. He eyed the dark and solemn expression that was instantly formed on the long-haired young man's face, and a coldness flashed across his dark eyes. His body shook a little and appeared at a spot two meters in front of the long-haired young man in a lightning-like manner. He tightened his fist, and a green-colored dookie swiftly surfaced. Finally, it solidified into a green-colored layer with spikes protruding from his fist. Following its appearance, the strength on Xiao Yan's fist suddenly soared greatly. Presumptuous fellow. The long-haired young man laughed as he coldly eyed Xiao Yan, who was attacking by himself. Before he even spoke, his four other companions flashed out at the same time. The short few steps that distanced them was instantly covered, and four pairs of fists and legs, each carrying a low sonic boom from cutting through the air, violently smashed toward Xiao Yan at the same time. They wanted to rely on their great cooperation and teamwork, using four people's strength to injure Xiao Yan with one blow. Four older students, who were not much weaker than Xiao Yan, attacked at the same time. That force was something that even Xiao Yan would have difficulty receiving directly. However, he simply ignored the attack of these four people. His eyes stared intently at that long-haired young man behind the shadows of the fists. The green-colored Du Qi became increasingly concentrated on his fist. Just as the fists and legs, containing ferocious force, were about to reach Xiao Yan's body, the sharp sound of rushing wind suddenly tore through the air. Human figures flashed past like light. Immediately, everyone was dazzled for a moment, only to see four black shadows descending from the sky like a metal tower, and landed exactly around Xiao Yan. An attack which had already been brewed to perfection was suddenly emitted. In an instant, under repeated low explosive sounds, they heavily collided with the four older students. Energy ripples spread out from the points of collision. The thick, withered carpet of leaves on the ground took flight with a shua sound, turning the leaves into a rain that fluttered through the air. Glug. The fists and legs of the four older students were blocked by Shunur, Bai Shan, Wu Hao, and Hu Jia, who had suddenly appeared. The powerful force caused the former's bodies to tremble slightly. An instant later, they finally could no longer withstand the powerful force that was swiftly being transmitted over. Their faces turned red. Mouthfuls of fresh blood were spat out wildly, while their bodies shot backward like falling leaves in the autumn wind. Finally they sat down on a pile of withered leaves their faces were filled with shock. The moment when the bodies of the four older students fell back, a black shadow immediately followed up. With a flash, he appeared like a ghost in front of the long-haired young man, whose expression had changed drastically. He smiled at the latter as his hand shook. The fist, that was wrapped in a layer of green energy that contained spikes, smashed through defense of his crossed arms that the latter had placed in front of his head and heavily smashed into his shoulders. A force immediately exploded out, and one could hear a clear crack sound. The long-haired young man's body fell and shot back. His feet dragged against the ground, leaving a long scar. Finally, he collided with a tree trunk. A muffled sound appeared, and fresh blood flowed out from the corner of his mouth. 
The long-haired young man rubbed away the blood trace with his hand, and he lowered his pale white face, which was filled with disbelief. Didn't people say that this group of new students had strong individual strength, but the coordination between them was extremely appalling? Why was it that? In just two short days, the cooperation that they displayed was already strong to such an extent. The five new students, who stood in the middle of the empty ground, were stunned as they saw that the victor among the two groups was decided in a mere exchange. They then looked at the black-robed young man, who was twisting his fist while standing tall, as well as the four others beside him. It was a long while later before they inhaled a deep breath of cool air. After these five people formed a group, their combat strength had actually become this strong. End of chapter. Chapter 443. Grand Retaliation. Qi. Xiao Yan smiled a little as he eyed the glow that was emitted from the two fire crystal cards as they were rubbed together. He also smiled at the number on the dark black crystal card, which had jumped up once more. Currently, his fire crystal card stored a full 74 days worth of fire energy within it. If he were to count, it appeared that this amount of fire energy was sufficient for him to train for over two months in the Sky Flame Key Training Tower. This could be considered a plentiful harvest. Adding this group, we should have collected from five groups by now. Shunner returned her crystal card properly. She took one glance at the five people who were tied to the tree trunk after they were knocked out and continued happily, other than the two groups known as the Black White Evil Stopper, we can still snatch from the other three groups. At a pity that this forest is so large. It might become difficult to locate the last three groups within it. Once we expose our whereabouts, it is likely that those groups will all hurry over to surround and cut us off. Although our cooperation is much better after those two days of special training, we can only handle one group at a time. Two groups would be our limit. If there were three, we would definitely be defeated. Hu Jia voiced her thoughts. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. A moment later, his gaze swept across the five new students, who were still standing in the middle of the empty ground, in a stunned state. His heart suddenly moved as he slowly said, currently, there are only three older student groups, not including the black-white evil stopper, who still have the qualifications to participate in this hunting competition. In other words, there are still 15 people. Yet, us new students don't have the restriction where we lose qualification to participate if our fire energy is less than 10. Therefore, I think that there should be quite a lot of new students who are still wandering around within this forest, right? After all, this forest is too big. They don't have a route to follow, so they would have great difficulty successfully leaving the forest within such a short time. What do you plan to do? The four of them were startled when they heard Xiao Yan's words. Bai Shan knit his eyebrows and asked. Gather all the new students together. After that, let news slip to attract the other three groups. Use the strength of all the new students to finish them off altogether. What do you think? Xiao Yan said faintly. Attract all of them over? That means all three groups will be attacking us. What if the other new students are unable to successfully block them? Won't this be similar to a goat entering the tiger's lair? Bai Shan's expression immediately changed a little when he heard this extremely bold suggestion from Xiao Yan. They needed to use tacit cooperation in order to just defeat one group. If it were three groups, the one who would lose would definitely be them. He did not want to give the fire energy which he had snatched with great difficulty to someone else. That may not be true. If there is a sufficiently large number of new students, we will definitely be able to gain the advantage. Don't look down on the other new students. Their strength is definitely not weak if they are able to enter the top 50. It is just due to the lack of cooperation between them that they collapse after receiving a single blow from the older students. Xiao Yan shook his head and replied. Moreover, we cannot continue to drag things out like this. Finding an opportunity to finish all of them off in one go would save us a lot of trouble. Don't you all want to quickly head to the inner academy and witness this sky flame key training tower? Xiao Yan spread his hands and questioned. Ah, we have already spent three or four days within this forest. It is not a solution to continue dragging it out. Wu Hao nodded and replied in a deep voice. I'm fine with anything. At the very most, we will just have to return the fire energy that we've obtained. Hu Jia curled her lips. She faced Xiao Yan and said, now, you are already the group leader. You can just decide on these matters alone. There is no need to be overly sensitive. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head when he heard this. This action of his, to obtain opinions from his companions, had been criticized as being overly sensitive. Ah, uh, all right. I will listen to you once more. Hopefully, you don't ruin it. 
Seeing that Wu Hao and Hu Jia did not have any objections, Bai Shan could only nod his head. He clearly knew that in this group, Xiao Yan already had credibility that caused Hu Jia and Wu Hao to be convinced in their hearts after these two days of fighting together. Moreover, Shunar always agreed with everything that he said. Therefore, Bai Shan's words were basically something that was dispensable in this group. Who let him be in a position where he had few supporters? Seeing that the opinions were once again unanimous, Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He mused for a moment before suddenly turning toward the other five students. With a smile, he walked over and flipped his palm. A couple of healing medicines appeared in his hand, which he then handed over. Are you guys all right? Senior Xiao Yan, thank you very much for lending us a hand. Otherwise, I'm afraid that we wouldn't have been able to escape from being beaten into pig heads today. A young man, who appeared to be the leader, spoke with a face filled with gratitude. He was somewhat excited when he received the healing medicine, which Xiao Yan handed over. Kiki, we are all new students. We ought to support one another. Xiao Yan laughed indifferently. His gaze stared at them as he suddenly asked, do you want to help us retaliate against those fellows? The five new students were startled when they heard this. They naturally understood that the those fellows that Xiao Yan had just mentioned referred to the older students from the inner academy that were participating in the hunting competition. After hesitating for a moment, they grit their teeth and nodded. During these past two days, they had endured quite a lot of those fellows' hopelessly stupid anger, but they only dared to be angry and did not dare to say anything due to the difference in their strength. Since that is the case, I would like you all to help me with something. Xiao Yan smiled and said softly. Senior Xiao Yan has rescued us once, just tell us what needs to be done. When he heard Xiao Yan's words, a young man hurriedly pounded his chest and basically agreed without any hesitation. His companions beside him also nodded with faces that were filled with excitement. Seeing that this small group of people had agreed in such a straightforward manner, Xiao Yan was also startled. Perhaps even he himself did not know how deep of an impression he had left within this batch of new students when he led his group to hunt down the older students. Most of the current new students already viewed Xiao Yan as an idol which they worshipped within their hearts. It was not for any other reason besides him having the strength and courage to contend against those older students who had bullied them. Kiki, in that case, thank you very much. It's like this, I want to ask you to try your best to spread out and search for other new students within the forest. After which, tell them that if they want to regain all the fire energy that they have lost, and that if they trust me, they can all gather at this place. I will lead them in a ruthless battle against those arrogant inner academy students. Xiao Yan cupped his hands toward them and asked softly, may I know if the few of you will agree? All right. Coincidentally, we are communicating with some of the new students. As they were worried of being captured by the older students, many of them have already hidden themselves. The fiery heat swarmed on the five new students' face. They had been led by Xiao Yan's words until their hot blood was boiling. After so many days of being bullied and suppressed, they were now finally able to retaliate. How could they not be excited? Yes, the few of you should take advantage of this opportunity. Additionally, if you were to meet the older student groups alone during the journey, you should first hand over your fire energy to them. I, Xiao Yan, will compensate the fire energy which you have lost after this is over. Xiao Yan sighed in his heart as he reminded these five people. The five new students nodded their heads when they heard this. They immediately cupped their hands toward Xiao Yan and said, Senior Xiao Yan can just wait for us to bring the other new students over. As long as you are leading us, we dare to follow you to retaliate against those bastards. Once they said that, the five of them swiftly separated. Under Xiao Yan's focus, they swiftly entered into the dense forest and disappeared between the moving tree leaves. He he, it's settled. Next, let's wait for the rest of the new students to gather. Once everyone has been gathered, our absolute grand retaliation will begin. Xiao Yan stood up, turned around and smiled as he spoke to Shunur and the three others. Perhaps it was because they had the hope of retaliating against the older students of the inner academy, but the efficiency of the five new students was so outstanding that it caused Xiao Yan to be somewhat astonished. In merely one morning, there were new students carefully appearing around this clearing one after another. Only when they saw that the, the one seated cross-legged between the trees and resting were Xiao Yan's five-man group were they completely convinced. After which, human figures began to flash within the quiet forest. One by one, miserable-looking figures landed and entered into this empty space. When their gazes swept across the five older students who were tied to a tree trunk by Xiao Yan, 
the hatred which had accumulated in their hearts for two to three days finally began to ease up. These new students agglomerated here from various locations and were extremely conscious, not daring to interrupt Xiaoyan's five-man group, who were training with their eyes closed. One by one, they formed a circular shape surrounding Xiaoyan's five-man group. As time passed, more and more new students came flashing out successively from the dense forest toward this empty ground. Their gazes involuntarily gathered on the black-robed young man in the middle of the encirclement, carrying a faint heated worshipful feeling within them. At a certain instance, Xiao Yan, who had his eyes shut, finally opened them slowly. He eyed to the surrounding new students, who were seated cross-legged in an orderly manner around him with sparkling eyes. A gratified smile surfaced on his face. This number did not disappoint him. Everyone, do you want to return the grievances that you endured these past two days due to those self-righteous inner academy's older students? Xiao Yan slowly released his pent-up breath, and his voice suddenly sounded among the trees. Yes. Orderly low furious voices shook the tree leaves on the trees around them. Xiao Yan nodded slightly as he eyed the fury and resentment that swarmed onto the faces of the new students. What he wanted was this fury that had agglomerated into anger. The tree branches between the trees suddenly moved. Two or three human figures flashed out. There were instantly dozens of gazes jumping over from the open ground. Senior Xiao Yan, we did as you asked and exposed our position to the other three groups. Now, they are likely hurrying to this place. Good. Xiao Yan clapped his hands together heavily. He suddenly stood up and his gaze looked around at the new students, whose eyes were filled with fury, despite their miserable appearance. In a deep voice, he said, everyone, hide yourselves properly. Today, we will give those haughty older students a ruthless slap. As Xiao Yan's voice fell, nearly 40 students immediately began entering the dense brush around them in an agile manner. In just a blink of an eye, the originally crowded open ground had once again become empty. Everyone, prepare yourselves. We need to finish them off in one blow. Xiao Yan smiled and reminded Shunur and the three others. Yes. On top of a huge tree somewhere in the dense forest, two old men were sitting cross-legged there with open eyes. They looked at one another. The soft laughter slowly reverberated through the air. He he, it's going to get lively now. End of chapter. Chapter 444. The Fight Between the Strong. Xiao Yan's group of five sat cross-legged with their eyes shut on the empty forest ground. The entire forest descended into silence. However, that somewhat pressuring low yet deep atmosphere indicated that there was going to be a storm arriving in this place. The silence continued for an unknown length of time. At a certain moment, Xiao Yan, who had his eyes tightly shut, suddenly opened them. His gaze suddenly swept towards the north side of the forest. More than ten powerful keys had already appeared within the range of his spiritual perception from that location. They are coming. Xiao Yan let out a gentle breath. He twisted his body, and the vortex in his body trembled slightly. Threads of Du Qi came flowing out. Finally, it became like a flood that was galloping and circulating through his key paths. The feeling of being filled with strength caused Xiao Yan's condition to rise to the peak just before the arrival of this big battle. Hearing Xiao Yan's soft words, Shunur and the four others beside him also opened their eyes. They nodded slightly, and a faint Du Qi glow began to become partially visible on the surface of their bodies, waiting for the big fight that was imminent. Not long after Xiao Yan spoke, some brushes in the distance suddenly shifted a little. More than ten shadows immediately flashed out, and their feet landed heavily on the empty plot of land almost simultaneously. Like ocean waves, powerful keys immediately swept over Xiao Yan's five-man group, who were seated cross-legged. Bang! Just as the oppressive aura entered a five meters radius from Xiao Yan's five-man group, five different colored powerful keys suddenly erupted from within their bodies, turning into a bright curtain of Du Qi that lingered in the air above them, completely blocking the rampaging aura. They do indeed have some skill. No wonder they dare to be so arrogant. Seeing that their oppressive force was nullified, a look of surprise flashed across the face of a young man who wore a smile and blandly said. Xiao Yan slowly lifted his head. His gaze swept across the ten-plus young men on the other side of the open clearing. He counted carefully. There were exactly fifteen people. In other words, other than the black-white evil stopper groups, the last three groups in this hunting competition had arrived. Very good. Xiao Yan nodded his head gently. His voice carried a little laughter that resounded throughout the empty ground. Finally, all of you have arrived. Your arrogance ends right now. Hand over the fire crystal cards. A young man, 
whose hair was slightly white, perhaps as a result of some reason, glanced at Xiaoyan's five-man group. He coldly said. Don't think that just because you have some strength you can break the rules. In so many years, the rules of the fire energy hunting competition was to let the older students give you arrogant new students a blow within this forest. This is beneficial to your inner academy life in the future. This rule had persisted for many years. No one can break it. If you want to become the first people who do so, you might have to prepare yourselves to pay the price for it. Xiao Yan laughed. He grasped the hilt of the heavy Shuin ruler in his hand. A black shadow immediately flashed past. The heavy ruler carried a tyrannical force which blew the withered leaves on the ground until they drifted apart. He glanced at the three groups in front of him and said. Don't tell me about those antiquated rules. Since you can snatch the fire energy in our hands, why aren't we allowed to do the same? As long as you have strength, the position of the hunted and the hunter can change any time. Currently, you are all our prey. Very presumptuous. However, I have also seen quite a number of people like this in the past. However, they did not fare very well upon arrival in the inner academy. A young man with a huge build coldly laughed. Looking at the position where he stood, he appeared to be the leader of one of the groups. His skin was strangely a grayish white, appearing like rock. His arm, which was nearly double the size of an ordinary person's, also appeared to have a feeling of great strength. Clearly, this young person should be the kind of person whose physical strength was extremely high. I admit that you are all quite strong. However, for the sake of the face of the older students, we do not plan to have a fair fight this time around. A young man who had a smile plasters on his face shrugged. After which, he smilingly said towards the two young men who had spoken earlier. Leng Bai, Xu Yan, let's attack together. From the looks of their keys, it might be quite difficult for us to obtain victory within a short time with just my group. Yes. The two young men known as Leng Bai and Xu Yan hesitated for a moment before nodding their heads. Even if they ended up with a reputation of relying on more people to bully a smaller group, they must completely suppress these arrogant new students. Otherwise, once the news of these new students robbing the older students spread throughout the inner academy, the older students who participated in this fire energy hunting competition would have difficulty raising their heads in the inner academy. As the two of them nodded, fifteen powerful keys suddenly erupted from the area. Their aura turned into energy ripples that directly blew the withered leaves off the ground until they danced in the sky. Sorry, but actually, we did not intend to fight fairly either. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and watched the somewhat eye-piercing Du Qi glow on the other side. He smiled and immediately waved his hand. Following which, a sharp whistle was emitted from his mouth and resounded through this section of the forest. Shua. Shua. Xiao Yan's whistle had just sounded when dozens of human figures suddenly flashed out from the surrounding dense thicket. Finally, they formed a circle and surrounded the fifteen older students in the middle. Various colored Du Qi agglomerated on the surface of their bodies. Although their individual strength could not be considered close to that of the 15 older students, having dozens of Du Qi appearing at the same time immediately caused their force to become the stronger one present. The moment the dozens of human figures appeared, the expressions of the three group leaders suddenly became gruesome. At this very moment, they had finally understood what happened. Immediately, the expression of the smiling young man became somewhat dark and solemn as he said. I'm afraid that the news earlier was something that you allowed to be leaked, right? As he sensed the powerful force that erupted from over 40 new students, Xiao Yan heaved a long sigh of relief in his heart. With the help of these new students, he had absolute confidence that he could completely decimate these three groups. Good tactics. It is just that I did not expect that you would have the boldness and resolution to actually gather all the new students together. When Xiao Yan did not reply, it naturally meant that he admitted to it silently. Seeing this, an additional seriousness and shock could not help but appear in that young man's voice. During the fire energy hunting competitions in the past, there was no lack of new students who wanted to gather all their strengths together and retaliate against the thieving older students. However, which of these students could pass through the qualifying competition and enter the inner academy did not belong to the top of their own class. They were naturally extremely unwilling to listen to someone else's commands. Hence, very seldom would there be anyone who could successfully gather all the new students together in the past fire energy hunting competition. Yet, Xiao Yan had successfully done so. It was no wonder that this older student would lose himself. You overpraise me. Xiao Yan smiled faintly. He slowly lifted the heavy ruler in his hand and smilingly said. I would like to trouble you to hand over your fire energy. 
many of us, these new students have been robbed by you. Therefore, they need to take back what is rightfully theirs. Ugh. The same young man sighed once again. He turned his head to face the other two group leaders, Leng Bai and Xu Yan, and said. Looks like there is going to be a bitter battle today. From the looks of it, we can only work together. Yes. I was coincidentally thinking of trying out just how strong the top five new students were. The large built Xu Yan slowly clenched his fist. As his hand curved, his steel-like muscles flexed slightly, giving off a feeling of him releasing strength. To capture a thief, one must first capture their king. Although there are many new students, their courage is merely built on the person called Xiao Yan. Once we defeat him, this coalition of new student will naturally collapse. Su Xiao, looks like the three of us will have to cooperate. A glint flashed in Leng Bai's eyes as he managed to identify the weakness of the new students with a single glance. Since that is the case, then let's allow the strong to face off against the strong and forcefully tear apart their barrier. Hearing this, the young man called Su Xiao smiled and immediately waved his hand gently. His voice was slowly emitted. Leng Bai, Xu Yan, and I will stop the three people in front of us. The others should block the new students and the two beautiful girls on the opposite sides. The twelve inner academy's older students nodded their heads upon hearing Su Xiao words. Although there were a large number of new students, these new students were much weaker than them. It should not pose too much of a problem to block them. Huh. Su Xiao let out a long breath and slowly took a step forward. Leng Bai and Xu Yan similarly took a step forward to stand beside him. The ground trembled slightly when their feet landed on it. The force of the three of them, which was around that of a six-star Da Dushi, abruptly surged out from within their bodies and swept over the entire empty ground. Each of you will take one. This is a tough battle. The men will face them. Shunar, you and Hu Jia should help the new students hold off the attacks of the twelve older students. Xiao Yan's expression solidified as he eyed the force that was emitted from the bodies of Su Xiao and the two others. He turned his head and spoke to Shunar. Yes. Be careful, big brother Xiao Yan. Shunar nodded gently as she and Hu Jia slowly stepped back. Finally, their bodies flashed as they merged into the new student group. Leave that big fellow to me. Wu Hao's gaze swept over the three of them. Finally, it stopped on the grayish-white skinned young man and spoke calmly. He specialized in strength and speed. Therefore, when he chose his opponent, it would naturally tend to be people who were of the physical strength type. Leave that white-haired fellow to me. Bai Shan hesitated a little before his gaze paused on Leng Bai. In that case, I will be seeking advice from senior Su Xiao. Xiao Yan smiled. He waved his heavy ruler, and the sound of wind tearing caused all the withered leaves on the ground around him to drift away. Ah, it is very expected that we would be actually arranged and chosen by others. Seeing the action of Xiao Yan's three men group, Su Xiao laughed. He raised his hand slowly and immediately pulled it down. His laughter contained additional killing intent. Let's fight and finish this quickly. Remember, do not look down on these fellows even a little bit. They are all very strong. Yes. Leng Bai and Xu Yan nodded with serious expressions. Just as the sound was emitted from their noses, the three figures started moving like lightning at almost the same time. They turned into flashes of light and shot explosively towards Xiao Yan and the other two. At the moment that Su Xiao and the other two moved, Xiao Yan's three-man group also disappeared from the spot with a Shua sound. The next time they appeared, six human figures were already in the middle of the empty ground. As the strong began to fight, powerful blows were thrown. End of chapter. Chapter 445. The Start of the Big Fight. Bang. Six human figures tore through the hindrance of the air in a lightning-like manner in the forest clearing. In an instant, they collided in the center, and Duki surged out like an erupting volcano, permeating through the air. As the Duki collided, they formed a strong Duki wind that shattered all the withered leaves on the ground. Xiao Yan's opponent was the young man called Su Xiao. His physique was perhaps the most delicate and weakest among the three group leaders. However, from the discussion earlier, Xiao Yan knew that this fellow should be a little stronger than the other two people. Otherwise, with the haughtiness that Leng Bai and Xu Yan displayed, they would not pay much attention to his words. However, the two of them did not disagree with the various suggestions of Su Xiao just now. It was like Su Xiao was their leader. Qi. The large heavy Shuan ruler cut through the air as it carried a cluster of black shadows and immense crushing winds, like a large mountain pressing down, as it smashed heavily down towards Su Xiao, who had appeared in front of him. 
The enormous ruler was merely half a foot from Su Xiao's head when the latter's body gently drifted one step back like a leaf being lifted by a gentle breeze. The enormous ruler merely carried its force past Su Xiao's body by about half an inch. The wind that was contained in it blew Su Xiao's hair until all of it was lifted. Very great strength. Su Xiao smiled and said after narrowly avoiding the attack from Xiao Yan's heavy ruler. His feet immediately pressed against the ground, and his body appeared as though it was weightless as he suddenly charged forward. He deceivingly approached close to Xiao Yan in an instant, and two dark daggers that were around two inches long shot into Su Xiao's hands from his sleeves. Immediately, his hands danced like a windmill as the dark daggers quietly carried numerous afterimages and a faint rotating wind around their tips. They stabbed in a wild, dazzling manner directly at Xiao Yan's body. Su Xiao's attack where he waved his two daggers had a speed that was quite shocking. In terms of attacking speed, Xiao Yan admitted that he would not be able to achieve such speeds. He may be unable to achieve such speed, but it was not too difficult to defend against. The size of the heavy Shuin ruler may be big and heavy, but it similarly had an advantage that was difficult to conceal. When the heavy ruler was pulled back, it would appear in front of Xiao Yan like a shield. All of those nearly endless dagger attacks of Su Xiao all ended on the ruler's blade. One could only hear continuous clang sounds and see sparks flying in all directions. In just a couple of breaths time, Su Xiao had waved his dagger nearly 20 to 30 times in a somewhat crazed and wild manner. However, these swift and violent lightning-like dagger attacks were completely useless against Xiao Yan's impenetrable heavy ruler defense. From the faint rotating wind shrouding Su Xiao, it appeared that the duke he practiced belonged to the fast and agile wind affinity. Therefore, his speed and agility were truly shocking. After seeing that his wave of violent attacks were unsuccessful, Su Xiao did not withdraw because of it. Instead, he relied on his drifting, leaf-like agility and repeatedly flashed around Xiao Yan. The dagger on his hand would occasionally draw a cold arc as it shot explosively toward the occasional gaps which Xiao Yan revealed. In his heart, he clearly knew that the heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand held great lethality. If he allowed the opponent to pull apart the gap between them and use it, it would pose an extremely great threat to him. Hence, he could not afford to give Xiao Yan any opportunity to use his ruler to its maximum capabilities. If he wanted to fight, he needed to suppress his opponent until the latter had no means of retaliating. When he fought with others in the inner academy, Su Xiao relied on his agility and attack speed, which he was proud of, to suppress his challengers until the latter was at a huge disadvantage before the latter could completely display their strength. The strength of a six-star Dadushi. The students in the inner academy are indeed very strong. Xiao Yan's body occasionally moved slightly. The heavy ruler in his hand was like a shield, repeatedly moving and flashing about all around his body. His peripheral vision repeatedly swept around him. Although Su Xiao's attack speed and agility was somewhat beyond his expectations, for Xiao Yan, who had spiritual perception to act as his eyes, he would be able to absorb everything within his field of vision almost instantly, regardless of when the opponent attacked. After which, he would adopt defensive and counterattack measures. Therefore, it may appear that Su Xiao was violently attacking in the battleground, but he did not pose even the slightest bit of a threat to Xiao Yan. On the other hand, Xiao Yan had already roughly grasped Su Xiao's strength during their contact earlier. He could not help but be amazed in his heart. Su Xiao's age was perhaps merely around 25 years. Although this kind of training speed did still have some gap when compared with himself, it could be said that it was quite remarkable to possess this kind of strength at that age. Back then, when Xiao Yan was in the Jiama Empire, the strongest Da Du Shes he had met, with the exception of Nailin Yanren, were mostly people who had stepped into their middle-aged years. Moreover, Xiao Yan's father, Xiao Zhan, was included among them. From this, it was evident that with Su Xiao's achievements, he was likely called a genius, regardless of where he was placed in the Jiama Empire. However, a genius of this class was not considered to be rare within the Inner Academy. It is indeed where the core of the Jianan Academy lies. This Inner Academy is really causing my curiosity to grow. Xiao Yan muttered in his heart. He waved his hand, and the heavy ruler abruptly swung toward the back. Finally, it deflected aside two daggers which had pierced over in a lightning-like manner. At this moment when a fierce battle had begun where Xiao Yan was at, the other places had also suddenly entered into battles that would cause people's heated blood to boil. In an instant, roaring sounds, the sound of swords and knives colliding, and the explosion of Du Qi, repeatedly appeared in the originally quiet and empty forest. 
it was like a firecracker, appearing extremely lively. Faced with Leng Bai, whose strength was similar to his own, Bai Shan did not dare to slight the former by even a little. The long, silver-colored lance in his hands was like a giant lightning python. As it swung abruptly and violently, lightning cut through the air and carried a chi-chi sound, which was extremely frightening. That Leng Bai was quite surprised by the strength which Bai Shan displayed. His expression gradually became serious. His hand held an extremely large knife with a cold glint. The cold aura was sharp as he hacked down and pulled it up. Occasionally, when the blade cut past Bai Shan's clothes, it would cause some red dots to rise up on his skin. Compared to Xiao Yan's and Bai Shan's fights, Wu Hao's one was the one which caused people's heart to be gripped with fear. The young man called Xiu Yan did not use any weapons. However, during battle, there was a grayish-white Du Qi shrouding his entire body. Under the cover of this Du Qi, his originally grayish-white skin had turned into something like a mountain rock, giving people an extremely eye-piercing view of rigid strength. As he waved both his enormous fists, they were like rocks flying past. If it was a timid person, it was likely that he would not dare to recklessly fight head-on with Xu Yan. Xu Yan's attack completely belonged to the pure force type, which completely lacked any tricks. If it was another person fighting with him, the opponent might perhaps adopt an evasive fighting style to combat him. Wu Hao, however, was different. Seeing the heavy blood-colored sword that he used, which was similar to Xiao Yan's heavy ruler, his strength was also terrifying. This was indeed the case. When faced with Xu Yan's heart attacks, he did not even take half a step back. Blood-colored Du Qi unceasingly surged out from within his body. He immediately waved his heavy fists, carrying a soft and low explosive sound, as he repeatedly caused head-on collisions with Xu Yan. This stance of his where he did not evade also caused Xu Yan to feel more comfortable the more they fought. When he fought with people within the inner academy, there was seldom anyone who would fight with him in this manner. Immediately, he could not resist the pleasant feeling within his heart as he faced the sky and laughed loudly. He might have been laughing, but the whirling smashes of his fist had not weakened even a little because of this. Instead, the attacks had become increasingly sharp. The hoo-hoo sound of the wind from his fist shook people until their eardrums ached. Within half a meter radius of him, any drifting withered leaves that came into contact with his fist would be shattered into a pile of powder. On the open empty grounds, intense energy explosions were repeatedly emitting from the three battlegrounds. Six human figures were like glue as they adhered to one another. Their underlying strength was like blades. When they were occasionally revealed, they would cut the trees surrounding them into two, right down the middle. Outside these three battles, the most lively area naturally belonged to the place where the group of new students were fighting with those twelve older students. Multicolored Du Keys stained the battlefield until it appeared very colorful and extremely gorgeous. In this chaotic battle circle, the new students might have greater numbers, but they were disadvantaged in that they did not have good cooperation or teamwork. On the other hand, the twelve older students in the inner academy not only had individual strength that far surpassed the new students, but also a degree of cooperation that was far from what the new students could hope to compare with. Hence, after this battle had begun, there would occasionally be new students who were sent flying from this battle circle. However, the disadvantage of the new students began to gradually turn around with the participation of Shunur and Hu Jia. This was because with the cornerstone, the new students' attacks gradually became orderly. Finally, Shunur and Hu Jia each brought some new students as they cut the metal drum defense of the twelve older students like two sharp knives. Spreading apart the twelve men group which was hugged close together and gradually swallowed them up. It must be said that the effect Shunur and Hu Jia had achieved was extremely important. After the other party's defensive circle was torn apart, the older students finally began to panic. In merely seven to eight minutes, there were two to three older students who were heavily knocked out of the battle circle after their bodies received more than ten fists and legs at the same time. After which, they threw up blood and collapsed. The entire battlefield had gradually turned white hot at this moment. The degree of brutality of the battle also caused people to be somewhat stunned. Other than not having caused any deaths, there were quite a number of people who due to their reddened eyes had beaten their opponents until the latter was seriously wounded. Among them were both new students and older students. In summary, the fire energy hunting competition this year would likely shake the entire inner academy. This was because this was the first time in the last 10 years where the new students participating in the hunting competition had pressured the older students to such an extent.
As the fight in the battleground entered this white-hot phase, a change finally began to occur in Xiaoyan's battleground. After exchanging blows for over 10 minutes, Xiao Yan could be considered to have completely grasped Su Xiao's attack patterns. Following this, it was time for the latter's wild storm-like attacks to cease. Xiao Yan's hand held the heavy ruler tightly. He let out a low cry as his body began to swiftly spin like a gyro. The enormous black and dark shadow carried a frightening wind that covered the region within a two-meter radius from his body. Clang! Xiao Yan's sudden change from defense was also beyond Su Xiao's expectations. He swiftly pulled his body back as his hand pressed a dagger into the ruler's body in an extremely skillful manner, using the force to push his body into the air. Seeing Su Xiao leap back, the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth lifted into a cold smile. The heavy ruler in his hand was abruptly inserted into the ground, and his hands quickly formed some seals. An instant later, his head tilted back a little, while his mouth formed a convex shape and instantly opened in a sudden manner. Immediately, a tiger's roar that contained a strange sound wave was emitted from Xiao Yan's mouth. The roar had just come out from Xiao Yan's mouth when Su Xiao, who was facing him on the opposite side, suddenly felt an explosive thunder-like rumbling within his mind. In an instant, Su Xiao's mind sank to a giddy and feigned state. Lion Tiger Gold Shattering Roar. This was the Sonic Dew technique which Xiao Yan had practiced just before his trip to enter the Inner Academy. Now that he had displayed it for the first time, he obtained an effect that caused him to rejoice. Although Su Xiao's giddiness lasts for merely an instant, this instant would determine the victor in the battle between the strong. End of chapter. Chapter 446. Temporary Victor. As the momentary giddiness in his mind disappeared like lightning, the heart of Su Xiao, who had recovered, immediately tightened a little. He clearly knew just what kind of a price he would have to pay for being absent-minded at such a moment. His expectations were not wrong. With Xiao Yan's eyesight, how would he easily abandon this kind of opening? Therefore, the instant Su Xiao recovered, Xiao Yan's feet stepped off the ground, and a clear energy explosion sounded from beneath him. The energy attack waves directly shook the ground until a hole, around half an inch deep, was formed. Xiao Yan borrowed the powerful and violent shooting strength as his body became like a ghost, appearing above Su Xiao's head in a single breath. He tightened his fist. Without any tricks, he used this incomparably powerful Du Qi in strength as his fist ruthlessly smashed toward Su Xiao's head. The fist, which was usually not very large, was like the fist of a giant at this moment. The force contained on it directly cut through the air. A sharp rushing wind sound and a deep low sonic boom merged together. It appeared to have exploded within people's hearts, causing people to be unable to endure the fear that rose in them due to the frightening power, resulting in them being afraid to put up defenses. This fearful feeling within Su Xiao's heart lasted for merely an instant before it was forcefully tossed out of his heart. Faced with this swift and violent thunderclap-like attack, he could only swiftly circulate the Du Qi in his body in haste. Finally, a pale green Du Qi armor appeared on his body with a bright glow. His head was immediately tilted back as he forcefully avoided his vital points. The fist, covered with green-colored Du Qi, was affixed to Su Xiao's front and finally heavily smashed against his chest. The Du Qi was momentarily silent before it unleashed an extremely powerful strength like a volcano erupting as Xiao Yan let out a low cry within his heart. Octane Blast. The low and deep cry accompanied the frightening force that had caused Su Xiao's expression to change greatly. The force was like an overflowing surge of flood water, completely smashing down on the firm armor that protected the latter's body. Immediately, a green-colored energy ripple abruptly formed a circular shape as it spread turbulently out from the point of contact between the two. Most of trees in the dense forest at the side were severed horizontally while being engulfed by this energy ripple. The emerald green tree leaves were like green-colored rain covering this entire open forested area. Crack. Following the spread of the energy ripple, a clear cracking, ear-piercing sound suddenly sounded through the air. In the reflection of Su Xiao's shock-filled eyes, one could see that numerous crack lines were swiftly spreading through his hard Duki armor. In a mere second, the crack lines covered the entire armor. Finally, the Duki armor was overwhelmed. A cracking sound appeared as it shattered into glowing shards that floated into the sky. It was separated from Su Xiao's body and quietly turned into nothingness. With the final defense broken, the force on Xiao Yan's palm, which had not been completely resolved, firmly landed on Su Xiao's body. Under the erosion of his force, which was still strong and violent, a sleek redness swarmed onto Su Xiao's shocked face. 
A blood trace immediately spilled out from the corner of his mouth. A moment later, he finally could no longer resist a spreading of the force as a mouthful of bright red fresh blood was wildly spat out. His body also appeared to be like a bird which had lost its wings, powerlessly smashing down to the ground. The fresh blood which had been spat out from Su Xiao's mouth evaporated into nothingness upon entering a one-foot radius of Xiao Yan due to the high temperature exuded from his body. Xiao Yan's toes pressed off the empty air and his body rolled in the air before landing beside the heavy Shuin ruler. Only after he landed did the sound of a heavy object landing on the ground ring out. He tilted his head slightly and saw Su Xiao lying on a pile of withered leaves with a face that was already pale. The shock in the latter's eyes still remained. A person whose strength was around that of a 5-6 to six star Da Du Xi had revealed a fatal opening under Xiao Yan's unexpected lion tiger gold shattering roar. Finally, he was completely defeated under Xiao Yan's thunderclap-like attack. Xiao Yan shook his somewhat numb fist and once again grasped the hilt of the heavy Shuin ruler tightly in his palm. His gaze carried an ice coldness as it swept across the other battlegrounds, which were still in an extremely chaotic stalemate. His ice-cold voice suddenly spoke up, Su Xiao has already been defeated. Do you still want to continue? The sudden cry sounded beside everyone's ears like exploding thunder. At this moment, the chaotic battlefield immediately turned quiet. Various sounds of knives and swords clashing also came to an abrupt halt at this moment. All the gazes followed the origin of these words and moved, finally stopping on Xiao Yan, who was holding a heavy ruler in his hand, as well as Su Xiao lying on the ground behind a former, unable to move. Su Xiao had actually lost? The two gazes which paused on Su Xiao's paper white face coincidentally belonged to Leng Bai and Xu Yan, who were facing Bai Shan and Wu Hao. Their expressions suddenly changed. It should be known that if they were to discuss who was the strongest among the three of them, Su Xiao was ranked at the top. However, no matter how they imagined the battle, they would never have thought that in this battle, Su Xiao would actually be the first to be defeated. Moreover, he was defeated in such a swift and straightforward manner. This fellow is already strong to such an extent? Shock surfaced in Leng Bai and Xu Yan's eyes as their gazes swiftly turned from Su Xiao's body to Xiao Yan, who was holding the heavy ruler in his hand. Only now did they understand a little about why this young man, whose age seemed to be a little younger than most people on the battlefield, would actually have the courage and resolution to gather all the new students together. With this kind of strength, forget about the new students, even some of the older students in the inner academy were likely no match for him. Group leader bastard, your attacks were actually so vicious. Brothers, let's go all out against them. If we are to be defeated by a group of new students, how would we be able to survive in the inner academy in the future? An angry shout suddenly sounded from within the quiet atmosphere of the battleground. Immediately, three human figures covered by Du Qi suddenly shuttled out of the chaotic battleground and shot explosively toward Xiao Yan. The cry which had suddenly appeared broke the silence within the battleground. It also caused some fierce auras to swarm into the eyes of the older students. Reputation was extremely important within the inner academy. They did not want to end up with an embarrassing reputation. Otherwise, it would really be as the cry had said. How would they survive in the inner academy? As the fierce auras surfaced, powerful Du Qi once again surged out from the remaining older students. Finally, they fiercely pounced on the new students, who had suffered heavy losses. When they attacked, there was an additional ruthlessness. Xiao Yan did not expect someone would pose a disturbance at the critical juncture after he had put in great pains to use the might of having defeated Su Xiao to quell the older students. Immediately, an anger appeared in his heart. He coldly watched these three figures who had shot explosively over. His hand suddenly released the heavy Shuin ruler as his feet stepped on the ground. His body charged forward instead of withdrawing and took the initiative to charge into an area surrounded by the three people as he shot forward. A shapeless force exploded out of his palm in all directions, striking the three-man formation until it was broken into pieces. Bai Shan, Wu Hao. Finish your battle quickly. Stop holding back. Green-colored Du Qi enwrapped Xiao Yan's entire body as he shouted out in a low voice. His body immediately flashed and appeared behind one of the older students like a ghost. His heavy palm was thrown out and imprinted itself on the latter's shoulder in a lightning-like manner. The powerful force directly pushed the latter until he staggered. Finally, he became like a rolling gourd as he rolled a long distance away before he knocked into a tree trunk and fainted. The current Xiao Yan undoubtedly displayed his usual strength to its peak form. Having separated from the restraints of the heavy Shuin ruler, 
his speed was as swift as a shadow. The other two Inner Academy's older students could merely rely on the tremors of the air around them to identify Xiao Yan's location. However, they were clearly not adept in using this ability to identify Xiao Yan's position. Therefore, in merely a couple of minutes, the two people received a few heavy punches. They continued to endure it in this manner for another four to five minutes before their bodies finally feebly collapsed and they temporarily lost their senses. The strength of the three of them were around that of someone who had just entered the Da Dushi class. This strength could be considered among the top for an ordinary new student. However, in the face of Xiao Yan, a six-star Da Dushi with extensive combat experience, it was not too difficult to finish them off. It was already extremely extraordinary for the three of them to rely on their cooperation to drag it out with Xiao Yan for quite a while. Although the Xiao Yan's surface strength was around that of a six-star Da Dushi, due to him carrying the extremely heavy heavy Shuin ruler for a long time, his speed, strength, and even endurance far exceeded that of an ordinary six-star Da Dushi. Moreover, after Xiao Yan was separated from the heavy Shuin ruler, even if he did not display any agility do techniques, his speed would likely rival that of a seven or even eight-star Da Dushi. Of course, Xiao Yan did not possess that kind of agility do ki, which could flash and dodge during combat. The agility do technique, which he had obtained long ago, did have a great assaulting force when traveling in a straight line. However, when it came to close combat, it was completely useless. Moreover, he had yet to practice the D-class agility do technique 3000 lightning movement. Hence, Xiao Yan had mostly relied on his own agility to contend with his opponents. Even though this was the case, Xiao Yan still did not spend too much strength in defeating the three older students who had just entered the Da Dushi class. During the 10 minutes where Xiao Yan was entangled with those three older Inner Academy's students, the other three battlegrounds had also entered into the ending phase of the fight. There was hardly any difference in Bai Shan's and Leng Bai's strength, but it was clear that the key method and do techniques the former practiced were of a much higher grade than the latter. Although it was difficult to distinguish who was better when they started to fight initially, the benefits of a higher key method gradually showed itself once the battle dragged on. The moment when Leng Bai's do key began to pale, Bai Shan was still filled with do key. After being entangled like this for another 10 minutes, Bai Shan finally shook and pushed back the pale-faced Leng Bai, after displaying the powerful attacking Du Qi he had used when fighting with Xiao Yan in the qualifying competition. The instant that Leng Bai withdrew, a long silver-colored lance broke through the air in a lightning-like manner. Finally, with a qi sound, it stopped just in front of the latter's throat. Immediately, the latter's entire body stiffened as he raised his hands. Seeing that Leng Bai chose to admit defeat, Bai Shan's throat rolled a little. His rapid breathing caused his chest to swiftly rise and fell. The beads of perspiration that dripped down from his face also indicated that he did not win this battle in a relaxed manner. End of chapter. Chapter 447. The fisherman follows after the fight between the sandpiper and the mussels. The long lance that paused in front of Leng Bai was not withdrawn. The corner of Bai Shan's mouth was lifted in a pleased manner when he eyed the somewhat stiff face of his opponent. He turned his head slightly as he lifted his eyes and swept them toward Xiao Yan. When he saw Su Xiao and the three Inner Academy's older students who had fallen to the side, the pride on the corner of his mouth involuntarily gradually dimmed. Some coldness and envy could not help but flash through his eyes. The him, who had a haughty character, really did not like the feeling of being firmly suppressed by someone. At the Outer Academy in the past, he completely deserved being one of the most outstanding people there, receiving the respectful gazes of all the students. This type of treatment was suddenly broken apart after the appearance of Xiao Yan. This caused his chest, which was not very wide, to not feel even the slightest positive feeling toward Xiao Yan. Although he had obtained quite a lot of benefits from following Xiao Yan during this entire journey, his heart firmly thought that this was merely because each of them held what the other required. Xiao Yan wanted nothing more than to borrow his strength to obtain the fire energy from the other Inner Academy students to satisfy his desires. In Bai Shan's heart, he had never treated him as a true group leader. It was merely just using each other for what they required. However, the greatest victor in this exchange is still him. Bai Shan's eyes swept over some of the new students. He could see respect and worship toward Xiao Yan from within their eyes. Clearly, the courage and resolution Xiao Yan showed to fight against the older student groups had successfully won their support, which was expressed directly from their hearts. These bastards had completely forgotten that without us, Xiao Yan could never achieve this by himself. 
Bai Shan clenched his teeth violently. The anger suppressed in his heart for a long time could not help but come gushing out now. As he became increasingly furious in his heart, his gaze suddenly became cold. He held the long lance tightly in his hand and took a step forward. The long lance smashed horizontally and immediately landed heavily on the chest of Leng Bai, who had already given up fighting and had no defense. The latter's face immediately turned red, and a mouthful of fresh blood came spitting out. He hurriedly took a couple of steps back and finally sat down on the ground. After which, he abruptly lifted his head while his eyes were filled with fury. What are you looking at? Not satisfied? Bai Shan coldly laughed when he saw the fury in Leng Bai's eyes. He took a step forward and was just about to once again vent the anger in his heart when a black shadow suddenly flashed past. Xiao Yan's low and deep voice sounded, he has already admitted defeat, why do you need to continue attacking? Is it glorious to injure a person who is defenseless? Humph. Xiao Yan's obstruction caused the long lance held in Bai Shan's hand to tremble. He inhaled a deep breath of air and hid the anger within his heart. With a snort, he carried the long lance in his hand, turned around, and charged into the battleground between the new and older students. His long lance carried a chi chi sound, appearing majestic just like a silver colored giant python. Xiao Yan frowned as he eyed Bai Shan leaving. He then glanced at the fight on Wu Hao's side, which had also reached the ending phase. Only after seeing that the latter was about to win did Xiao Yan turn his head over and look at the furious face of Leng Bai. He waved his hand and threw over a bottle of healing medicine. Leng Bai was startled after receiving the medicinal bottle. The fury on his face gradually lessened. He did not return the medicine. Instead, he pulled apart his clothes and poured the ice-cold medicinal liquid onto his wound, where fresh blood was dripping. Only then did he slowly sigh in relief. His finger flicked onto the storage ring, and a blue glow was shot toward Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan extended his hand and grabbed the blue glow. He took a look only to find that it was a pale blue colored fire crystal card. The number on the fire crystal card had actually reached 86. Among all the fire crystal cards Xiao Yan had seen during this period of time, this was the highest number he had seen. Xiao Yan held the fire crystal card and did not act like a saint and return it. This was their group's spoils of victory and was not his own. Therefore, he merely cupped his hands toward Leng Bai to thank him. That companion of yours is nothing much. Tell him that I will return that lance attack I received today. Leng Bai lifted his head to lean against a tree trunk as he spoke faintly. I'm sorry. Xiao Yan sighed. Bai Shan indeed went a little overboard with regards to this matter. If he had beat up Leng Bai until this manner in combat, no one would say anything. However, he had given such a heavy blow after the opponent had admitted defeat and lowered his defenses. This did not really follow the rules. Although you have borrowed the strength of the new students to defeat our three groups, it will not be possible for you to take the reward and return to the inner academy. Leng Bai's gaze paused in the battleground between Wu Hao and Xu Yan. At that place, Xu Yan had already shown signs of weakness in a hard head on collision between the two of them. I know. There are still the two groups called Black White Evil Stopper. Xiao Yan shrugged his shoulders and replied. Looks like you know quite a lot. Leng Bai raised his eyebrows when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He felt a little astonished. What I have said earlier are not some boastful words. This so-called fire energy hunting competition is purposefully set up by the Inner Academy. This is because many new students are very haughty when they arrive at the Inner Academy. Therefore, the Inner Academy has designed this hunting competition. Its purpose is to allow the older students to oppress the vigor of the new students in the forest. Hence, it is easier said than done if you want to forcefully charge out of this forest. I just don't want us to be robbed until we have nothing left before we enter the Inner Academy. Moreover, I must say that the so-called methods that you older students use to rub off the vigor of the new students is really repulsive. Perhaps it is because they had once received such treatment in the past that they want to return it to the new students. However, this common practice of one batch passing on to the next truly really won't do. Even if we did not retaliate this time around, it is likely that there would be new students who would lead groups to resist. Xiao Yan spoke slowly. His gaze eyed Wu Hao, who had finally shook Xu Yan with one palm, until the latter took over ten steps back. In his heart, he knew that the victory in the battle there was already determined. Leng Bai was silent. He also clearly understood that the old students participated in this fire energy hunting competition, not only to snatch the fire energy. There were some who basically participated because they wanted to smooth the shadows in their hearts. 
All right, the battle can be considered to have ended here. Xiao Yan exhaled a breath of air. He turned his gaze toward the somewhat chaotic battleground. That place had Shunar, Hu Jia, and Bai Shan participating, the few older students from the Inner Academy who endured bitterly finally could no longer maintain the stalemate. After relying on a fierce aura to injure a couple of new students, they were completely suppressed. Ah, what severe losses. These older students are indeed very strong. The Inner Academy is indeed a good place to hone people. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the open ground and shook his head helplessly. There were less than 15 of the originally 40 or so new students who could still stand after defeating the 12 older students who had cooperated well with one another. Most of the remaining students had temporarily lost their combat strength and lay panting on the ground due to their injuries. At the moment the final older student fell on the ground, a rejoiceful cry that contained some pain immediately sounded on the open ground. The 10 plus new students, who could still move, could not resist the agitation in their hearts as they emitted joyful laughter. In an instant, a layer of joyful atmosphere spread over the original suffocating atmosphere the ground had previously held. Haha, <laughs> everyone, take a look at your companions first. Rub these healing medicine on them. The remaining people should collect the fire crystal cards from the older students' hands. Since we have obtained victory, it is only natural that we should begin distributing our spoils. Xiao Yan lifted his head to eye the excitement-filled faces of the new students and smiled. He slowly took a step forward and took out a large amount of healing medicine from within the storage ring. He placed it on a rock and smiled as he spoke to everyone. Yes. At this moment, everyone basically obeyed Xiao Yan's orders after this great comeback of theirs. Hence, everyone shouted in unison when they heard his words and immediately did as he ordered. In an instant, the empty ground appeared a little busy once again. Are you all right? Xiao Yan smiled and asked as he saw Shunar, Hu Jia, and Wu Hao, who were walking over toward him. The three of them nodded. Shunar and Hu Jia still appeared all right, but Wu Hao was panting a little. Clearly, the hard head-on fight he had with Xiu Yan earlier had greatly exhausted his Du Qi and physical strength. Xiao Yan tapped his hand on his storage ring, and a small jade bottle appeared. He tilted it slightly and poured out three energy recovery pills which he handed to the three of them. These can allow you to quickly recover your Du Qi. Eat it. Shunar smiled and received the medicinal pill. She did not hesitate even a little as she threw it directly into her mouth. On the other hand, Hu Jia and Wu Hao hesitated a little before taking one and thanking Xiao Yan softly. Xiao Yan carelessly smiled, raised his head, and could not help but heave a long sigh as he watched the busy clearing. They had finally managed to completely finish off the three groups. Next, as long as they were given a day to rest, they would be able to charge against the so-called black-white evil stopper. Tisk tisk, they really do have some ability. They actually managed to swallow those three older student groups. Two old men on the top of a tree within the vast sea of trees slowly opened their eyes. They exchanged glances and shook their heads while they spoke with smiles and some amazement. The strength of that little fellow called Xiao Yan seems to be quite great. He was actually able to defeat Su Xiao so swiftly. Although he used the special effect of the Sonic Dew technique, his clear-cut attack and his sharp eyes are something that even some of the older students in the Inner Academy do not possess. One of the old man praised. Kiki, that's right. Perhaps after this hunting competition is over, we should let that old fellow Hu Gan send us some information regarding this little fellow. I think that with his potential, he might be able to squeeze into the top 10 of the strong ranking after undergoing the Inner Academy's training. The other old man nodded his head slightly and spoke with a smile. Yes. The old man who had spoken earlier nodded slightly. He stretched his lazy waist and said, however, the good luck of these new students is about to end soon. The black-white evil stopper this year are some sturdy fellows who frequently earn fire energy within the fighting arena. What? Before all the words sounded, the old man's expression changed slightly. A shocked voice was emitted from his mouth. He tilted his head and exchanged glances with the other old man, before saying in a shocked voice, those five keys. Good fellows. It is really unexpected that there is a fisherman who has come to get a bargain while the sandpiper and the mussels fraught. They are indeed worthy of being people who muddled among within the sports arena. What a cunning tactic. Xiao Yan smiled as he eyed the 15 pale blue fire energy cards in his hands while standing in the open forested area. His heart let out a long sigh. This was a big acquisition. Xiao Yan lifted his gaze and swept across the new students whose eyes were fiery hot. He smiled and said, next, we can begin to distribute our spoils. 
Just as Xiao Yan's voice had sounded, a foreign faint laughter was suddenly emitted from within the dense forest without any warning. Finally, the voice slowly reverberated within the, the empty ground, causing everyone's bodies to stiffen. Tisk, the new students this year are indeed not ordinary. They were actually able to defeat all the other eight older student groups, but this is also quite good. We shall take all of the fire energy off your hands. Xiao Yan's smile-filled face suddenly stiffened. A coldness flashed over his eyes as he slowly lifted his head and threw his gaze toward a spot in the dense forest. The tree leaves suddenly moved at that spot. Immediately, five figures, whose entire bodies were filled with a fierce key, flashed and appeared above the tree trunk, like five human-shaped magic beasts. They looked down toward the people in the open ground from their high vantage point. End of chapter. Chapter 448. Unforeseen Turn of Events. Seeing the five human figures that appeared on the tree, the faces of everyone on the empty ground suddenly contorted. The five people standing on the tree were clad entirely in fancily designed black clothing. If one looked at them from a distance, they appeared to be five ink black shadows. The moment the five of them appeared, a ferocious key, that was not the slightest bit hidden, seeped out from their bodies. A force, that caused the expressions of Xiao Yan and the others to appear pressured, covered the entire clearing. It caused them to feel an uncomfortable feeling as though they were being stared at by a wild beast within the forest. Shot hey? You actually followed us here. After the five figures appeared, the expression of Leng Bai, who had his back leaning against a tree trunk to catch his breath, morphed. This was especially so after his gaze swept across the the man in the middle, whose body was as large as a gorilla's. He could not help but cry out involuntarily. We met a couple of new students on the way and also received the information. That man among the five, whose figure was tall and large to the point that it caused others to feel pressure, replied indifferently. Immediately, his eyes glanced at the injured Su Xiao and the two others before he smiled and said, Tisk tisk. It's very unexpected that even the three of you were defeated by these new students. I really don't know how you trained within the inner academy. These words, from the man addressed as Sha Te by Leng Bai, caused the faces of Leng Bai and the two others to become tinged with red. A moment later, he snorted and said, the new students this year cannot be compared to the past. What is so strange about being defeated? Forget it. I shall not waste my breath with you. I will settle the rest of the matter next. However, you can forget about me returning the fire energy to you after this whole fiasco is over. This is due to all of you not having the ability to protect your own belongings, so you can't blame others. Sha Te waved his hand as he turned his gaze. It finally landed on Xiao Yan, who was holding his heavy ruler. Surprise flashed across his eyes as he asked, You're Xiao Yan? Being able to defeat Su Xiao and the others at such an age. No wonder you were able to gather all the new students together. Sha Te's voice was filled with strength. As he spoke, it directly shook some of the new students until they covered their ears. You should be the black demon of the so-called black white evil stopper? Xiao Yan exchanged gazes with Sha Te as he replied in a deep voice. When he spoke, his gaze slowly swept across the five black shadows. His heart gradually sunk. He realized that each of them basically had strengths similar to Leng Bai's. The man called Sha Te was even more frightening. If Xiao Yan had probed correctly, that fellow was likely to be a strong person at the peak of the Dadushi class. You can call us the Black Demon Group. I am the group leader, Sha Te. Sha Te parted his mouth and smiled. His white teeth emitted the dense coldness of a wild beast bearing its fangs. He looked directly at Xiao Yan and said, Let me tell you all some good news. The matter of new students robbing the older students of their fire energy these few days has already been transmitted to the Inner Academy. Currently, you, Xiao Yan, already have quite the reputation within the Inner Academy before you have even entered it. There are already an unknown number of Inner Academy students who ran over here, waiting for you all to leave. If you all really walk out of the forest while carrying so much fire energy you and this batch of new students would really become infamous within the Inner Academy. Xiao Yan remained silent and did not respond to Sha Te's words. Of course, as one of the last two groups in this year's fire energy hunting competition our duty is to strike down all the thorn-like new students who appear. Hence, if you want to smoothly walk out, it is still possible. Hand over your fire crystal cards and I assure you that I will not be forceful. What do you say? Sha Te smiled as he spoke to Xiao Yan. There are no other choices? Xiao Yan slowly sighed as he asked indifferently. Yes, this is the only one. Sha Te shook his head with a smile. 
His gaze swept one round over the new students below and said, if you are still able to gather 40 new students with their full combat strength, just our black demon group alone would really have difficulty swallowing all of you. Unfortunately, however, after the exhaustion from combating Su Xiao and the rest earlier, it is basically a given that this new student group of yours doesn't pose any threat to us. As long as I defeat the few of you, a full period can be placed on this year's fire energy hunting competition. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. The hand, which he used to hold the heavy Shuin ruler, slowly tightened. By his side, Shunner, Hu Jia, and Wu Hao took a step forward. Following closely behind Xiao Yan, those ten-plus scattered new students whose breathing was a little weak, clenched their teeth and swarmed toward Xiao Yan after a brief moment of hesitation. This moment did not allow them to withdraw. After all, they would not think that this Shate, whose appearance was not that of the kind type, would let them off with the fire energy in their hands if Xiao Yan and the others were defeated. Since they could not avoid the hassle, then they might as well go all out. Why? Do you want to fight to your deaths just to retaliate? Shate lifted his eyebrows upon seeing their actions. A dense cold smile surfaced on his rough face, looks like you are all still holding some hope in your strength. He <laughs> he, just as well. We have not attacked anyone for nearly three days within this damn forest. Our bones have started to become itchy. Wait. Just as Shate was twisting his fist, a cry suddenly sounded. The former's eyebrows knit slightly together as his gaze followed the voice and looked over, only to find a handsome young man wearing white clothes. His gaze swept over the face of the young man and felt that it was a little familiar. Big brother Shate. Do you still remember me? We met last time when you came out on leave with my older cousin Bai Feng. Bai Shan held the long lance in his hand as he cupped his hands toward Tai Shan and spoke with a smile. Bai Feng? You? Are Bai Shan? Shate was startled when he heard Bai Feng's name. Fear flashed across his eyes. Immediately, his gaze paused on Bai Shan's face as he finally remembered before speaking in the manner of someone just having come to realize something. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Bai Shan smiled as he replied. He finally sighed in relief when he heard Shate speak his name. You are also part of this batch of new students? Shate glanced at Bai Shan's position. He appeared to have understood something as he spoke with deeper meaning. Yes. Bai Shan smiled awkwardly and nodded. He rotated his eyeballs and said, Big Brother Tai Shan, I wonder if on the account of my elder cousin brother you can. On account of Bai Feng's face, I can naturally let you leave. I do have some relations with him. Naturally, I will not attack you. Sha Te waved his hand and smiled as he replied before Bai Shan finished his sentence. Uh. Bai Shan was somewhat dull when he was interrupted by Sha Te. He could not help but feel a little hesitant after hearing the words that the latter spoke. The corner of his gaze drifted over to Xiao Yan and the rest. He was just thinking of saying something when he coincidentally saw a little coldness in Sha Te's brows. His heart immediately became afraid. Bai Shan, you just need to take care of yourself no matter what happens. Although I am the group leader of the Black Demon Group, I must also be responsible for my companions. I have already given Bai Feng enough face by letting you go. You must also take a step back," Sha Te slowly said. The warning tone in his voice was extremely obvious. Bai Shan's expression changed slightly when he heard this. He immediately recovered swiftly and nodded. All right, you should quickly leave this place. You need not bother about any other matters. Sha Te waved his hands toward Bai Shan and commanded. Bai Shan hesitated a little when he heard this. Bai Shan, you want to be a deserter and flee? Hu Jia, who had been watching coldly on the sidelines, immediately frowned deeply as she coldly shouted when she saw Bai Shan's hesitation. I am considered a deserter just because I do not fight the enemy with all of you? Do you really think that we are a group? Between us was just a mutual interaction where we would receive what we needed. Moreover, the greatest victor of this transaction is still Xiao Yan. The few of us fought to the death and became so exhausted, but he has taken all the good things. Bai Shan immediately became furious when he heard Hu Ji a cold cry. He could no longer resist a jealously and unwillingness within his heart. You. Hu Ji also became furious at Bai Shan's retort. Without Xiao Yan's leadership, could you have reached this point? With just you alone, you would be defeated by any older student group that you met. Would you have been able to stand where you are now with nearly a hundred fire energy without his leadership? There is no need to say any more. Since he wants to go, just let him go. From the start, this group of ours was temporarily formed. There is no binding strength. 
Everyone is free to leave. We may not lose even without him. Xiao Yan, who was beside Hu Jia, pulled her back and spoke faintly. He had already known that Bai Shan was extremely dissatisfied with him. He would sooner or later be a scourge if he was forced to stay in the group. Now that he wanted to leave by himself, it would eliminate the trouble for Xiao Yan to be on guard against him. Humph. Hu Jia snorted. She coldly eyed Bai Shan and could not help but feel some disgust in her heart. Why did she not see that this fellow is such a person in the past? The type of people she despised the most were the kind of people who would flee at the last moment and abandon their companions due to fear whenever a strong enemy approached. Compared to Bai Shan, Hu Jia suddenly felt that Xiao Yan was a lot more pleasing to the eye. At the very least, the latter would not abandon his companions in a crisis. Wu Hao raised his head slightly. There was some disdain contained within those eyes that used to look at Bai Shan. All right, you can all follow him. This young master shall not accompany you. The eyes of those new students similarly shot out a look of disdain. It caused Bai Shan's face to twitch slightly. He stared ruthlessly at Xiao Yan before waving his hand. His body leaped and flashed onto a tree branch before finally entering the forest and disappearing. Xiao Yan indifferently raised his head as he eyed the forest where Bai Shan had disappeared into. His gaze looked directly at Sha Te. Although Bai Shan leaving did cause their fighting strength to be severely impacted, it was still impossible for him to simply hand over the fire energy. I have already said earlier that that companion of yours cannot make it. Bai Ling's voice which contained some disdain, slowly sounded from the side. Xiao Yan shrugged his shoulders but did not express any opinions. Just admit defeat. Tai Shan's group is not something that we can compare with. Moreover, your companion has already left. The originally low chances of victory suffered a huge loss. Leng Bai sighed. Although Xiao Yan knew that Leng Bai's words were the true, he did not ease up even a little. He smiled as his gaze looked directly at Tai Shan. A long while later, a calm voice caused the somewhat cold hearts of the new students present, from the result of a strong enemy appearing, to once again become filled with a fire and fighting intent. Since I have already gathered everyone together, we should naturally bring them to successfully charge out. No matter how strong the opponent is, I, Xiao Yan, will not take a step back. Therefore. Let's fight. End of chapter. Chapter 449. Fighting with the Black Demon Group. Xiao Yan's calm voice reverberated slightly within the forest clearing, but it managed to cause the heated blood of the new students standing behind him to boil. Their fighting intents surged out into their chests. Regardless of whether they succeeded or failed, as long as they went all out and tried, they would at least have a clear conscience. They did not have much fire energy in their hands, and it was nothing even if it was snatched away. Moreover, one could not kill in this hunting competition. At the very worst, they would be thrashed into the ground, meaning they would not suffer much. As they thought in this manner within their hearts, the fifteen new students, whose breaths were heavy, also raised their heads. They fiercely stared at Shot A and the other four people on top of the trees, no longer having even the slightest hints of fear in their hearts. Hee hee, you've got backbone. Since this is the case, let my black demon group try and see just which part of this new student group of yours, which has shaken the entire inner academy, is extraordinary. Surprise flashed across Sha Te's eyes as he eyed Xiao Yan, who actually did not have the slightest bit of fear when facing a strong group, and even managed to muster up the courage in other people's heart. He nodded slightly. Although Xiao Yan's resistance would bring some him trouble, he, who had muddled in the inner academy fighting arena all year long, felt admiration for these kinds of headstrong people deep in his heart. At the very least, the act of Bai Shan abandoning his companion and leaving earlier disgusted him. Of course, he would only store these words within his heart and would not speak them aloud. As Sha Te's words sounded. Five powerful forces erupted out of the bodies of the five people and shrouded the area. The intense pressure caused the hearts of the new students, which was just filled with fighting intent, to sink slightly. Xiao Yan exhaled a deep breath of air as he sensed a force that had crashed down. He turned his head and said in a deep voice to everyone, all of you be careful. I will handle Sha Te. Big brother Xiao Yan, I'm afraid that that Sha Te already has one foot in the dueling class. The chances of victory in a normal fight are not very great. However, if you want to raise your strength forcefully just like you did in the qualifying competition, the damage to your body would really be a little too great. Shunner's eyebrows were nearly vertical as she spoke in a worried manner. 
she clearly understood just how serious the injury that Xiao Yan received to his body after he had raised his strength to the point where he could contend with a strong Du Ling. If he had not luckily and coincidentally raised his strength that day, it was likely that he would need around half a month's time to return to peak condition. Kiki, no problem. I will try my best not to forcefully raise my strength. I am still able to fight him by relying on other things. Xiao Yan waved his hand. He also clearly understood that while the Skyfire 3 mysterious change may be able to let him raise his strength to the point where he could contend with a strong Du Ling for a short period of time. The instantaneous wild energy that erupted from the heavenly flame did indeed cause quite a great amount of damage to the interior of his body. Therefore, he would naturally not touch it if he didn't need to use it. Moreover, even if he did not use the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, he believed that he would not be defeated by Shate hands within a few exchanges. In any case, you should still be a little more careful. Shunner could only nod her head when she saw Xiao Yan's insistence. Her gaze turned toward the five people on the tree and said softly, Hu Jia and Wu Hao are already weakened from the previous fight. I'm afraid that they can only merely handle one person each. Moreover, it is difficult to say just who will win. I am also able to block one person. However, the other party still has one person. Hu Jia and Wu Hao could only helplessly nod their heads when they heard Shunner's words. After all, what she said was the truth. I'm a little better, but it is likely that Wu Hao does not have much Du Qi left after undergoing the head-on fight with Xu Yan earlier. Although Xiao Yan's medicinal pill did provide some assistance, it is definitely impossible to completely recover within this short amount of time. Moreover, our few opponents this time around are not weaker than Xu Yan. Hu Ji aside. You should not be too worried. He will not be able to defeat me for at least 10 minutes. Wu Hao said in a low voice instead, it looks like we can only first let the new students block the last person of the other group. You can be rest assured. Although there isn't much Du Qi left within us, we do have quite a number of people. That fellow won't be able to finish us off within a short period of time. As long as Senior Xiao Yan or any of you finish off your opponent, we would be able to gain the advantage in this battle. One of the new students laughed and took the lead to open his mouth to speak when he heard the conversation of Shunner's group. That's right. We can temporarily block him. However, the decisive factor of the final victory of the fight lies in Senior Xiao Yan's and your hands. With our current conditions, I'm afraid that we will really have difficulty beating a 5 or 6 star Da Dushi. After all, our strengths are merely around 8 or 9 star Du Shes. Some of the new students also laughed and went along with what was being said. Yes. Xiao Yan nodded slight. He continued with a smile, since that is the case, I will have to ask you all. As long as you can block the extra person of the other party, we will do our best to defeat our opponent and extend our hand to help you out. Yes. The 15 new students on the empty ground cried out in unison. 15 forces belonging to 8 or 9 star duches spread out from within their bodies and created a considerable force. Do your best. Senior Xiao Yan, defeat them. Quite a number of new students on both sides, who had lost the fighting strength, also supported their bodies with great difficulty as they got up and cried out loud, cheering on Xiao Yan's group. A smile was lifted on Xiao Yan's face when he saw that their morale was high. He held the heavy Shuin ruler with his hand and exchanged glances with Shunur and the other two. Immediately, four human figures abruptly shot out in four different directions. I will handle Xiao Yan. Each of you will face one of the remaining three. The extra one will finish off those new students. After that swiftly change targets to assist the others. Shate waved his hand and shouted in a low voice as the four people spread out and pulled back. Yes. Four low and deep voices sounded out in an orderly manner. As the voices sounded, five human figures pressed gently off of the tree branches and immediately turned into black shadows. They descended like bats who were hunting for their prey in the dark night, and within two breaths, appeared in front of Xiao Yan and the three others who had spread out and pulled back. The additional person was like a meteorite as he directly charged toward the 15-man new student group. Powerful Du Qi immediately exploded out in all directions. Xiao Yan's feet stomped heavily against the ground. His body, which was charging forward suddenly halted. His gaze narrowed as he eyed Sha Te, who had appeared in front of him. The faint domineering aura that was emitted from the other party's tall, strong and somewhat different body stature caused Xiao Yan's brows to frown tightly. This fellow was indeed a strong opponent. The fight is about to begin. I will not look down on you regardless of any reasons. 
This is because once one possesses this kind of mentality, one would usually be unable to earn any fire energy within the inner academy fighting arena. Shate twisted his neck slightly. A somewhat dark golden-colored Du Qi slowly seeped out from within his body. Finally, it surrounded him until he appeared like he was sculpted from metal, causing his appearance to appear extremely domineering. Gold Du Qi? This fellow actually practices a Du Qi of this affinity? Xiao Yan's eyebrows twitched when he saw the dark golden Du Qi on the surface of Sha Te's body. This kind of Du Qi was extremely rare. However, its attacking and defensive strength was extremely strong. If it were not for people who practiced this Du Qi to have such slow reaction times, it was likely that he would really be an opponent that would cause people an extremely great headache. Sha Te's hand did not hold any weapons. Clearly, he was a strong person who belonged to the kind that used close ranged combat. Xiao Yan's expression became slightly more relaxed after identifying his opponent's attacking method. Coincidentally, he also belonged to this style. If they were to fight in this manner, it would allow all him to unleash the fighting techniques that he specialized in to their maximum potentials. Xiao Yan inserted the heavy Shuin ruler in his hand into the ground and sensed that after the heavy ruler had left his hand, powerful Du Qi surged and flowed turbulently in his body. He slowly let out a long breath as green-colored Du Qi arose from within his body. When the Du Qi occasionally writhed, a faint fire seeding would flash and appear. However, after the fire seedling appeared, it disappeared with a flash. Therefore, it was extremely difficult to discover it under the cover of the green-colored Du Qi. Six star da du shi? No wonder you could best su xiao. With this kind of strength, you are comparable to the older students who have been in the inner academy for a year. As he felt the force emitted from within Xiao Yan's body, Sha Te suddenly came to a realization and immediately spoke. However, with just this level, there would still be quite some difficulty if you wanted to defeat me. Sha Te parted his mouth and smiled toward Xiao Yan. His hands gently collided together and actually emitted the clear sound of metal striking metal. We won't know until we try, will we? Xiao Yan smiled indifferently. His feet slowly rubbed against the ground while his body was slightly quiet. Immediately, he became like a taut bow as his body suddenly tensed up. Following this movement, his feet slammed against the ground and a green-colored Du Qi surged out from his feet. As a clear energy explosion sounded, Xiao Yan's body turned into a blurry black shadow. In an instant, he closed in on Sha Te. Seeing that Xiao Yan actually adopted a close-range hand-to-hand combat, a cold smile was lifted onto Sha Te's face. His large fist tightened as he drew his hand back and threw his elbow out. Dark golden-colored Du Qi swiftly agglomerated. Finally, it violently smashed down against the black shadow, which had already appeared beside him in a lightning-like manner. The wind that his elbow carried directly cut through the air. A shapeless force shook and caused two deep scars that were two inches deep on a ground a couple of feet away. Xiao Yan's face did not change as he sensed a sharp rushing wind sound transmitted from above his head. His hand suddenly rose, and a green-colored energy layer was swiftly converged to cover his fist. Finally, he collided head-on with Sha Te's elbow. Bang! A low and deep muffled sound rang out from the epicenter of the contact. The powerful force that swarmed down from his fist pressed Xiao Yan down a little. However, his expression still remained indifferent. His left hand was extended out in a lightning-like manner and suddenly stopped when it was about a foot from Sha Te's chest. Immediately, a shapeless force gushed out in all directions. Fire Palm. This was a Du technique which Xiao Yan had learned a couple of years ago. With his current strength, the force that gushed out when he used this fire palm was already sufficient to jolt a Da Du Shi until the latter was injured. It was unlike the past where he could only blow a person until they staggered. The shapeless force exploded into Sha Te's chest. Immediately, the latter swayed his body a little, and he actually took two steps back from the force of the explosion. All sorts of bizarre do techniques emerging endlessly. Xiao Yan, you really cause me to feel greater anticipation. However, all of these unorthodox attacks do not have much actual use against me. Hence, you should reveal your true ability. Sha Te patted his chest, and a clanging sound was emitted while he laughed coldly. Xiao Yan slowly sighed as he eyed Sha Te, who appeared as though nothing had happened. His expression gradually became serious as his hands rotated slightly. A moment later, a noble green-colored flame soared. The moment the green-colored flames rose from Xiao Yan's palm, the eyes of the two old men in the vast sea of trees, who appeared to be watching a show, were opened. In their shock, they cried out involuntarily, Heavenly Flame? End of chapter.
Chapter 450. Race Against Time. Sha Te's eyes stared intently at the green-colored flame that rose from Xiao Yan's palm. The instant that the flame had materialized, he clearly sensed that the temperature between the trees rose by a lot. His expression immediately became more serious as he looked at Xiao Yan with some astonishment and asked, You are an alchemist? In the Duqi continent, there were only two possibilities for one to be able to summon out an essence flame. One was the fire seed that an alchemist had obtained from the various different kinds of fire affinity magical beasts, which he would then refine for his own use. The other possibility was that a he was a strong person who practiced a fire affinity do ki. However, if one wanted to rely just on do ki to agglomerate an essence flame, one must at least be at the do wang class before they could begin to think about succeeding. Of course, nothing was absolute. There were also some people who practiced do ki of the fire affinity and were not alchemists, but were able to obtain some strange flames for their own use. Similarly, however, the requirement placed on the level of one's strength was extremely harsh. Seeing the current Xiao Yan, it was clear that he had not met the requirements of the latter possibilities. Hence, Sha Te had immediately chose to voice the first possibility. Xiao Yan did not reply Sha Te's astonished words. The green-colored flame spread out from his hand and swiftly wrapped both his hands within it. He lifted his head slightly, and a green-colored light occasionally flared in his dark black pupils. Bang! Xiao Yan's feet once again stomped against the ground. He could hear a clear muffled sound as his body turned into a pale green-colored blur which carried an extremely high temperature and shot explosively toward Sha Te. The blazing air that pounced toward his face caused Sha Te's brows to furrow slightly. Although he could not determine what type of flame Xiao Yan had summoned, he could vaguely guess that the strength of this flame was definitely not weak from the sharp rise in the temperature of his surroundings. Sha Te's iron pagoda-like body stood in the same spot. He did not choose to dodge. The golden dew key bestowed upon him gave him a great attacking and defensive strength, but it deprived him of agility. He knew that even if he wanted to dodge, he would definitely be unable to escape Xiao Yan's attack. Since this was the case, why should he bother doing something so futile and instead risk exposing a weakness in the process? The hot air became increasingly closer. Sha Te emitted a stern cry from his mouth, and dark golden-colored Du Qi abruptly surged out from within his body. The golden light shot out and finally absorbed Xiao Yan into it. At a glance, it appeared as though he was a person molded entirely from gold. The heated atmosphere was only reduced a little after the Du Qi armor appeared. Sha Te's enormous gold-like fist was slowly tightened. Finally, it was thrown out without any fancy moves or skill. Although Sha Te's fist did not have any variety in his move, the terrifying strength contained in it directly caused the air around Xiao Yan to be saturated with it. At this moment, absolute strength embraced everything. Xiao Yan's face tensed. The dew crystal within the vortex of his body repeatedly trembled. Wave after wave of powerful dew ki was spat out. Finally, it swiftly circulated within his key paths, allowing Xiao Yan to be filled with fighting strength. Green-colored flames swiftly enshrouded his fist before it suddenly struck out. It heavily collided with Sha Te's fist in an impartial manner. In an instant, a powerful ripple spread out from the middle of the two of them, shaking and splitting the few large trees near the two of them, forming a couple of crack lines. The trees became shaky and unstable. The ferocious force being transmitted from their fists caused Xiao Yan to swiftly take two steps back. On the other hand, Sha Te's body merely trembled a couple of times. It appeared that in terms of a competition of pure strength, Xiao Yan was still a little weaker than Sha Te. Of course, Xiao Yan may have been shaken until he took two steps back, but Sha Te also felt a little uncomfortable. The green-colored flame on Xiao Yan's fist caused him to suffer greatly. In the collision earlier, his fist would have likely been roasted until it swelled up by a couple of layers, had it not been for his Duki armor isolating it. Even though this was the case, Sha Te's fist still had a faint searing pain. Sha Te's gaze obscurely swept over the green-colored flame in Xiao Yan's hand. Shock flashed through his heart. It was not that he had never seen the flame of an alchemist. He had even fought with some of the students from the alchemist department in the fighting arena, but the flames that those students summoned could not breach his Duki armor and cause him to even feel a little injured. However, that strange green-colored flame on Xiao Yan's hand today had this kind of frightening unique ability. This caused Sha Te to involuntarily feel a solemn feeling within his heart. The moment the thought in Sha Te's heart was swiftly spinning, Xiao Yan had once again pounced toward him. This time, however, he gave up on having head-on collisions. 
instead, he began to use the advantage of his agility and repeatedly flashed around Sha Te's body like a ghost. His fists frequently carried a green-colored flame as they were thrown out, carrying a kyang kyang sound of metal clashing within the empty forest. Sha Te did not have too great of a response toward Xiao Yan's nearly continuous attacks. He dodged those that he could and forcefully resisted those that he could not. Occasionally, he would wave his heavy fist, and the feeling of an increasingly heavy force on it caused Xiao Yan to have no choice but to pull back to dodge it. The moment Xiao Yan and Sha Te's fight was becoming increasingly fierce, the other few battlegrounds had also slowly entered into a white hot phase. Perhaps it was because they had already fought once earlier, but the Du Qi which was spread over the surface of Hu Jia's and Wu Hao's body started to become a little dim after nearly six to seven minutes of battle. Hu Jia was a little better, but Wu Hao's strength, speed, dodging ability, etc. had already greatly declined because of his weakening Du Qi, which resulted in him beginning to be suppressed into a disadvantageous position by his opponent from the Black Demon group. If it was not because of the killing aura within Wu Hao's attacks being too strong, and that the member of the Black Demon group was a little afraid of being seriously injured, it was likely that Wu Hao's fight would have been even more difficult. Compared with these two people who were each in a somewhat disadvantaged situation, Shunara was the complete opposite. Golden light shot out explosively from her palms. Her body was as elegant as a wisp of light smoke, while her attacking speed was so fast that it brought about numerous afterimages. Perhaps it was because she clearly understood that Wu Hao and Hu Jia could not last long. Therefore, she did not have any thoughts of preserving her strength. Occasionally, she would display powerful Du techniques, forcing her opponent back until the latter was in tough spots. If it were not because of his rich combat experience, it was likely that this unlucky member of the Black Demon group would be the first to be defeated. Outside of these three battlegrounds, there was the most chaotic battleground. That was the one where 15 new students were fighting with the final Black Demon group member. Although there were a great number of new students, the 15 of them all had a varying amount of injuries due to their fight with the three groups lead by Su Xiao earlier. It was naturally impossible for them to obtain victory now that they met a strong person whose strength was around the five-star Dadushi level. Hence, in merely less than 10 minutes, five of the 15 new students were already injured by that Black Demon group member and had withdrawn. The remaining 10 could only rely on their cooperation with one another to barely hang on. However, it was clear that the cooperation between them was not very good. Hence, every two to three minutes, their opponent would find an opening and injure one of them until they temporarily lost the ability to continue fighting. In five battlegrounds on this empty land, Hu Jia's, Wu Hao's, and the new students' ones were all in an unfavorable situation. By relying on his heavenly flame Xiao Yan was able to contend with Sha Te for a while. However, if he did not use a decisive attack, it was clearly impossible for him to obtain victory. Hence, among the five battlegrounds, only Shunur was in a complete advantage. In the current battlefield, whichever side could first free up an extra pair of hands was crucial. As long as there was someone who could defeat their opponent half a minute earlier than the others, this battle would perhaps swiftly point the victory indicator to that side. Everyone present in the battlefield, including all those new students who were not participating, understood this point. Hence, their gazes were all firmly staring at the battleground of Wu Hao and Shunur. This was because these two places would be the two battlegrounds where they would be the first to obtain victory or the first to lose. The blood-colored Du Qi spreading all over Wu Hao's body was growing increasingly dim. Clearly, Wu Hao's Du Qi had already begun to enter into the stage where it was about to burn out. When he fought with Xu Yan earlier, he had exhausted all his strength. Now he needed to undergo this kind of high-cost battle. He was about to be unable to hold on, even though he had consumed Xiao Yan's energy recovery pill a moment ago. The blood-colored heavy sword in his hand violently hacked at the opponent. However, his current degree of strength and speed allowed the opponent to easily dodge it. The latter's body flashed and appeared on Wu Hao's left side. The knife in his hand carried a sharp force as it hacked at Wu Hao's wrist. Immediately, Wu Hao's blood-colored sword left his hand. The Black Demon group member let out a pleased cold laughter. Du Qi shrouded his hands, and he immediately struck heavily at Wu Hao's chest. Seeing this momentum, it was likely that Wu Hao would be the first to be defeated if he were to be struck. Under the focus of everyone, his fist became increasingly close to Wu Hao. However, just as his fist was about to land on Wu Hao's body, the somewhat grayish dark-faced Wu Hao suddenly widened his eyes. Two bloodlines flowed out of his nose. 
A rich killing aura surged out of his body, as though he had suddenly got his second wind just before falling. A low and deep roar sounded from his throat. The originally dark and pale blood-colored Du Qi once again became bright red. He tightened his fist and suddenly threw it out fiercely. Bang! As both fists made contact, a muffled sound reverberated unceasingly on the open ground. Wu Hao's shoulders trembled intensely, while that member of the Black Demon group let out a muffled groan. A thread of blood flowed down from the corner of the latter's mouth. He took a couple of continuous step back while sliding against the ground before he managed to stabilize his body. Lifting his head, he looked at Wu Hao's much paler face with a mixture of shock and fury. Clearly, Wu Hao had displayed a certain secret technique that would overdraw his strength in order for such a strength to erupt instantaneously earlier. However, seeing the color on Wu Hao's face, it appeared that the current him could no longer use this kind of secret technique to overdraw his strength for a second time. Humph! That member of the Black Demon group saw that Wu Hao had already run out of steam and immediately let out a snort. He forcefully suppressed the injuries within his body as his body turned into a black shadow which once again shot toward Wu Hao. Bang! Just as he was merely around 5 meters from Wu Hao, a black shadow suddenly shot over. That member of the Black Demon group was alarmed. His forward charging body paused and immediately began to hurriedly take two step back. As he was pulling back, the black shadow heavily landed on the ground. The expression of that member of the Black Demon group changed. This black shadow was actually the person who had been fighting against Shunner moments earlier. An aghast expression flashed across his heart. He hurriedly turned his head to take a look, only to see a green-clothed young lady standing indifferently beside Wu Hao. Golden light shrouded her palm, piercing his eyes until they were a little strained. Crap. End of chapter. Chapter 451. Reversing the situation. Oh. The green-clothed young lady, who had suddenly appeared beside Wu Hao in the battleground, immediately caused the expressions of the spectating injured new students to be filled with a wild joy as they cheered out loudly. Shunur had defeated her opponent at such a crucial moment and extended her hand to assist Wu Hao. This undoubtedly added a heavy weight to Xiao Yan's group that was sufficient to tip the scales of this battle. Are you all right? Shunur carelessly asked as her gaze stared intently at the ugly expression of the Black Demon group member. I'm still all right. Wu Hao's body swayed a little. His expression was pale as he clenched his teeth and said. Leave him to me. You should first rest for a while. Shunur was able to see the strain that the current Wu Hao was undergoing. She gently spoke these words as the golden glow in her palms grew increasingly powerful and eye-piercing. There's no need. He was seriously wounded after being struck by my palm earlier. Let's join hands and use the fastest speed to defeat him. Otherwise, Hu Jia and the other new students won't be able to hold out for much longer. Wu Hao inhaled a deep breath of air, and a sleek redness surfaced on his pale white face. His words had just sounded when he maneuvered the little Du Qi left within him, and fiercely charged toward that member of the Black Demon group, without allowing Shunur to speak. Hey! Shunur hurriedly cried out when she saw that Wu Hao actually still dared to take the lead in attacking. Her body flashed and within a breath's time, she overtook Wu Hao. Golden light suddenly surged between her palms. Immediately, an extremely long golden-colored whip was swiftly uncoiled. Finally, the whip fully unfurled, and the clear sound of a whip snapping surged through the air. There appeared to be a faint and vaguely visible golden-colored flame surrounding the golden-colored energy whip. When the whip moved, its speed was as fast as lightning. The member of the Black Demon group could only feel a golden glow flash in front of him as an incinerating breeze came falling toward his head. His expression immediately changed. With a sudden movement, his body rolled backward in a miserable manner. The golden-colored long whip carried the superheated breeze as it struck the ground not far in front. Immediately, the originally dampened ground swiftly became dry at a rate visible to the naked eye. An instant later, a half-meter-long scar appeared in the ground after it was grilled by the high temperature until it became as hard as rock. That member of the Black Demon group glanced at the surface of the ground which was grilled until it became rock-like. He forcefully swallowed a mouthful of saliva. However, before he even had the time to recover, a blood-colored shadow suddenly flashed from his side. Finally, a leg heavily collided with his chest before he had time to react. Arg! After being kicked, a sleek redness surfaced on the face of this member of the Black Demon group. He forcefully suppressed the fresh blood that was about to reach his mouth as his throat let out a soft groan. 
after undergoing repeated blows, some hostility had also flashed in his eyes. He tried his best to raise his strength as his stomach was depressed inward. Immediately, he released his breath forcefully. As he let out his breath, the Du Qi, which was agglomerated in his body, abruptly erupted from his chest in energy ripples. Finally, it collided with Wu Hao's leg. The latter, which had originally already run out of steam, spat out a mouthful of fresh blood under this reflected Du Qi shockwave. His body flew back a couple of meters before he feebly fell onto some withered leaves. Bang! Before this member of the Black Demon group could rejoice after wounding Wu Hao, the lie the green colored figure flashed in front of him like a ghost. That elegant and exquisite pretty face contained some coldness at this moment. A golden glow shone brightly from her right palm. When she was only half a foot from the former, a golden glowing palm shot out explosively and heavily smashed against his chest. Glug. The member of the Black Demon group finally could not endure any longer upon receiving a firm and heavy blow from Shunur. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out from his mouth, while his legs slid against the ground as he continued to slide back after receiving this powerful blow from Shunur. Finally, his body heavily collided with a thick tree trunk. The force that seeped out from his back actually shook the tree trunk until a few crack lines appeared. Merely less than one minute had passed in this battleground from the moment Wu Hao launched a sudden attack until the end, when the member of the Black Demon group was defeated. Many new students could only see Wu Hao charging in before being forced back by the opponent, as well as Shunur's exceedingly strong strike. However, regardless of whether they had clearly seen the course of the fight, the defeat of that member of the Black Demon group was real. Hence, after confirming that the latter could no longer continue to fight, a wild joyous cry once again sounded throughout the clearing. Many new students who did not have the strength to participate in the battle were so excited at this moment that their faces flushed with joy. Following the defeat of these two people, the chance of victory for Xiao Yan's group was no longer the kind that was so low to the point that it was impossible. At this moment, two of the five opponents were defeated. On the other hand, only Wu Hao alone in Xiao Yan's group had lost his fighting strength. From the looks of it, by relying on Shunur's outstanding strength, they had already raised their extremely disadvantageous position to a level where they could match the strength of the Black Demon group. This caused the new students to finally see the hope of victory. Watching from the sidelines under a tree, Su Xiao, Leng Bai, Xu Yan, and a group of people leaned against a tree trunk and eyed the unpredictable battle circle. Some of them could not help but have shocked expressions after seeing that Shunur, by herself, actually managed to defeat two members of the Black Demon group whose strength were similar to their own. Only until this moment did they throw a solemn gaze toward this young lady who was so pretty that it caused people to have difficulty shifting their gaze away. This group of Xiao Yans is really strong. Earlier, if the girls called Shunur and Hu Jia chose to surround and attack us, we would have definitely suffered a quicker defeat. Su Xiao laughed bitterly and sighed. Beside him, Leng Bai and Xu Yan also laughed bitterly and nodded. These two girls, who appeared to be weak, actually possessed such powerful strength. A group consisting of five people with the strength of a five-star Dadushi. As he thought of this, Leng Bai could not resist having the impulse to roll his eyes. This kind of lineup could be considered a middle-level group even when ranked among the groups from the inner academy. If that Bai Shan did not get cold feet and flee, it is difficult to say who would win or lose in their fiery battle with the Black Demon group. Xu Yan tightened his fist and spoke in a deep voice. When he mentioned Bai Shan's name, the disdain on his face was clearly not the least bit hidden. His character was similar to the Du Qi which he practiced. Both of which belonged to the straightforward type. Hence, he did not hide any of his dislike for Bai Shan. The weakness that was created by Bai Shan leaving has already been evened out by that girl called Shunur. As long as she is able to join hands with the few remaining new students to defeat another member of the Black Demon group, they would be able to reverse the tide. Su Xiao slowly said. After saying that, he paused for a moment as his gaze swept toward Xiao Yan, who did not show any sign of losing, despite matching up against Sha Te, as their fight was in full swing. An amazement flashed across his eyes as he softly said, of course, the precondition of this is that Xiao Yan is able to firmly hold Sha Te off before she defeats the other members of the Black Demon group. Otherwise. Yes. Leng Bai and Xiu Yan nodded slightly. Although the situation in the battlefield had already begun to lean toward the new students, once there was a problem in the battle Xiao Yan was in, the situation, which they had turned around with great difficulty, would once again be reversed without any doubt. 
although it may appear that Shunra was currently the most important factor in the battlefield, the reality was that Xiaoyan's battle was the one which the most decisive effect. If Xiaoyan lost, then the new students would be completely hopeless. However, if Xiaoyan was able to successfully drag it out with Sha Te until Shunur defeated the other members of the Black Demon group that were fighting the other new students, it was likely that Xiaoyan's group would create the first miracle in the fire energy hunting competition since its inception so many years ago. There had never been a batch of incoming students who were able to defeat either of the two groups which acted as the Black White Evil Stopper. At this moment, however, Xiaoyan's group was slowly stepping toward this miracle that had never been seen before. Sha Te had clearly sensed that two members of his own group were already defeated. Immediately, his expression became a little ugly. When he struck out, his attacks were becoming increasingly sharp. The wind from his palm cut through the air and emitted a hoo-hoo sound, causing the air to emit a low and deep explosion sound. Although Sha Te's attacks had become increasingly stronger, Xiao Yan had his lips tightly pursed together. His body was like a small boat in a precarious storm under the shadow of those heavy blows. No matter how tyrannical the waves were, he was always able to maintain the boat such that it would not end up capsizing, regardless of how dangerous the situation became. At this moment, Xiao Yan had undoubtedly unleashed his own strength to its peak. Moreover, he was also clear that his current task was not to defeat Sha Te, but to stall for time. The increasingly intense battle within the battleground attracted everyone's eyes and minds until they did not even make the slightest movement. They were afraid that the moment they were distracted, they would miss a critical part which could affect the entire battle. Everyone was sweating on the inside as they eyed the sweeping and flashing human figure on the battleground. This battle was really far too much of a stalemate. Time quietly flowed past like water flowing from the fingertips. Just five minutes after Shunur and Wu Hao joined hands to defeat a member of the Black Demon group, the member of the Black Demon group, who had clenched his teeth and endured until three new students were left finally left had an opening. It was made by a new student who risked being seriously injured and was caught by Shunur. Hence, as the golden light erupted, one could only hear a muffled sound, while a black shadow drew a parabolic curve in midair. The black shadow smashed heavily into the ground. Fresh blood was spat out from his mouth, dyeing the withered leaves bright red. Go. Shunur once again defeated her opponent with another palm. Some perspiration surfaced on her bright and clean forehead. Without any rest, she cried out softly to the three new students by her side and immediately charged non-stop to the battle circle who Jia was in. Another five minutes passed. Under the loud cheers of the surrounding new students, the last Black Demon group member, with the exception of Sha Te, was also completely beaten up by the combination of Shunur, Hu Jia, and the three new students, until he did not have any combat strength left. Thus far, the situation in the battlefield was such that victory seemed to lean completely one-sidedly toward Xiaoyan's group. End of chapter. Chapter 452. Bitter and Angry Sha Te. In the completely destroyed clearing, Hu Jia and the three remaining new students watched as the single remaining member of the Black Demon group was defeated and could not help but heave a long sigh of relief. Their legs immediately lost strength as they collapsed to the ground, the sound of them panting like billows echoed repeatedly from their mouths. Following the defeat of the last member of the Black Demon group, with the exception of Sha Te, the spectating students, whose nerves were strained, finally could no longer endure the excitement and wild joy in their hearts. They ignored the injuries on their bodies as they leaped to their feet and wildly shouted. In an instant, various wild shrieks and hollers spread through the air above the empty ground. Shunur's delicate hand wiped the perspiration from her forehead. The golden glow emitted from her body also began to dim. These three rescues had caused some difficulty for her. If it were not for the fact that the key method that she practiced was not a low-class method, it would have been likely that she would have been like Wu Hao, whose combat strength greatly deteriorated as a result of overexhaustion of his Du Qi. Shunur supported herself by leaning against a tree trunk. She took advantage of this short time frame to catch her breath before sweeping her gaze to the place where Xiao Yan's battle was happening. When she saw that Xiao Yan did not show any signs of becoming defeated despite being forced by his opponent to the point where he faced continuous danger, she heaved a sigh of relief. A smile that caused Su Xiao and the others to feel grace to be in her presence made its way onto her face. Xiao Yan's group has already gained the advantage in this fight. Su Xiao sighed as he recovered from Shunur's blooming flower-like stunning smile. The expression on his face was extremely brilliant. 
it was really unexpected that the fire energy hunting competition which did not have any big incidents after being held for so many years would suddenly have an unexpected turn of events that left them stunned this year when they themselves participated. This really caused Su Xiao to be speechless. Originally, he had planned to accumulate some fire energy from the new students to enter the blazing sky key refining tower to train for a period of time. In the end, not only did he not obtain any fire energy or rather, he ended up losing his. This was really a double whammy. Leng Bai and Xu Yan exchanged gazes beside him. Their hearts were a little sad and chaotic as they laughed bitterly. They were really terribly unlucky to have met this kind of situation. As long as these fellows devote themselves to training hard within the blazing sky key refining tower for a period of time after they enter the academy, I'm afraid that they will be able to sneak their way into the strong ranking. Su Xiao shifted his body to let himself lean more comfortably against a tree trunk. His gaze was thrown toward Xiao Yan, who was having a heated battle with Sha Te. These words of his had a sense of marvel that was difficult to hide. Although he had already viewed Xiao Yan very highly, he did not expect that the latter would actually be able to rely on his own strength to endure this long at Sha Te's hands. It should be known that Sha Te was a seasoned veteran in fighting techniques and frequently mingled in the fighting arena within the inner academy. His fighting experience could be called shrewd and ruthless. Even the lower-level duelings with little battle experience would have difficulty defeating him. From this, it could be seen just how rich Sha Te's combat experience was. However, it was this person, whose strength was not only a few stars higher than Xiao Yan, but whose combat experience was also very seasoned, who was unable to defeat the latter after such a long time. This scene could not help but cause Su Xiao and the rest to feel speechless at Xiao Yan's tenaciousness. Of course, they naturally did not know that if it were not for the green-colored flame in Xiao Yan's hand causing Sha Te to suffer greatly. It was likely that Xiao Yan would really have difficulty holding out for this long in Sha Te's hands without showing any signs of defeat if he just relied on the strength of his own level. Leng Bai and Xiu Yan quietly nodded when they heard Su Xiao's words. Thus far, the various things that Xiao Yan had displayed had already far exceeded their expectations. Reaching the level of a six-star Da Dushi at such an age. This kind of training talent really caused some people to be utterly amazed. None of them had any doubt when it was said that he would be able to enter the strong ranking of the inner academy. Shunar, Hu Jia, and the others rested on the sidelines for two to three minutes before they stood up once again. They exchanged glances with one another and nodded slightly. Gold and green colored Du Qi once again surged out of their bodies. Finally, they moved in a similar fashion toward the left and right, surrounding the battlegrounds where Xiao Yan and Sha Te were exchanging blows. Du Qi extended out and shrunk back into their palms, ready to seize Sha Te's opening and give him a heavy blow. The other three new students, on the other hand, could only watch Shunur and Hu Jia's actions, since their Du Qi was completely exhausted. Currently, they were unable to gather even the slightest bit of strength to go forward and help. Of course, with their strength, they were indeed unable to get involved in this level of battle. Clang. A fist trapped in green-colored flame once again heavily collided with Sha Te's fist, which was covered by the dark golden-colored Du Qi armor. A clear clang suddenly sounded. Xiao Yan's shoulders quivered rapidly as he sensed a powerful force that transmitted from the point of contact between their fist. His muscles fluctuated a little like a water ripple. The green flame suddenly ignited within his black pupils as he inhaled a deep breath of air, while a low cry was emitted from Xiao Yan's throat. The dew crystal vibrated quickly within the vortex of his body. Wisps of green-colored flame swiftly surged out from that small acceptance spirit space, finally moving along his key paths to reach his fist. Huh. As Xiao Yan's cry sounded, the green-colored flame on his hand suddenly soared. Finally, it turned into a large cluster of flames that moved along the point of contact between the fist and instantly swept over Sha Te's Du Qi armor. Immediately, the sound of ear-piercing sizzling repeatedly emitted from Sha Te's Du Qi armor. Following the explosive surge of this cluster of green-colored flames, Xiao Yan's face suddenly became much dimmer. By mobilizing such a large amount of heavenly flame to attack, it not only consumed a great amount of his Du Qi, but also placed an immense burden on his spiritual strength. The green-colored flame that suddenly adhered to his body caused Sha Te's expression, hidden under the Du Qi armor, to change drastically. An extremely high temperature repeatedly permeated through the Du Qi armor from outside. At the very least, it grilled Sha Te's skin until it was fiery red. Damn it. What is this flame exactly? 
Shate let out a soft but furious roar in his heart. Currently Shate was enraged. In the earlier exchanges, each time he was about to strike Xiao Yan's body, that green-colored flame would take the initiative to pounce toward him, forcing him to pull his hand back. Hence, he could not take advantage of any openings despite this exchange having lasted for more than 10 minutes. Instead, he was suppressed by Xiao Yan to the point where he could not even move to win. A moment ago, he had gotten a chance to give a hard punch, something which was difficult to come by. However, that damn flame had coincidentally come sticking onto him. How could he not be angry at this kind of hopelessly stupid battle? While Shate was furious in his heart, his body was swiftly pulling back. As he did so, anything which he collided with would be instantly be incinerated by the green-colored flame and turned into ashes. At this moment, Shate had suddenly appeared to have become a green-colored flaming person in other people's eyes, while he repeatedly randomly fell back. Even the hard armor on Shate's body, which was like a tortoise shell, was starting to be charred by that green-colored flame until it gradually became pale. Just as the Duki armor had become vaguely visible, the green-colored flame, which had left Xiao Yan's control, finally extinguished extremely suddenly with a shu sound. The perspiration covered Shate's sight in relief at the green-colored flame which had suddenly disappeared. If this flame had lasted a little longer, he did not dare say just how long he could endure with just his flesh should his armor be compromised. At the same time Shate sighed in relief, he clenched his teeth and lifted his head. He eyed Xiao Yan and involuntarily let out a cold smile when he saw the other party's somewhat dimmed face. However, before his cold laughter was completely transmitted out from his mouth, his expression suddenly stiffened. Under Shate's gaze, he saw that the originally dim-faced Xiao Yan waved his hand and a jade bottle appeared within his hand. The latter swiftly poured out three round medicinal pills before popping them into his mouth in front of Shate. The initial medicinal strength immediately began to swiftly disperse, and the dimness on Xiao Yan's face faded slightly compared to his earlier condition. After consuming the medicinal pills like one would consume candy, Xiao Yan raised his head and smiled at Shate. He shook both his hands slightly, and the green colored flame, which caused Shate's face to stiffen, exploded out once again. This time around, however, it clearly no longer had the power it did a moment ago. Nevertheless, just this alone still caused the corner of Shate's mouth to twitch. Even if this fellow is an alchemist, he didn't need to eat it like that, did he? Do medicinal pills not cost money? Shate's expression turned a little green. In his heart, however, he felt an incomparable bitterness and anger. It was already shameless to rely on that weird flame to fight. Yet, this fellow actually ate those medicinal pills like candy, using it to recover the Du Qi which he had completely exhausted. How was Shate going to fight against this? He he. Xiao Yan laughed when he saw Shate's expression. His gaze swept towards Shunur and Hu Jia by the side. A moment later, he lifted his chin, and the three of them flashed forward at the same time. The powerful attacks were all headed for Shate. At this moment, the hard tortoise shell like Du Qi armor belonging to Shate had basically been cooked by Xiao Yan's green lotus core flame until nothing was left. This was the perfect time to strike. Wait. The green colored flame was swiftly overtaking Shate's field of vision. As he recalled the pain from being burned by that flame earlier, Shate's face contorted. His gaze swiftly swept over his four companions who had already been defeated Dan helplessly shook his head. He immediately inhaled a deep breath of air as his voice sounded in the empty forest like thunder, shocking everyone. Three sharp attacks suddenly stopped just as they were half a meter from Shate. The footsteps of the three of them staggered as they flashed back in an extremely agile manner. Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows and asked with a smile, what is it? We have lost. Shate sighed as he spoke in an extremely helpless manner. With the current situation, he did not think that he had any ability to resist. Of course, if it were not for the green-colored flame in Xiao Yan's hand suppressing him in every way, he would be able to go all out and fight against three people by himself. Unfortunately. The helpless voice emitted from Shate's mouth slowly reverberated within the empty ground of the forest. Under these words, everyone fell into a silence. These sudden words from this fellow admitting his loss were indeed a little too shocking. From the looks of the situation earlier, it appeared that he was suppressing Xiao Yan as they fought. Originally, everyone thought that this battle would become even more intense. In the end, this silent atmosphere continued for a long while in the empty ground before some of the new students finally recovered. Immediately, thunder-like cheers shook the entire forest until it rustled. End of chapter. 
Chapter 453. Distributing the Spoils, Recuperation. Xiao Yan was seated on a rock within the empty clearing. In front of him was a simple wooden table where piles of fire crystal cards were placed orderly. Many of these fire crystal cards had the same number on it. 2. Clearly, the owners of these fire crystal cards had all unluckily met older students and had their fire energy stolen from them. Dozens of new students were seated cross-legged in the empty clearing in front of the table. Although their outer appearances were extremely weary and awkward, their eyes were filled with energy. Numerous gazes that carried excitement stared at the pile of fire crystal cards on the table. On the other side of the empty ground, Sha Te, Su Xiao, and the others rested against a tree trunk. The expressions on their faces were extremely dispirited. The gazes that they used to look at Xiao Yan on the rock were filled with a certain resentment. Xiao Yan did not pay much attention to their gazes. His left hand lifted a pale blue fire crystal card. After which, he repeatedly grabbed a black fire crystal card. He rubbed both of them together and as a light was released, the number on the black fire crystal card swiftly returned to the number when they had entered the forest. Moreover, Xiao Yan added two more days to the balance. Finally, the number on these black cards turned from two to seven. What Xiao Yan was currently doing was naturally splitting the spoils, an important matter that would hook people's heart. Those new students' fire crystal cards, which had been depleted until there were only two days of fire energy left, were not only replenished by Xiao Yan, but also gained an extra two days' worth of fire energy. Xiao Yan also generously gave the lucky ones, who had avoided having their fire crystal cards snatched by the older student, an extra five days of fire energy. He clearly understood that if he did not have the assistance of the new students who bravely went all out, it would have been impossible for the few people in his group to complete this task of swallowing Su Xiao's three groups, as well as Sha Te's even stronger group. Light repeatedly flashed on the table's surface. A long while after this, Xiao Yan finally exhaled and placed the final black fire crystal card down. He turned his head towards Shunur and Hu Jia by the sight and said, hand all of these back to their original owners. Shunur and Hu Jia nodded their heads when they heard this. They immediately grabbed a bundle of fire crystal cards each and flashed toward the new student group in an agile manner. After which, they returned the various fire crystal cards, which had individual unique markings, back into the hands of those new students with excited faces. Ha ha, our fire energy is finally back in our hands. Some of the new students hugged their own fire crystal cards with both hands. They could not help but part their mouths and laugh when they saw the number on it. Xiao Yan smiled slightly as he watched the excitement and joy-filled faces of the new students. He turned his gaze toward Wu Hao, who was meditating with his eyes closed. After the battle was over, he had quickly consumed one more energy recovery pill. Hence, the complexion of the current Wu Hao had improved greatly. The injuries on his body were merely external wounds. Fortunately, he did not injure his key paths or bones. Otherwise, he might have needed to rest for a period of time in order to fully recuperate. Xiao Yan stood up from the rock and eyed the pale blue colored fire crystal cards on the table. After the distribution of the spoils earlier, there was still more than 270 remaining fire energy within these fire crystal cards. After distributing these remaining fire energy among the four of them, each person would able to obtain around 60 days worth of it. This harvest could be considered very rich. After temporarily transferring all the fire energy remaining in the pale blue cards into his own crystal card, Xiao Yan carried them and walked in the direction of the group of people, whose faces were filled with resentment. Kiki, I'm sorry. It would be unjustifiable if I did not give them some sort of reward after requesting their support. Hence, I can only temporarily borrow from the few of you as payment. Xiao Yan laughed as he spoke. Immediately, the crystal cards in his hands shot back to their individual owners, as though they possessed a spirit. Ah, uh, this time we have made losses all the way to our crotch. Shate grabbed the fire crystal card with one hand and eyed the balance deposited within it. The corners of his mouth involuntarily twitched as he scolded. In there used to be the result of him fighting within the fighting arena for the last two months. In the end, Xiao Yan had actually taken 90% of it. How could he not feel his heartache? Ah. Uh, Su Xiao and the others on his sides helplessly sighed. In their hearts, they blamed themselves for being greedy. If it had not wanted to snatch the fire energy from the new students, how would they have ended up meeting Xiao Yan's group, who was even more cruel than bandits? Kiki, Senior Sha Te, can I inquire about something? Xiao Yan was unconcerned about their expressions as he asked with a smile. Sha Te rolled his eyes. 
his mood was currently extremely bad and was not in the mood to bother about Xiao Yan. 20 days of fire energy and you tell me the information I want to know. What do you say? Xiao Yan played with the dark black fire crystal card as he said softly, if you are unwilling, I can go and ask senior Su Xiao and the others. The corner of Sha Te's mouth twitched. He clenched his teeth and said fiercely, you. Just ask. The first word was still rather ferocious. However, after he paused for a moment, Sha Te's body became relaxed. Currently, to him who had become penniless, even 20 days worth of fire energy was considered quite a large amount. Can you tell me anything regarding the final white demon group? Xiao Yan's pupils were smiling as he said softly. Currently, their harvest was already so rich that it gave Xiao Yan a heavy feeling. If he wanted to successfully bring this rich harvest into the inner academy, he must defeat the final white demon group. Otherwise, he would definitely end up miserably, benefiting others after spending so much effort over the last few days. White demon group? Sha Te lifted his eyebrows. Clearly, he also understood Xiao Yan's intent. His gaze swept across those new students on the open ground, who were so weak that they had difficulty even standing and continued with a laugh, the strength of that white demon group is a little stronger than our black demon group. Sha Te's first sentence caused Xiao Yan to frown slightly. Defeating the black demon group had already greatly hurt their strength. The so-called white demon group was actually even stronger than them? Perhaps the strength of the group members are similar, but the group leader of the white demon group, Lo Ho, is a true strong Du Ling. Although he has only just entered the Du Ling class less than two months ago, he is much stronger compared to me, who only has half a foot in the Du Ling class. Sha Te curled his lips and said, it is not that I want to kill your hopes of escape, but by relying on this new student group, whose strength has been severely hurt, it is likely that you won't be able to charge through, even if all of you are together. Xiao Yan pursed his lips tightly together. A long while later, he said softly, if these new students are all allowed to completely recover, then it should be possible, right? Adding the few of you, a group of about 50 new students, is something that the white demon group would not be able to block, regardless of how strong they are. After all, two palms will have difficulty matching four hands. Sha Te shrugged his shoulders. He continued, unfortunately, the injuries that these fellows suffer from are quite serious. Without three to five days, it is difficult for them to fully recover. However, the fire energy hunting competition will only last for one week. Hence, you cannot wait until they are completely recovered. Kiki, it's fine as long as it is possible to break through with everyone's strength. As for their injuries. Xiao Yan smiled slightly toward Sha Te and continued, don't tell me you have forgotten about my identity? Looking from the point of an alchemist, these injuries are not very serious. Sha Te was slightly startled when he heard this. He immediately became silent. He had really forgotten this point. Since this fellow was able to control that extremely terrifying flame, it was likely that he was also well versed in his alchemist skills. If he had sufficient medicinal ingredients, he might really be able to heal these new students, allowing them to recover to their peak strength within a short period of time. At that time, when nearly 50 new students charged together, even if Lo Ho was an elite Du Ling, it was likely that he would only be able to stare at the stampede with a stunned expression. Xiao Yan clapped his hands and made a little contact between his black fire crystal card and Sha Te's crystal card. As the light flashed, he handed over 20 days worth of fire energy. After which, he turned his body and returned to that simple table. He looked at those new students, who were holding their fire crystal card with excited faces, and smiled as he said, everyone, there is still one last challenge we must face before the fire energy hunting competition comes to an end. As long as we are able to successfully charge through them, we will be able to successfully bring the fire energy that we have obtained in our hands into the inner academy. If we were to fail, then all the fire energy we worked for would end up with the white demon group. Fight with them. Upon hearing Xiao Yan's words, the emotion of the new students on the empty ground immediately became somewhat agitated. They had just recovered their fire energy, and now they knew how to treasure this precious item that was difficult to obtain. Kiki. Xiao Yan laughed softly. He pressed his hands down in the empty space. Immediately, the noise became quiet. His gaze swept across the places smiled and continued, since everyone has chosen not to give up, let us pour together our strength and charge into this final challenge together. However, before this, we need to stay here for one day. After one day, I will help everyone completely recover from their injuries. At that time, 
It will be the last retaliation of us new students. Senior Xiaoyan, we will listen to you. With the previous example of them defeating the Black Demon group, these new students no longer had any doubt in Xiaoyan's words. Hence, as Xiaoyan words sounded, numerous cries were released. The orderly tone shook the forest until it rustled. Off to the side, Sha Te and the others watched that group of new students rise to action. They could not help but sigh. Although these new students were merely some young wolves who had just grown teeth, the fighting strength they displayed under the leadership of this ferocious lion, Xiao Yan, had already far exceeded everyone's expectations. Xiao Yan once again sat cross-legged on the rock. He waved his hand and a medicinal cauldron, along with a large amount of medicinal ingredients, appeared on the table in front of him. He flicked his right hand, and the green-colored flame flashed into the medicinal cauldron. The green-colored flame soared and burned in the cauldron within the quiet forest. Numerous medicinal ingredients were all incinerated in the flames, and their essences were quietly gathered. Xiao Yan spent an entire night's time refining some medicinal pills that could cure internal injuries. Dozens of human figures, who were sitting cross-legged within the quiet forested area, abruptly opened their eyes at dusk the next day. A glow was quietly deposited. Numerous powerful keys spread out from within their bodies before agglomerating into an integrated body that spread over the entire forest. At this moment the new students opened their eyes, Xiao Yan, along with Shunner, and the other two on the rock, also slowly opened their eyes. After resting for an entire day, the three of them had once again recovered to their peak condition, with the help of Xiao Yan's medicinal pills. Xiao Yan stood up from the rock. He glanced at Sha Te and the rest who were still by the side. After which, he turned around and threw his gaze over to the new students who had recovered their strength. He raised his hands slowly before throwing it down. Go. As Xiao Yan's voice sounded, dozens of human figures flashed onto the tree branches with a swish sound. With Xiao Yan and the three others leading them, they immediately rushed toward the exit of the forest one after another. The final decisive battle was about to begin. End of chapter. Chapter 454. White Demon Group. This empty area was covered with rocks. When the spreading forest met with this rocky region, it ceased expanding. Hence, the sunlight that scattered down from the sky did not encounter any obstruction as it poured over the ground. The warmth of the sunlight caused people's body to feel a warm feeling. Not far away from this rocky region was a mountain slope which swelled up. There were some boulders of various sizes spread across the mountain slope. At this moment, there were quite a number of people either seated or standing above or beside these mountain rocks. These people were quite young, around 24 to 25 years old. Their clothes may be different, but all of them wore a tower-shaped badge on their chest. Clearly, these students were older students from the inner academy. On the other side of the mountain slope, there was a platform which was built upon a huge rock. Two old men were seated on this huge rock. They were actually Elder Su and Elder King, whom Xiao Yan and the others had met before they entered the forest. Seated around them were a couple of middle-aged men with calm auras. Clearly, they should people in charge of various affairs within the inner academy. He he, I heard that this batch of new students were extremely arrogant. They actually went and robbed the fire energy from the older students instead? A gaze from the top of the mountain slope eyed the slightly dimmed area at the edge of the forest as laughter was being transmitted among themselves. Yes. I found out from some of the older student groups who came out of the forest that this time around. There was a group of new students led by someone called Xiao Yan, who appears to be quite strong. Chi. They are only finding excuses for their own failures. At any rate, they have at least trained in the inner academy for over a year. It is really unexpected that they would lose in the hands of new students. Tisk tisk. Hopefully. I heard that Shate of the Black Demon Group has also brought people into the forest. I wonder if they also ran into the new students? Oh? Shate also entered? Then these new students can be considered to be finished. Shate is a strong person who is about to enter the dueling class. That's right. Their good luck can be considered to have ended here. As numerous private whispers were being transmitted all over the place, a few human figures in the rock piles below moved slightly. They immediately opened their eyes slowly as their indifferent gazes swept over the dark forest. These five human figures simply sat on the messy rocks. Their breathing was long and calm. They did not move because of those private conversations that sounded beside their ears. The five of them wore white-colored clothes, much like their indifferent ice-cold auras. Among the five of them, the one with the strongest aura was a young man in the middle, whose complexion was a little white. 
At this moment, this white-complexioned young man was the only person among the five whose eyes were still shut. He was seated cross-legged on a rock, with his body appearing similar to an ice sculpture. A hint of a cold aura shrouded and actually caused some of the green grass on the rocks to be covered by white frost. Time slowly flowed past along with the movement of the sun above their heads. Just as these students on the mountain slope thought that they had waited in vain today, there was suddenly the sounds of footsteps coming from within the dark forest. Immediately, everyone braced their spirits. Their gazes all swept toward the forest exit without making any prior agreement. The originally noisy private conversations also completely ceased. Elder Sue and Elder King on the rock platform at the top of the mountain slope also slowly raised their heads. They narrowed their eyes as they threw their gazes in the direction where the sound of footsteps originated. As the atmosphere became quiet, the sound of footsteps being emitted from within the dark forest became increasingly depressing. A long while later, a pair of feet took a step out from the exit of the dark black forest. Quickly following this, twenty human figures slowly walked out. The one leading them was Sha Te, Su Xiao, and the others. Uh, it's Sha Te and the others. The gazes landed on the twenty human figures that had walked out of the forest. Everyone on the mountain slope was startled as they spoke in stunned voices. Don't tell me that they have already finished off the new students? A hint of doubt flashed across everyone's heart, numerous gazes were shot toward Sha Te and the others who walked out of the forest. Sha Te's twenty man group slowly walked toward the nearest pile of rubble. At this moment, the young man with a pale complexion also slowly opened his eyes. His gaze swept over Sha Te and the others. A moment later, his face changed slightly. There was an additional seriousness in his indifferent voice. All of you were actually defeated? Although his voice was soft, it was undoubtedly like exploding thunder that had suddenly roared in the clear sky. It immediately exploded among the inner academy students on the mountain slope until they were stunned. Their faces were dull. Twenty strong older students was sufficient enough to sweep over all the new students in a head-on battle. However, now that they had heard what the pale-faced young man had said, they were all actually defeated in the hands of the new students. Although their hearts were extremely shocked, the Inner Academy's students did not have much doubt over the words spoken by this pale-faced young man. With his ability and sight, it was not difficult for him to see through what happened. Hence, at this moment, all the students could not help but feel somewhat absent-minded. The current new students were already strong to such an extent. Shot A did not feel surprised that the pale-faced young man saw through everything at a glance. He waved his hand and helplessly said, those fellows are very strong. Their combat experience is also far from what ordinary new students can compare with. Shot A's words once again caused a wave of noise, from the swallowing of saliva, to appear on the mountain slope. Some old students were unable to hide the shock in their hearts as they inhaled a deep breath of cool air. Even the black demon group was defeated by the new students. Was this batch of new students really this abnormally strong? Leave the rest of the matter to us. Let me see just how great this group of new students, who have alarmed the entire inner academy, are. The pale-faced young man slowly stood up from the rock and straightened his body. A faint coldness suddenly swarmed out of his body as he spoke indifferently. Chate's gaze carried a little weirdness as he looked at the cold air on the pale-faced young man. A floating arc was lifted from the corner of Chate's mouth. Compared to his own close-range combat, this fellow's ice affinity do key would likely suffer an even greater restraint under that fellow's terrifying green-colored flame. Lo ho, the new students this year are indeed very strong. I think that perhaps this last group of yours is likely unable to stop them. Chate spread his hands and said. Move aside. All of you have already lost the qualification to stay here. The pale-faced young man ignored him. His tone was still very calm. All right. I believe that you will soon not have the qualification either. Shate did not become angry. He laughed coldly. Together with Su Xiao and the rest, he slowly withdrew toward the mountain slope. They had just ascended the mountain slope when a large group of rushing wind noises suddenly sounded from within the dark forest. Following the appearance of this rushing wind sound, the gazes that were shot at Shate and the others once again turned back to the exit of the forest. Not long after their gazes shifted, the tree branches within the forest swiftly swayed. Immediately, numerous human figures swiftly flashed out from within the dense forest. Finally, they landed under the sunlight with one knee on the ground. There were many human figures. If one were to carefully count, there were actually no less than 40 people. 
Seeing these numbers, not only did astonished noises sound from the surrounding mountain slope, but the face of the pale-faced young man also changed a little. It is really unexpected that there was actually someone who was able to gather all the new students. This is a big move. But who would this person be? Elder Sue sighed in surprise from the rock platform as he eyed the dozens of new students who had appeared. The fire energy hunting competition of the previous years did not lack people who wanted to gather all the new students together to fight as a whole. Due to each of the new students being arrogant, however, there was seldom anyone who was able to successfully achieve this. I think. It should be the young man called Xiao Yan. Didn't that old fellow Hu Gan say that during the qualifying competition, this fellow relied on his own strength to defeat three, four, or five new students joining hands? Elder King voiced his thoughts. Elder Su nodded slightly. He voiced some praise within his heart. This Xiao Yan was indeed a good seedling. Those new students in front of the rock piles, who had flashed out from the forest, lifted their heads as they swept their gaze across the older students on the mountain slope, with eyes containing various kinds of emotion. Finally, they spread out to both sides and opened a small path in the middle. The new students spread out, and the edge of the small path remained directly linked to the exit of the dark forest. Soft footsteps sounded at that spot, and four human figures immediately came walking out slowly from the darkness. Finally, they passed through the small path formed by the human crowd, before appearing right at the front of the new students. The one leading them was a black-robed young man who was carrying an enormous black ruler that was nearly as tall as him. He raised his head slightly, and his gaze scanned the entire place. Finally, it stopped at the five white-clothed young men on the pile of rocks. He cupped his hands as he asked with a smile, you seniors should be the final group of this year's fire energy hunting competition, the white demon group, right? White demon group leader, Lo Ho. The pale-faced young man's gaze swept across the four of them. It paused on Shunur and Hu Jia for a moment before it swiftly stared intently at Xiao Yan, who stood in the middle as he slowly spoke. New student leader, Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled as he softly spoke by following Lo Ho's manner of speaking. Lo Ho nodded. The cold air around his body became increasingly dense. A powerful force rose from within his body and shrouded this area filled with piles of rocks. Some of the weaker new students' expressions changed as they could not resist the pressure of this force, which was even greater than Sha Te's. Xiao Yan's face became increasingly serious as he sensed the ice-cold pressure around his body. It was just as Sha Te had said. This fellow was a true strong Du Ling. As they thought of this in their hearts, Xiao Yan turned his head to exchange glances with Shunur and the three others. He nodded slightly, and the four of them took a step forward at the same time. Immediately, four powerful Du Qis abruptly surged out of their bodies. The four forces intertwined in mid-air before finally combining together, blocking the ice-cold force that surrounded their bodies. As the four of them moved, those dozens of new students also released forces of varying strength. Although their forces could not be compared with any single one in Xiao Yan's group, if they were to be looked at individually, the sum of such numbers caused the force to almost immediately become the strongest one present. With the superimposition of all the new students, including Xiao Yan's four men group, the permeating ice cold domineering force from Lo Ho basically broke down upon contact. Seeing that their group leader suffered defeat, the other four members of the White Demon group also hurriedly released their force, and together, they finally managed to resist that powerful force from the other side. In their initial exchange, Xiao Yan's group relied on their numbers to suppress the White Demon group. The advantage in numbers appeared extremely vivid here. This victory they had obtained in the clash of their aura also caused the confidence of all the new students to soar. The slight worry that was formed due to Lo Ho earlier was also immediately and totally resolved. Xiao Yan took one step forward. His gaze stared at Lu Ho, cupped his hands together and asked in a clear voice, Senior Lu Ho. Could you allow us pass through this final checkpoint? Xiao Yan's voice reverberated mightily throughout the place scattered with rocks, causing the entire mountain slope to become quiet. Lo Ho's expression was indifferent. His eyes similarly stared intently at Xiao Yan. It was a long while later before his mouth moved slightly. One cold word was spat out. No. At this moment, the atmosphere suddenly solidified as if the arms of everyone were drawn. End of chapter. Chapter 455. The Final Big Fight. As the ice-cold word was emitted from Lo Ho's mouth, the entire mountain slope of rocks suddenly became silent. From the ready-to-fight atmosphere, everyone understood clearly in their hearts that it was likely that today's matter would not end nicely. 
an intense big fight was inevitable. Xiao Yan's gaze stared intently at Lo Ho's face. A long while later, he nodded slightly. That voice of his had also become much more cold, since Senior Lo Ho is unwilling to let us pass, then we can only offend you. Xiao Yan's hands slowly held the hilt of the heavy Shuin ruler. He immediately and abruptly drew it. A black shadow cut through the air, and an intense wind swept away some of the rock fragments in front of him. The ruler was pointed sideways toward the ground. Green-colored Du Qi surged out from within Xiao Yan's body. Since the matter had already progressed to such a point, they had reached the stage where they could not give up because of any unforeseen change in events. Hence, they were left with no choice but to fight. Following Xiao Yan's action, Du Qi also began to swiftly swarm out from the bodies of Shunner and the two others that stood beside him. Waves of powerful force repeatedly rippled out. Their forces locked on Lo Ho, who stood in the middle, from far away. In order to defeat the enemy, one must first defeat their king. The most troublesome person in this white demon group was this Lo Ho. As long as they defeated him, they need not be worried about the others. I will block Xiao Yan and the three others. Yi Hao, the four of you stop those new students. Do not spread out when you fight. Although there are many new students, they don't know how to cooperate. As long as you firmly hold yourselves together and rely on the merging of your four synergetic Du Keys, you have quite a high chance of victory. A faint white-colored cold air repeatedly seeped from Lo Ho's body. His gaze glanced at Xiao Yan and the three others before turning to a member of the White Demon group and spoke. His cold sharp eyes could see the weakness of the new students with a single glance. Yes. Hearing this, those four members of the White Demon group replied with deep voices. The Duki in their bodies surged, and threads of cold air began to be released from their bodies. From the looks of it, it appeared that all the members of this white demon group practiced ice affinity du qi. Xiao Yan was visibly affected as he eyed the cold air around those four people. The strength that was unleashed from the collaboration of du qi of the same affinity would be able to increase significantly. Viewing from this point, the overall strength of the white demon group was significantly stronger than the black demon group lead by Sha Te. No wonder they were the people who guarded the final checkpoint. This Lo Ho actually dares to face four opponents by himself. If this person was not wildly arrogant, then it means that he had some trump cards and hidden strength. Xiao Yan spoke to Shunner and the other two softly, as this thoughts lingered for a while in his heart, we do not need to warm up in this battle. Hence, you all don't need to hold anything back. Try your best to defeat him. Don't waste even a second or there might be some unforeseen events if we delay any longer. Yes. The three of them nodded slightly. The Du Qi in their bodies was like a turbulent flood as it swiftly passed through the key paths in their bodies. A feeling of being filled with strength spread over the bodies of the three of them. In that condition, all they needed was to move a little, the surging Du Qi would follow their will and unleash thundering attacks. Following the Du Qi of both parties permeating all over their bodies, the tense atmosphere faintly became even sharper. All the older students on the mountain slope remained quiet. Currently, the White Demon group was the final hurdle in this fire energy hunting competition. If even they were unable to block the attacks of the new students, Xiao Yan's group would perhaps break the curse that the fire energy hunting competition was the most bitter period for a new student before entering the inner academy. Can Xiao Yan's group defeat the White Demon group? From one corner of the mountain slopes, Su Xiao watched the two sides giving a tit for a tat below and could not help but whisper to Sha Te who sat beside him. No matter what happens, they do have a chance and that's it. I can't really say much about the others. After all, regardless of whether we are discussing individual strength or the strength of the group, the white demon group is much stronger than the black demon group. Xiao Yan and the others were able to defeat us, but they may not gain the advantage when facing the white demon group. Sha Te shook his head. He was similarly unclear about the end result and could only give Su Xiao a vague reply. Su Xiao could only helplessly smile when faced with this vague reply. He turned his head and threw his gaze to the imposingly sharp face near the messy rock piles. The atmosphere of the messy rocky area, where all the gazes had gathered, was becoming increasingly tense. Everyone's expressions slowly became solemn. The Du Qi glow on the surface was extended and contracted, much like the feelings of everyone at the moment, having difficulty calming down. Ka! A gentle breeze blew past. A rock fragment from the mountain suddenly rolled down and heavily crashed into a rock on another spot. Immediately, it was crushed into pieces. The sudden clear sound was undoubtedly like throwing a stone into the calm surface of a lake. 
immediately, an enormous wave would rise and roll. The dozens of different colored dew keys surged out from the messy rocky ground. The hue was beautiful because of the multiple colors. The wildly flowing dew key directly caused the pressure in the area to soar. Some tall and straight green grass bent their bodies from the pressure caused by these dew key. Fight! As the forces surged, two simultaneous cries were emitted from Xiao Yan and Lo Ho's mouth without any prior planning. As these two voices sounded, the tense atmosphere suddenly broke. As the human figures flashed, the low roar, that contained a fiery fighting intent, reverberated without disappearing on the battlefield. At the moment that the cry sounded, Xiao Yan's hand suddenly tightened on the hilt of the ruler. His feet violently stomped against the ground, and a green-colored energy exploded under his feet. The pressure caused by turbulent energy undulations directly turned Xiao Yan's body into a black shadow as it shot into the middle of the rocky ground where Lo Ho was standing. When Xiao Yan's body moved, Shunur and the other two behind him followed closely. The gap between the four of them was maintained within a one-meter radius. At this distance, the four of them could join hands anytime and anywhere to handle a sharp attack that came from any direction. Charge. Behind Xiao Yan's four-man group, there was a large group of new students roaring loudly as they charged over. Although their formation was scattered, their force was the strongest one present due to them having so many people. The expressions on the faces of the four members from the White Demon group were indifferent. They did not feel the slightest fear because of the large numbers and strong imposing manner of Xiao Yan's group. Their hands shook and four white-colored metal rods, which were five feet long, flashed and appeared. A low cry was emitted as the four people borrowed the force of the metal rods, touching the ground to shoot forward. They swiftly shot past Xiao Yan's four-man group. Finally, the four metal rod danced wildly, like the rotating wind, and finally stopped all the remaining dozens of new students behind. Xiao Yan did not turn his head around when he heard the whirring wind sound behind him. His gaze stared intently at Lo Ho, whose body was standing straight atop a piece of rock. Xiao Yan gripped the heavy ruler in his hand and immediately used his strength to hack downward. A sharp green-colored Du Qi glow immediately exploded out from the ruler, releasing Du Qi into one's surroundings. This was an attacking method representative of a Da Du Shi. This was similar to a long-range attack by a practitioner. After the green-colored Du Qi glow appeared, Shunur and the two others also released three powerful glows. Four glows cut through the obstructions of the air as they carried a violent wind and smashed toward Lo Ho. Lo Ho's face was indifferent as he eyed the four turbulent Du Qi projectiles being shot over. His hands trembled a little and a ten-foot-long cold metal rod, which appeared to be molded from cold ice, flashed and appeared. His hands held the body of the long rod tightly, and the tip of the rod pierced out explosively. Immediately, one could see images of the rod repeatedly and continuously appearing in midair. Each rod image solidly smashed into the four glows. After this was repeated for a couple of times, the four glows, which contained powerful forces, were actually scattered forcefully by him. This strength was something that people really marveled at. He is indeed worthy of being a strong Du Ling. What a sharp attack. This attack of Lo Ho caused Xiao Yan's expression to change slightly. Looking just at this action of defusing these four glows, the strength of this Lo Ho was much stronger than the junior sect leader of the Blood Sect, which Xiao Yan had killed back in the Black Corner region. Of course, part of the reason here was that the key method which that junior sect leader used to raise his strength was too much of a cheap trick. Hence, it resulted in the Du Qi within the latter's body being superficial. If he were to really fight with someone, that fellow's strength was at the very most at the peak of the Da Du Shi class. This thought flashed in his heart and swiftly disappeared as Xiao Yan's expression became serious. The heavy ruler in his hand let out a qi sound as it cut through the air, transforming into a black shadow that carried a depressing sound. His body moved up and down like a half-leap as he viciously hacked at Lo Ho. Qi. Behind Xiao Yan, an energy palm that contained some gold-colored flames, a long green-colored whip, and a blood-colored heavy sword, also carried their own powerful force as they formed a fan-like shape, completely surrounding the area around Lo Ho. Seeing the concentrated attack of Xiao Yan's four men group below, some of the expressions of the older students on the mountain slope involuntarily changed. This was because they clearly understood in their hearts that if it were them who was receiving the attack, they would likely be defeated the moment of contact. These four people are indeed very strong. Especially that black-robed young man. Some of the hearts of the older students could not resist emitting a sigh. 
After personally witnessing the attack of these new students, they finally understood why the older students, who had participated in this year's fire energy hunting competition, had been so miserably defeated. Only at this moment did they come to a sudden understanding. It was not that the strength of the older students participating in the fire energy hunting competition was weak, but rather the strength of this year's new students was too strong. At the moment, this thought was swiftly spinning in the hearts of everyone on the mountain slope, Lo Ho, who had been quietly standing in the battleground without moving, finally made a move. His hands held the cold metal rod tightly. Treads of mist-like cold air spread out from the rod as a cold deep cry sounded. Circular cold spinning rod. As Lo Ho's cry sounded, the cold air, in the form of a mist, shrouding the cold metal rod, immediately rolled and rose. A mysterious arc was formed from the rotation. Immediately, the cold air formed a circular-shaped ice shield under the quick rotations of the cold air, completely wrapping Lo Ho's body within it. Bang, bang. Four ferocious attacks suddenly landed from above on the ice shield that was formed from the fast-rotating metal rod. Immediately, a deep muffled sound resounded throughout the entire messy rocky area. Powerful forces followed the ice shield and spread downward before they were finally skillfully discharged onto a rock. The rock was immediately cracked, forming numerous crack lines before it exploded into rock fragments with a bang. Get lost. Lo Ho's body was bent slightly as a cold cry was emitted from his mouth. The fast-spinning cold metal rod suddenly paused. Immediately, the tip of the rod swiftly pierced forward, once again forming afterimages that filled the sky. It viciously struck the weapons of Xiao Yan's four-man group. The force that suddenly erupted directly shook the four of them until they hurriedly pulled back two steps. Fighting against four people by himself, yet not showing any signs of losing. The gap between a strong Du Ling and a Da Du Xi was indeed difficult to measure. Roar, nice. Show those arrogant new students what skill really looks like. Seeing that the initial attack of Xiao Yan's four men group failed, cheers immediately sounded on the mountain slope. Xiao Yan's body somersaulted through the air before immediately landing on a rock. He lifted his head to watch the cold and indifferent Lo Ho, before slowly exhaling a breath. The other party's strength was even stronger than he had expected. Moreover, adding this to the fact that a rod specialized in defense, it would likely be very difficult to defeat him within a short time, even if the four of them were to join hands. What should we do? Shunur and the other two had similarly withdrawn to his side with frowns on their faces. The tortoise-like defense of the other party caused them to feel like a tiger eating a hedgehog, having no place to start. Xiao Yan glanced at the chaotic battle circle behind him. He immediately knit his eyebrows tightly together. The strength of the four members of the White Demon group similarly exceeded his expectations. The four metal rods danced like four metal shields. When the attack of an ordinary new student landed on it, not only was it ineffective, but it would also be reflected back by the strange force contained on it. Hence, within less than five minutes after this fight had begun, there were no less than five new students lying on the ground after their bodies had become weak from having the metal rod touching them. From the looks of it, it appeared that there would be a new student who lost their combat ability around every one minute or so. The gap between the classes was thoroughly displayed in this battle circle. Nearly over 40 Dushi class new students were actually unable to do anything against four Da Dushi class older students, this kind of great disparity caused people to be unable to help but sigh emotionally. This fight had only just begun, but the situation had already begun to shift away from expectations. This caused Xiao Yan's expression to be a little ugly. Those new students are indeed a plate of scattered sand. This year, if it were not for Xiao Yan, who had an extremely great gathering ability, it is likely that they would be like the previous years, being robbed by the older students until they had nothing. On the mountain slope, Sha Te eyed the dozens of people fighting against four people. Not only did the former group not have any success, but they were instead repeatedly losing more students. Sha Te could not help but shake his head and give voice to his thoughts. Yes. Su Xiao and the others beside him nodded. The overall strength of this year's new students was not much stronger than previous years. However, in the previous years, a person like Xiao Yan, who had the courage and resolution to gather all the new students, did not appear. However, even if that were the case, just an incomplete group of people did not have adequate strength to fight against a white demon group, the strongest tiger blocking their path. This battle cannot be dragged out for too long. The longer it is dragged, the more disadvantageous it is for Xiao Yan's group. Seeing the performance of those new students, it was clear that it was impossible for them to surround and defeat the white demon group. 
Instead, if it continues like this, in at most 20 minutes or so, they will be completely finished off. At that time, once the members of the White Demon group free up their hands, Xiao Yan's group will have no opportunities to turn things around. Sha Te helplessly said. Although he thought highly of that strange green-colored flame that Xiao Yan used, regardless of how that flame suppressed Lo Ho Ice Affinity Du Qi, the superb rod techniques the latter used was still able to block them. It appeared that it was a little too early for him to be gloating earlier. During the time that Sha Te and the others were discussing the situation that Xiao Yan's group faced, Xiao Yan had similarly discovered this point. He let out a long sigh and said, looks like we cannot delay any longer. Chi. Xiao Yan inserted the heavy ruler violently into the crack line of the rock. He turned his head towards Shunur and the two others, before saying in a deep voice, delay him. Buy me some time. Once he said these words, Xiao Yan flicked his finger. A purple-colored Yao and shot into his mouth. He chewed slightly and immediately spat out a cluster of purple flames in front of everyone's gazes. The flame landed in his palm. Seeing that Xiao Yan had actually spat out a cluster of purple-colored essence flame, the mountain slope immediately went into an uproar. Sha Te and the others, who originally felt regretful at the disadvantage Xiao Yan's group was facing, also had stunned expressions. They did not expect that other than the green-colored flame, Xiao Yan actually had another purple-colored flame. Elder Su and Elder King on the rock platform also raised their eyebrows in shock at this moment. Xiao Yan ignored the noise from the entire place. He tightly held the purple-colored flame with his left hand while he slowly raised his right hand. His finger twisted a little, and the elegant green-colored flame once again let out a throbbing sound and turned into a cluster of green flames, which stopped above his right hand. Following the appearance of the green-colored flame, the temperature of this region suddenly rose. The two colored flames that were soaring shined onto those stunned faces, causing the scene to appear especially comical. This. This is. The expressions of Elder Su and Elder King, who were leisurely leaning against the backs of their chairs on the rock platform, suddenly changed the instant that the green-colored flame appeared. Their bodies suddenly straightened, and their eyes stared intently at the elegant green flame. A moment later, they exchanged glances with one another and saw shock in each other's gazes. Heavenly flame? Their knowledge was naturally far from what Sha Te and the rest could compare with. Hence, the moment that the green lotus core flame appeared, the two of them were able to recognize the exact details of it. This damned Hu Jia. He actually did not even tell us about such important information. What a muddle-headed old man. The shock in their eyes still remained as Elder Su and Elder King muttered to each other. Lo Ho eyes stared intently at the two colored flames in Xiao Yan's hands. His usual cold and indifferent expression finally became extremely solemn. As he practiced Ice Affinity Du Qi, he was extremely sensitive to the change in temperature. The moment the green-colored flame appeared, he was basically shocked to discover that the ice-cold Du Qi in his body had actually become sluggish. What is that flame? It can actually affect the flow of the Du Qi in my body? On top of the solemnness on Lo Ho's face, there was an additional astonishment. His hands held the cold metal rod tightly as he used great effort to force his Du Qi to flow, trying his best to get rid of that clogged feeling. Seeing the two different colored flames in Xiao Yan's hands, Shunur and the other two understood his intentions. They nodded and the three of them immediately formed a triangle-shaped formation and explosively shot toward Lo Ho. Their Du Qi surged wildly and they actually unleashed the Du Qi in their bodies to the limit. Lo Ho did not dare to slight the sharp attack of Shunur's three-man team. Although he was extremely fearful of Xiao Yan behind them, he could only wave the cold metal rod in his hand at this moment and receive all of the attacks from the three of them. After which, he performed his fiercest counterattack, hoping to defeat the three of them in the shortest amount of time. At that time, the fighting strength of Xiao Yan, who had lost his companions, would be severely reduced. Of course, his idea was good, but Shunur's three-man team was not like those ordinary new students. After a few days of collaborating against their enemies, they had already trained until there was an understanding in their cooperation. Although the three of them were unable to break through Lo Ho's metal rod defense, even after working together, they were at least able to cause him to be unable to move his body to disturb Xiao Yan. With Shunur's group delaying Lo Ho, Xiao Yan's palms had already began to gradually make contact in front of everyone's gazes. Seeing this action of his, the older students of the Inner Academy might not have felt anything but the expressions of Elder Su and Elder King on the rock platform changed drastically. 
With their experience, they naturally clearly understood just what kind of immense force would be formed when such flames merged. This crazy fellow. Should we act to stop him? Elder King muttered. He immediately turned his head and asked Elder Sue by his side. Elder Su knit his brows tightly together. His eyes did not blink as he stared at Xiao Yan's calm and quiet face. A moment later, he shook his head and said, he seems to have some confidence. How can this be? Even if one was an elite Du Huang, one would not dare to do such a thing. Once he loses control and an explosion occurs, the destructive force released is more than frightening. Elder King said in a deep voice. Let's watch. Elder Su's gaze did not make the slightest movement. All he did was merely speak in a soft voice. You. Ah. Seeing this, Elder King could only helplessly sigh. The boundless Du Qi in his body also began to circulate, ready to handle any sudden and unexpected situations. After all, there were many students here observing the fight. Under the focus of all the gazes, the green-colored flame in Xiao Yan's hand finally made contact with the purple-colored flame. Immediately, wisps of green and purple flame seedlings began to swiftly spread out from the point of contact. At the spot where the two made contact, the space seemed to be torn apart by the powerful strength until it began to fluctuate. Xiao Yan's expression was indifferent as he eyed the two different colored flames, which were intertwined with one another. He heavily clapped his hands together, appearing as though he had done this hundreds of times. Following a clear muffled sound, the two flames were forcefully merged into a cluster of a green and purple flame. Spiritual strength swarmed out from his brow, maintaining it at a mysterious equilibrium. The green-purple flame repeatedly appeared distorted and immediately began to swiftly shrink in Elder Su's and Elder King's shocked gazes. It finally came to a slow stop after it had shrunk to around the size of a fist. The flame moved slightly before finally slowly broke apart. An extremely beautiful green-purple fire lotus drifted in front of Xiao Yan. Shunner, all of you move aside. The green-purple flame was suspended half an inch above Xiao Yan's palm. His expression was a little pale as he commanded them softly. As Xiao Yan's words sounded. Shunner and the two others, who were bitterly engaged in a stalemate with Lo Ho, immediately flashed and pulled back. In a few leaps, they appeared behind Xiao Yan. It's over. Xiao Yan lifted his head slowly and watched the horrified face of Lo Ho. A cold smile appeared on his pale face as he gently flicked the fire lotus out of his palm. The fire lotus immediately drew past the long empty air like a falling star. Under the focus of everyone's eyes, it carried a beautiful green-purple trail as it shot explosively toward Lo Ho. End of chapter. Chapter 456. Triumph. The green-purple fire lotus swiftly expanded in Lo Ho's eyes. The terrifyingly hot energy, which penetrated the air and swept over him, caused the cold sweat appearing on his forehead to be vaporized in an instant. On the ground, the dark green grass quickly withered anywhere the fire lotus swept past. Finally, the grass turned into black-colored ashes that scattered with the wind. The horror of being helpless to fight the destructive force quietly rose in Lo Ho's heart as he sensed it shooting explosively toward him. This kind of energy was really too large. He even had a faint intuition that if he were to be struck head-on by that beautiful fire lotus, it was likely that he would be turned into nothing more than dust, just like the green grass. Lo Ho's teeth firmly bit his lips. Blood traces flowed down from his mouth. The pain caused Lo Ho to recover from that helpless state and become a little more alert. His hands held the cold metal rod tightly, while his eyes stared intently at the fire lotus, which was coming increasingly closer to him. The latter's nearly lightning-like speed caused him to have nowhere to hide. Cold air swiftly seeped out from the cold metal rod. However, when the cold air appeared, it was incinerated by the high temperature that moved forward it until it let out a chi chi sound. Finally, it resulted in a white, misty fog that shrouded the messy rock area, causing everyone's sight to be somewhat obstructed. Lo Ho inhaled a deep breath of air. A crunching sound emitted from the cold metal rod that he held tightly in his hand due to the great strength he used. A drop of cold sweat moved along his forehead and dripped into his eyes. The astringent-like feeling caused a fury to suddenly swarm into Lo Ho's heart. A dignified strong Du Ling had actually nearly given up defending because of the attack of Amir Da Dushi. This kind of situation caused the him, who had a haughty character, to feel ashamed. Come. I want to see just how strong you, Xiao Yan, can be a low deep roar reverberated in his heart. Lo Ho's hands shook. Immediately, his ten-foot-long cold metal rod shook and formed a couple of afterimages. Du Qi in his body flowed wildly as it was unceasingly poured into the cold metal rod. 
As the dookie was swiftly poured in, one could see that layers of thick frost had begun appearing on the ice-like metal rod. Moreover, the temperature surrounding the rod's body had also begun to swiftly decline at this moment. Finally, it barely managed to isolate the heat from the fire lotus. The dookie in his body was swiftly flowing until it was exhausted. The frost on the cold metal rod became increasingly rich. In a few blinks of an eye, the cold metal rod, which was originally only as thick as an arm, suddenly gained nearly half a foot of thickness. It was now like an enormous ice pillar. Lo Ho's arms hugged the cold metal rod which had turned into an ice pillar. A sleek redness swarmed onto Lo Ho's face. He let out a low, deep, violent roar from his mouth and raised the enormous ice pillar high up before immediately smashing it down angrily. The force that was contained within the ice pillar was extremely powerful. In the short distance, there was a continuous stream low explosive sounds that were emitted in the air wherever the ice pillar passed through. In fact, when the ice pillar was still a few meters from the ground, the attack which had gathered all of Lo Ho's strength managed to even pass through the air and shook the rocks on the ground until quite a number of crack lines were formed. From this, it could be seen that Lo Ho's desperate attack was also not ordinary. The green-purple fire lotus cut through the air and struck toward Lo Ho. When it was less than two to three meters away, an enormous dark shadow that contained a cold wind descended from the sky. Finally, it heavily struck the fire lotus. Immediately, the space solidified for an instant. Soon after, a loud thunderclap, like an explosive thunder, resounded throughout the battlefield. Some of the people who were unable to prepare in time were even shaken by this loud sound until their ears were pressed tightly. After this thunderclap, the energy ripple that everyone had expected to form from the energy collision did not appear. The fire and ice appeared to be quietly neutralized within that rubble-filled region, covered by a faint white mist. Not the slightest ripple that contained any destructive force was emitted. This somewhat bizarre scene caused many people to be a little stunned. They faced one another with faces that were at loss. At this moment, Lo Ho's face was flushed within the white fog that people's gazes could not reach. His palms desperately held the cold metal rod, which was shaking repeatedly. At this moment, the thick frost on the body of the rod was melting at a rate visible to the naked eye. Since his palm was in contact with the rod, Lo Ho could sense an extremely frightening hot force was continuously invading through the cold metal rod from that obscure white fog. Lo Ho was able to imagine that once the icy frost that had been agglomerated from his Du Qi was completely exhausted, that frightening hot force would completely erupt. Although Lo Ho understood this in his heart, he did not have the slightest solution. Hence, he could only watch with his own eyes as the enormous ice pillar, which was agglomerated from the cold metal rod, melted swiftly. The heat that was transmitted from the tip of the rod was also becoming increasingly warmer. The icy frost on the cold metal rod lasted for merely 10 seconds before it was completely melted. Following the disappearance of all the icy frost, one could see that the cold metal rod, with an entire body like ice, turned from snow white into fiery red at an extremely swift rate. Chi. The spot where Lo Ho's hands held the cold metal rod suddenly revealed a white-colored fog and many strange sound. Quickly following this, one could hear a muffled groan that contained pain from Lo Ho. He swiftly released his hands and threw away the cold metal rod, which had nearly become burning charcoal. As the cold metal rod landed on the ground, it heavily smashed on top of a rock. In an instant, the rock burst apart. The fiery red rod's temperature was swiftly reduced. Immediately, it turned into an ordinary metal rod. Additionally, there were crack lines that were repeatedly spreading throughout the metal rod. Clearly, this cold metal rod, which seemed to cost quite a lot, had been completely turned into a lump of scrap metal. At this moment, Lo Ho did not have the time to feel any heartache about his weapon being turned into scrap metal. This was because at the instant when that the metal rod left his hand, he could clearly see a wisp of purple-green fire glow suddenly shooting toward him from within the white fog. The hot aura incinerated the white fog around it into nothingness. As some of the white fog was being incinerated, Lo Ho could clearly see the true face of that purple-green object. Shock involuntarily flashed across his eyes. He had discovered that the attack, which he had went all out to unleash earlier, had merely caused the appearance of this beautiful fire lotus to become a little dimmer. Its original body actually did not show the slightest signs of wavering. Just what class is this do technique in? It is actually strong to such an extent. On top of being shocked within his heart, Lo Ho, who did not have the time to dodge, could only clench his teeth and hurriedly maneuver the little Du Qi within his body. After which, he agglomerated and formed a simple thin Du Qi armor on his body. 
from the looks of it, it appeared that he was prepared to receive it head on. Xiao Yan's expression was similarly pale as he stood in the messy rock area. His gaze coldly eyed the area which was covered by the white fog. He raised his hands, paused slightly before suddenly clenching it. Immediately, his originally pale face became as white as sheet. His body also involuntarily quivered. The instant that Xiao Yan clenched his fist, the expressions of Elder Su and Elder King on the rock platform finally changed drastically. Elder Su suddenly stood up. His body paused before immediately disappearing in a bizarre manner from the rock platform. Bang! A deep, low explosion sounded from the messy rocky region. Immediately, a circular terrifying energy ripple began spreading out in a wave-like manner. Rocks were completely obliterated into dust anywhere it passed. This frightening destructive strength caused the older students on the mountain slope to become dull for a moment. Immediately, under a panicked loud cry, they began to leap over the other side of the mountain slope one after another in an extremely embarrassing fashion, just like rolling gourds. In an instant, the entire place had turned totally chaotic. The energy ripple had arrived quickly and left just as quickly. When it came into contact with the mountain slope, it left half-inch long crack lines before it gradually disappeared. After this continued for a while, the people behind the mountain slope finally carefully exposed their heads one at a time when they ceased hearing any activity. They eyed the area which had already turned into an extreme mess and involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air in a quiet fashion. Currently, the messy rocky area or, perhaps, it should no longer be called a messy rocky area. This was because there was no longer a single rock existing in this place. The only thing it had now was rock ashes that covered the ground. The large rocks from earlier appeared to have disintegrated due to the energy ripple with immense destructive strength. This? This was created by Xiao Yan? Everyone's eyes carried a little dullness as they stared at the messy rock area, which appears to have changed drastically. Shate, whose head had been exposed from behind a mountain slope, could not help but swallow his saliva and mutter. Su Xiao and the two other beside him stiffened their faces and nodded. Their gazes swept toward the skinny black-robed young man. In their hearts, they could not resist thinking that if this fellow were to have thrown the purple-green fire lotus when they were fighting within the forest, how many people in their groups would have survived. When they thought of this, cold sweat began to appear all over their bodies. The gazes they used to look at Xiao Yan were like they were looking at a monster. Was that fellow really only a Dadushi? Is this fellow really a Dadushi? This kind of destructive strength is sufficient to catch up with some six or seven star elite Du Lings. Sha Te recovered from his shock. He laughed bitterly as he slowly gave voice to what Su Xiao and the two others were thinking. Hearing this, Su Xiao and the other two nodded their heads, sharing the same feelings. That's right. What happened to Lo Ho? A voice suddenly sounded from the mountain slope. Immediately all the gazes suddenly turned toward the area in middle of the messy rocky area still covered by white mist. As everyone turned their gazes, most of the white-colored fog in that region began to dissipate. Finally, Lo Ho's figure was the first to appear in everyone's gazes. At this moment, Lo Ho was basically sitting with his butt down on the ground. That cold and indifferent face was currently in a kind of stiffened condition. However, looking at his appearance, it seemed that he was not injured. Seeing Lo Ho unharmed, a wave of shocked private conversation sounded from the mountain slope. From the looks of the destructive strength of the energy ripple that had spread out, Lo Ho's strength should not have been enough to leave him totally unaffected. However, just as everyone's hearts were filled with doubt, the white-colored fog finally completely disappeared. Following the disappearance of the fog, one could see Elder Su's body standing in front of Lo Ho. Elder Su? The people on the mountain slope immediately let out numerous gasps as they eyed Elder Su's figure. The old figure of the one called Elder Su had his hand maintained in an extended stance. From the looks of the huge pit in front of him, it appeared that the fire lotus attack earlier was blocked by him. No wonder Lo Ho was not the least bit injured. Elder Su stood in a straight manner on the spot, like a tree stump. A long while later, he slowly withdrew his hand with an indifferent face. After his hand had returned to his sleeves, it could not resist trembling a little. A solemnness flashed across his turbid eyes. Elder Su lifted his head under everyone's gazes and swept his gaze toward the pale-faced Xiao Yan. He was quiet for a moment before his soft voice resonated from this battlefield which had undergone a great battle. Little fellow, you new students can be considered the victors for this year's fire energy hunting competition. End of chapter. Chapter 457. Reward. Elder Su's somewhat old voice slowly reverberated, causing all the fights to pause at this moment. 
those older students of the inner academy on the mountain slope opened their mouths slightly. They wanted to say something, but they were unable to say anything. Oh. The silence outside the forest continued for a while, before those unmoving students could no longer resist the wild joy in their hearts. They let out a loud cheer. In their excitement, some of the new students did not even care about gender, as they hugged the companions who stood beside them. Their five to six days of difficult struggles had finally paid off. How could they not rejoice? A smile also surfaced on Xiao Yan's pale white face as he heard the happy cries that sounded from behind him. He held his chest and softly coughed a couple of times. He turned his head and eyed Shunur and the other two, whose faces were also filled with joy. With a smile, he said, looks like we do not need to hand over the things that we worked hard to come, bye big brother Xiao Yan, are you all right? Shunur hurriedly took two steps forward when she saw Xiao Yan's expression. She supported him and asked with heartache. It's nothing. I am just out of strength. Xiao Yan waved his hand. The power of the angry Buddha lotus flame was not small, and its consumption of spiritual strength and Du Qi was really too great. With Xiao Yan's current strength, he could only use it once in his prime condition. If he tried to forcefully use it a second time, he might descend into an unconscious state due to the exhaustion of his strength. It is really unexpected that you really have some tricks. No wonder Shunur constantly bore you in mind. It really is a pity. Hu Jia carelessly patted Xiao Yan's shoulders. Fighting side by side was usually the best way to improve the relationship between people. After these few days of living together, her heavy grudge that was formed because of Xiao Yan's tough attack during the qualifying competition had completely disappeared. From the bottom of her heart, the various things that Xiao Yan had shown these few days had really let her admire him. Shunur's sight is indeed not bad. However, I will work hard to catch up to you in terms of training. Wu Hao raised his head, and his mouth pulled a somewhat stiff arc toward Xiao Yan. Clearly, this battle crazy person, who had a withdrawn character and was excessively obsessive in training, had seldom given anyone else a smile. Xiao Yan smiled. He laughed and said, don't push all the credit onto me. I know my own strength. Without your help, I would not be able to make it this far, regardless of how strong I am. A lonely hero would not be able to walk far here and is also not suitable to be here. Hu Jia and Wu Hao quietly nodded when they heard this. Not being proud because of success. The insolence and wild arrogance that a young person usually possessed seemed to be unrelated to this precocious young fellow. This trait really caused them to marvel. Elder Su, we have not lost. Just as Xiao Yan was speaking, a dissatisfied voice suddenly sounded out. Everyone's gaze swept around. It was actually emitted from Lo Ho, who was seated with his butt on the ground. At this moment, the latter's face was still flush tread. Clearly, his pride could not accept being defeated by the hands of a Dadushi. That's right. We have not lost. We can still fight. The other four members of the White Demon group also cried out together, echoing their leader after hearing him speak. From the appearance of the earlier fight, as long as they were given enough time, the new students would be completely defeated. Therefore, they were naturally unwilling to end up receiving a situation where they had lost. All of you shut up. Elder Su's expression was solemn as he cried out coldly. Seeing that Elder Su had become angry, everyone hurriedly and wisely shut their mouths. They dared not say anything, including Lo Ho. If I had not intervened earlier, would you still have a life to be sitting here? Elder Su turned his head around and asked Lo Ho sternly, whose face was filled with dissatisfaction. Lo Ho's expression turned white. He clenched his teeth but became dispirited a moment later. He clearly knew that if Elder Su had not intervened, it was likely that the Inner Academy would no longer have a student called Lo Ho. A loss is a loss. What excuse do you need to find? Elder Su snorted coldly. His gaze looked all around him as he said in a deep voice, I have already said that the fire energy hunting competition this time around is already over. If you are still not satisfied, you can directly issue a challenge to the new students one month after they enter the Inner Academy. As long as they agree, the fighting arena of the Inner Academy is open anytime. However, for now, all of you should shut your mouths. Humph. Elder Su glanced once at Lo Ho, before sweeping his gaze over at Xiao Yan's group once again. Only then did his expression become softer as he said, as the victors of this year's fire energy hunting competition all the new students present will each obtain 20 days of fire energy. Xiao Yan, Xiao Shunur, Hu Jia, and Wu Hao will each obtain an additional green fire crystal card and 30 days of fire energy. Green fire crystal card? 
There was some noise from the mountain slope upon hearing the words that had popped out of Elder Su's mouth. Numerous envious gazes swept over Xiao Yan's four-man group. Green fire crystal card? What is that? Xiao Yan's four-man group, however, were somewhat at a loss with regards to this so-called green fire crystal card. They exchanged glances with one another, feeling a little uncertain. Kiki. Within the inner academy, the fire crystal cards, from the bottom to the top, are divided into black, blue, green, red, and purple colors. The black-colored crystal card in your hands is the lowest-grade crystal card. This kind of crystal card can only give you the qualification to train in the first and second levels of the Blazing Sky Key Refining Tower. The blue card has the qualification to enter the third and fourth level, and it continues on like this. If one wanted to raise the crystal card grade, one would need to exchange for it with fire energy within the inner academy. Usually, one would need to pay a hundred days worth of fire energy to exchange the black colored crystal card to a blue colored crystal card. In order to change a blue colored crystal card to a green colored crystal card, one would need 200 days of fire energy. Now that you have obtained the green fire crystal card as a reward, it is equivalent to you saving 300 days of fire energy. This is not a small sum. Among the older students of the inner academy present, most of them are currently holding a blue colored crystal card, with the exception of Lo Ho, who coincidentally changed his blue colored crystal card to a green colored crystal card last week. Elder Su smiled and explained after seeing the doubt of Xiao Yan and the others. 300 days worth of fire energy? Only after hearing this number did Xiao Yan and the others understand why the gazes of those around them were filled with envy. They had snatched from all of the older students in the forest until the latter were left with nothing. Adding that to this reward, each of their crystal cards had only just exceeded a hundred. From this, it could be seen that there should be some difficulty obtaining fire energy within the inner academy. Once Elder Su had finished explaining, he shook his hand, and four green-colored crystal cards appeared in his hand. He flicked his finger and the cards shot toward Xiao Yan's four-man group, finally coming to a suspended stop in front of them. The reward is already in there. Draw all the fire energy in your black crystal cards over. After that, hand the black crystal cards back to me. Xiao Yan and the others quickly did as they were told when they heard what he said. A moment later, they handed over their black crystal cards, which had become empty, over to Elder Su. Elder Su nodded slightly when he received the black-colored fire crystal cards. He smiled and said, all right. Since you have already successfully completed the fire energy hunting competition follow me into the inner academy. Once he finished speaking, he took the lead to turn around and slowly walk toward a stairs made of rock fragments that led up the mountain slope. We can finally enter the inner academy. That truly wasn't easy. Ah. Xiao Yan let out a long sigh when he saw Elder Su's back. He did not know just how much effort they had used in order to enter the inner academy. First, there was the qualifying competition, then there was the fire energy hunting competition. This inner academy was indeed not as easy to enter as he had thought. Let's go. Under everyone's gazes, Xiao Yan waved to Shunar and the others and lead the way, following behind Elder Su as he climbed up the stairs. The fragmented rock stairs could not be considered to be very high. Xiao Yan's group managed to ascend to the last step after merely one to two minutes. After which, they raised their bodies and stood at the peak of the mountain slope. Their gazes swept around once in front of them. The scene, which appeared in front of them, caused them to slowly inhale a breath of somewhat icy cold air. This is the inner academy? A soft mutter was emitted from the mouths of those new students on the mountain slope. Behind the mountain slope was an extremely big basin with a depression. The shape of this basin was like it had been smashed and formed from an enormous rock falling from the sky. Tall buildings stood within the basin. Looking down from high above, everyone was able to see numerous flea-like shadows flashing and jumping above the buildings. Their gazes focused in front of them, only to realize that the size of this basin was strangely large. The edge of their sight could only see the tall buildings and a lush green color, but not the other side of the basin. It was difficult to imagine that there was actually such a unique ground hidden within the endless mountains behind the Jianan Academy. Kiki, little fellows, welcome to the place where the core of the Jianan Academy is located. The Inner Academy. Elder Su smiled as he eyed the shocked faces of the new students as he clapped his hands and spoke. The strong people here. So many. A fanatic enthusiasm rose on Wu Hao's face as he whispered to himself. Xiao Yan helplessly smiled when he heard this. This fellow was really without a doubt a fighting maniac. Xiao Yan lifted his gaze and slowly swept it across the enormous basin. 
A moment later, he inhaled a deep breath of air as he muttered in his heart, fallen heart flame. Is it really here? Hopefully, you will not disappoint me. All right. Since the hunting competition has concluded, all the new students, follow me back to the inner academy. I will help you all settle in. After that, you will all truly be members of the inner academy. Trust me. As long as you are able to persist here, you will feel that everything is worthwhile when you see your improvements when you finally leave this place. Elder Su's gaze paused on Xiao Yan's group as he slowly said. All the new students nodded lightly. From those older students, they were able to discover just what kind of great benefits they would obtain if they trained in this inner academy. Let's go. Everyone, follow closely. Elder Su waved his hand. His body turned into a vague shadow as he swiftly rushed toward the enormous basin. Behind him, all the new students also immediately moved their bodies. Like locusts in transit, they rushed down from the mountain slope. Numerous excited bellows lingered over this place and did not disappear for a long time. End of chapter. Chapter 458. Settling in. Creek. A wooden door was slowly pushed open. A thread of sunlight passed through the gap and spread out, finally forming a narrow and long line of light on the ground. As the wooden door was completely pushed open, the line of light swiftly expanded. Immediately, a few human shadows, which were pulled by the sunlight until their length was no longer proportional also entered. The leader, an old man, swept over the spacious small pavilion home, smiled and said, Xiao Yan, this will be the residence of the four of you in the future. Four of us? Hearing this, Hu Jia, who was following behind, could not help but be startled. She immediately said in a stunned voice, Elder Su, don't tell me that you want Shunur and I, two girls, to stay with these two big men? Kiki, Hu Jia girl, this pavilion home is fairly large, and there are quite a number of rooms. It is not like we are asking you to sleep in the same bed. What are you so anxious of? Elder Su smiled and shook his head. His gaze moved over the four of them as he continued, that's right. You all have another group member, right? Uh? Xiao Yan was a little sluggish when he heard Elder Su's question. He shrugged his shoulders, not quite knowing how to answer. He ran. He saw the powerful strength of the Black Demon group, thus he abandoned us and fled. Hu Jia spread her hands and laughed coldly. She did not have the same concerns that Xiao Yan had. Her words did not leave any face for Bai Shan. Clearly, the actions of Bai Shan in abandoning his companions and fleeing by himself caused her to hold him in great contempt. Ran away? What a short-sighted person. Elder Su was also startled. He immediately shook his head and spoke with a faint smile. In the future, the four of you will belong to the Inner Academy. I will remind you that unless your strength is extremely strong, it is not easy to muddle along within the Inner Academy all alone. Due to what the environment encourages, all the older students in the Inner Academy are divided into factions and territories. I think that you will understand these things soon. Elder Su voiced his thoughts. The Inner Academy actually has such things? Why don't you all put a stop to it? Hu Jia's knit her eyebrows together and asked. Kiki, why should we put a stop to it? This kind of competition is what our Inner Academy needs and wants. If you don't want to be bullied, you need to work hard to raise your strength. Otherwise, everything is out of discussion. The strong are respected. This will forever be the tune of this world. We do not want to let the Inner Academy become an ivory tower where everyone is carefree. This is because such an environment would not produce truly strong people. Elder Su faintly replied. Hu Jia could only curl her lips when she heard Elder Su's explanation. Xiao Yan and Wu Hao nodded their heads in approval. They had undergone true temperament and clearly understood just what kind of environment could create a truly strong person. Hence, by letting you stay together, we actually want you to form a group. In the hunting competition, you should all have understood just what kind of fighting strength a group can create, no? Elder Su smilingly said, from today on, I hope that the four of you can face all your difficulties together and become a group that does not abandon each other. If all of you are able to do this, your life in the Inner Academy will be much more relaxed. No matter the case, a person's strength cannot be compared to a group's strength, right? I am fine with it. I have no objections to Xiao Yan's strength. Wu Hao hesitated for a moment before nodding slightly and speaking with a feigned voice. Shunur laughed gently. She would naturally not object to being together with Xiao Yan. Ah, all right. Although I don't want to admit it, following this fellow does indeed make me feel safer. Hu Jia spread her hands, nodded helplessly and gave voice to her reply. All of you are relying on me. Xiao Yan could not help but laugh bitterly when he saw their actions. 
although the expression on his face was like this, there was a strange feeling within his heart. He was all alone during the nearly three years of training. Perhaps it was as his character dictated, but he had gotten used to facing his struggles alone. However, seeing the manner in which Wu Hao and the other two handed over command of their group, it was undoubtedly a form and showing of trust and acceptance. This kind of feeling was something that Xiao Yan never had when he trained alone in the past. Kiki, it is naturally for the best if all of you can act in this matter. Elder Su nodded with satisfaction when he saw that the four people had come together to form a group without any hesitation. He waved his hand and said, all right. It is already quite late. You should tidy up your own rooms and rest for the night. From tomorrow on, you can all go and take a look around the inner academy as you please. I think that this place will not disappoint you. Is there really no training curriculum or classes? Hu Jia hurriedly asked when she heard this. The inner academy doesn't need such a thing. As long as you have sufficient fire energy you are permitted to enter the blazing sky key refining tower. Training in that place is more effective than any training curriculum. Oh, that's right. I have nearly forgotten. Each week the academy will collectively organize students to enter the blazing sky key refining tower once. If you want to talk about training curriculum, that can be considered as such. Elder Su laughed softly and said, additionally, the inner academy also has a do technique house key method hall and other such places. If you want to obtain any do techniques or key method, you can go over there and take a look. Of course, this is on the precondition that you have sufficient fire energy to exchange for them. Compared to the outer academy, there is actually much more freedom in the inner academy. If you feel that you don't have sufficient fire energy and that your hands are itchy, you can go to the fighting arena to earn fire energy. Of course, the precondition is that you must possess sufficient strength. Otherwise, you will lose until you have nothing left. Xiao Yan and the three others nodded their heads to express that they understood. If you don't have any other questions, go and rest. If you have any problems, you can come and find me. Elder Su waved his hands at the four of them, turned around, and walked out. He finally disappeared from the sight of Xiao Yan's group. As he watched Elder Su leave, Xiao Yan clapped his hands and smiled to Shunur and the other two, let's tidy up the rooms. This place may perhaps be our long-term home in the near future. Yes. Shunur and the other two smiled and nodded. They immediately split up, each going to search for their own room. The silver moon hung high in the sky as night fell. The faint moonlight scattered from the sky, covering the enormous basin within. Xiao Yan was seated cross-legged on the bed within a quiet room. His hands had formed the training seal. Following his cyclic breathing, threads of energy, visible to the naked eye, began to swim out of the air. Finally, they moved along with the breathing and entered unceasingly into Xiao Yan's body. Next to Xiao Yan, a seven-colored small snake was floating mid-air. Its small body was moving with a strange rhythm, and as it moved, the space around it began to fluctuate. An energy that was over ten times stronger than Xiao Yan's own was that pushed into the small snake's body. What was strange was that despite the huge energy and the small body of the snake, there was no movement. It was as if a few stones had been thrown into a bottomless abyss, leaving no ripples. The training continued for about an hour. Only then did the drifting energy gradually recede. Xiao Yan's eyelashes moved slightly. A moment later, he opened his eyes and exhaled coarse air that had been restrained in his chest. I have finally recovered. The consumption from the angry Buddha lotus flame is really too large. However, the nearly one week of fighting in the forest did have quite a lot of benefits for me. Xiao Yan softly muttered. At this moment, his originally pale face had once again recovered its sleek redness. His pair of pupils appeared to be covered by a layer of faint, warm jade, appearing extremely strange. Not long after Xiao Yan's training ended, the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python also finished one night of training. It extended its snake tongue and hissed at Xiao Yan. Seeing this, the latter helplessly shook his head. He could only take out a bottle of amethyst lion birth essence and flicked a couple of drops into its mouth. After which it shook its tail in a carefree manner and went back into Xiao Yan's sleeves. This gluttonous little fellow. Xiao Yan's hand rubbed the heaven-swallowing python that twined around his arm. He bitterly laughed. He was just about to speak when the dark black ring on his finger suddenly trembled. Yao Lao's old illusionary figure immediately began to slowly float out. Teacher? How is it? Did you search for the fallen heart flame? Xiao Yan braced his spirit when he saw Yao Lao appear and hurriedly asked in a soft voice. This, I didn't. Yao Lao smiled. His gaze swept all around him. 
Seeing Xiao Yan's disappointed expression, he laughed softly, however, it is not that I did not acquire anything. After you entered the inner academy, I faintly sensed a little unusual aura. However, this inner academy is the core of Jianan Academy, with many strong people. Therefore, I also didn't really dare to probe too thoroughly. Unusual aura? Xiao Yan was slightly startled. He said in surprise, is this related to the heavenly flame? That should be correct. Within this inner academy, there might really be the thing that you need. Yao Lao mused for a moment before nodding. He said, according to my probing, the place that is releasing the unusual aura seems to be on the northern side of the inner academy. If you have time tomorrow, go and take a look around that side. We might be able to find some clues. Xiao Yan hurriedly nodded when he heard this. It was good as long as they had a clue. He was most afraid of ending up with not the slightest news related to the heavenly flame after putting in all his effort to enter this inner academy with great difficulty. There are many things within this inner academy that you need to rely on yourself for. If I were to act, I'm afraid that others might discover. Yao Lao sighed. Ah. Ki Ki. Didn't teacher say that I relied too heavily on you far too much in the past? The current environment now does not pose any harm to me. Xiao Yan replied with a smile on his face. It is naturally good that you can think in this manner. You need not worry about that mysterious hall of souls chasing you here, within the inner academy. Therefore, you can be at ease and raise your strength here. Yao Lao nodded in a gratified manner as he spoke. Xiao Yan's heart sunk a little when the mysterious hall of souls was mentioned. This strange faction was something that even a strong person like Yao Lao feared this much. It was really difficult to imagine just how frightening its strength actually was. Ah. Teacher, you can rest assured. Only after seeing Xiao Yan nod his head did Yao Lao's body shake. It once again turned into a shadow that disappeared into the ring. Looks like I can only hurry up and look for the second type of heavenly flame. After which, I should help teacher refine a body that can accommodate his spirit. Otherwise, that hall of souls would ultimately be a poisonous snake that is hidden within the darkness, making it very hard to defend. Xiao Yan's finger slowly knocked on the back of his hand as he eyed Yao Lao disappearing. A long while later, he exhaled a long breath and mused within his own heart. End of chapter. Chapter 459. New Students Tribute Fee. When Xiao Yan walked out from his room the next morning, he saw two human figures flashing and interlocking with one another within the hall of their new pavilion home. Powerful Du Qi swarmed out from within the bodies of the two of them and rippled throughout the entire hall. On a chair in one corner of the hall, Shunur was smiling as she watched the two figures. When she heard the sound of footsteps, she suddenly turned around and eyed Xiao Yan, who was climbing down the stairs. She could not help but hurriedly move forward to greet him. In a gentle voice, she smiled and asked, Big Brother Xiao Yan are you awake? Yes. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He faced the two people in the hall and asked with a smile, What are those two fellows doing? Perhaps it's because of this hunting competition. When they were training last night, Wu Hao and Hu Jia each advanced to a seven-starred Adu she won after the other. They wanted to spar when they woke up in the morning. Hence. Shunner covered her mouth and explained with a laugh. Oh. They have advanced? Xiao Yan lifted his eyebrows when he heard this. He immediately sighed and shook his head. These two fellows were worthy of being the top among Jianan Academy's outer academy. Their talent far exceeded that of an ordinary person. If one were to just discuss training talent, they would even be on the same level as Xiao Yan. What about Shunner? What is your level now? Xiao Yan turned his head over, threw his gaze toward Shunner as he questioned with a smile. This girl had demonstrated training talent that caused even him to be amazed at. When he had left Wu Tan City, Shunner was merely a Duji. Now, after only over two years' time, she was already at the Da Dushi level. This kind of speed was something that he would likely have difficulty catching up to if he did not have Yao Lao's help. Moreover, Shunner was even younger than Xiao Yan. Me. I am also at the seven-star Da Dushi level now. However, after this fire energy hunting competition, I have been feeling that I am close to advancing. I think that within three or four days, I should be able to successfully become an eight-star Da Dushi. Shunara lifted the teacup beside her, sipped shallowly and smiled as she replied to Xiao Yan. Tisk tisk, one after another. Xiao Yan could not help but click his tongue. It appeared that all of the people in this small four-man group were not ordinary people. All of them had shocking talent and great potential. Moreover, Xiao Yan dared to say that all three of them had their own hidden abilities and trump cards. 
if they were to meet an extremely dangerous situation, the strength that would erupt from them shocked people. He did not have any doubt when it came to this matter. After all, Hu Jia's grandfather was the Outer Academy's deputy headmaster, with a strength that was near the peak of the Du Huang class. Toward his only granddaughter, he would naturally not hold back when teaching her. According to what instructor Ru Ling and the others had said, the person behind Wu Hao appeared to be the commander of the law enforcement unit. This unit was basically the armed forces of the Jianan Academy. Usually, they focused on handling diabolical and fierce people who originated from the Black Corner region. By being able to become the commander of such a unit, it was likely that his strength was not much weaker than Deputy Headmaster Hu Gan. There was even less need to talk about Shun Er. Even until now, Xiao Yan was still uncertain of the enormous faction behind her. Of course, from the somewhat fearsome tone of Yao Lao, he could vaguely sense the huge outline. With the background of the three of them, Xiao Yan did not think that the trump cards that they possessed would be much weaker than his own. Since he could rely on the secret technique to defeat an elite Du Ling, it was likely that they would also be able to do something similar, no? Bang, bang. Just as Xiao Yan was sighing endlessly over the strength of this small group of his, a hurried knocking sound suddenly sounded from the door in an untimely fashion. Xiao Yan lifted his head uncertainly. His gaze swept toward the front door, and Shunner obediently stood up and swiftly walked over. Wu Hao and Hu Jia had ceased sparing when they heard the knock. They grabbed the towels beside them and wiped off their perspiration. After which, they walked over to Xiao Yan's side, lifted the teacups on the table, and swallowed the tea in one gulp. What happened? Wu Hao asked vaguely after drinking. We will know once we take a look. Xiao Yan smiled and lifted his head only to see Shunner, who had opened the door and conversed with the person outside for a while, swiftly walking back. Shunner, what is it? Hu Jia smiled and asked Shunner a question as she tied a purple belt around her pretty waist, illustrating her already delicate and narrow waist until it was even more alluring. There are dozens of new students outside saying that they want to meet big brother Xiao Yan. Shunner knit her eyebrows slightly as she spoke. New students? Is there something wrong? Forget it, let them in. Xiao Yan was slightly startled before he immediately replied. Yes. Shunner nodded her head when she heard this. She beckoned with her hand to the area outside the door. Immediately, more than ten figures swarmed in and came over, surrounding Xiao Yan's group. For some unknown reason, their faces were all flush tread. Senior Xiao Yan. Being a fellow new student, you must definitely help us. The older students in this inner academy have really gone too far. It was a young man whose face was somewhat flushed in agitation. Xiao Yan still remembered that this young man was one of the three people who was still standing after matching up against that single Black Demon Group member in that match with the Black Demon Group during the hunting. Competition? If he recalled correctly, his name was Atai. What happened? Tell me clearly. Xiao Yan frowned and said. Starting from this morning, some older student groups entered the new students' area, shouting all the while. They wanted to collect what they called the new student tribute fee, which is two days' worth of fire energy per person. We also know that as a newcomer, there is no need to act too sharply. It is all right if we just endured a little. Thus, we did not say anything and handed the fire energy payment to them. In the end, it is unexpected that after we dispatched that group of people, even more older student groups came one after another, repeatedly barging into our new students' area. They blocked the exit and are now asking us to pay again. Until now, three groups have already arrived. If this continues, the little fire energy that us new students have obtained after fighting desperately with Senior will have been completely taken away. The young man named Atai clenched his teeth and spoke resentfully. Aren't these people going too overboard? Hu Jia's pretty face sunk slightly as her delicate hand heavily slammed down on the armrest of a chair. Xiao Yan held a teacup with both hands. His eyes narrowed, but he did not open his mouth to say anything. Senior Xiao Yan, we have come to look for you, not because we want you to help exempt us from such harassment. We also understand that as new students of the Inner Academy, it is unavoidable to be bullied by the older students. I have also inquired with some friends. In previous years, the new students needed to pay a little of this so-called new student tribute fee, but it was not like what is happening to us now, where one group after another came. From what that friend of mine said, the reason for things being as such this year was because the performance of the new students in the fire energy hunting competition caused some older students' hearts to be in a bad mood. Thus, this kind of new situation has appeared. But I laughed bitterly and sighed. 
By saying all of these things, I am not blaming senior Xiaoyan. You have led us to avoid being suppressed and bullied by the older students during the fire energy hunting competition. The reputation of senior Xiaoyan is now the highest in the hearts of this year's new students. Hence, we can only request that you step forward now that we have met such a troublesome situation. Hopefully, this can allow us new students to conclude these layers upon layers of exploitation. Otherwise, if we do not even have enough training payment to enter the Blazing Sky Key Refining Tower, how are we even going to discuss training in the Inner Academy then? Dot I stared intently at Xiao Yan as he continued, if it is really not possible, we, new students, would rather hand over that so-called new students tribute fee to senior Xiao Yan, instead of giving it to those bastards. Give me the new students tribute fee? Won't that mix me into a class similar to those older students? Xiao Yan smiled faintly. His finger gently tapped on his teacup, emitting a clear sound. After musing for a while, he smiled and said to Atai, since those older students are blocking the exit and collecting the tribute, I think that the few of us will not fall between the gaps. Why don't we do this? You will go and gather all the new students. We will hurry over immediately. In that case, Senior Xiao Yan, thank you very much. If you are in need of assistance in the future, this batch of new students will gladly listen to Senior Xiao Yan's orders. Hearing this, Atai and the 10 plus new students following him immediately rejoiced. They hurriedly bowed to Xiao Yan and quickly exited the hall of the pavilion house. After seeing the new students leave, Xiao Yan turned his head, eyed Shun Er and the two others, and asked, How do you all see this matter? You are the group leader, you make the decisions. However, we cannot just be some unresisting lamb that allows those people to bully, right? Hu Jia frowned and said, moreover, if you do not bother to intervene in this situation, the reputation that you have accumulated among these new students with great difficulty might perhaps immediately collapse and you would lose a great deal of people's support. Elder Su said yesterday that there are many scattered factions within the Inner Academy. In the future, if we want to stay here for a long time, just the four of us may perhaps be a little weak. Now is a good chance to draw people in. By relying on your reputation among the new students, as long as you dare to lead and take the risk of being beaten, there would perhaps be around 80 or 90 percent of the new students willing to follow you. Shunner voiced her thoughts. You want us to form our own faction? Xiao Yan was a little astonished as he spoke. It would ultimately be better than joining someone else's faction. It is just like you said earlier. It should also be difficult for us to escape paying that so-called tribute fee. Since this is the case, why don't we gather everyone together? Although the strength of the new students is a little weak now, if we add up a few dozen of us, an ordinary small group would, at the very least, not dare to come and harass us again. No matter how one puts it, it would save us a lot of trouble. Shunner spread her hands and smiled as she explained. What Shunner said could work. Rather than letting the new students assimilate into other factions, why don't we try to gather them all together and let them work for us? Wu Hao nodded slightly and agreed. Xiao Yan knit his brows tightly. His hands repeatedly rubbed the teacup. Seeing his deep in thought appearance, Shunner and the other two did not dare to speak or interrupt him. They merely quietly waited for his decision. Huh. The silence continued for a couple of minutes before Xiao Yan finally let out a long sigh. He stood up and said in a deep voice, All right, I will do as you guys have suggested. Now is the best opportunity to rope in the new students. Once we lose this opportunity, it would be ten times more difficult if we wanted to rope them in in the future. Go. Once he said these words, Xiao Yan waved his hand and strode out the front door. Shunner and the other two exchanged glances with each other before immediately smiling and following Xiao Yan with swift footsteps. End of chapter. Chapter 460. Deterrence and Politeness. When they walked out of the pavilion house, there was a large road filled with greenery. On both sides of the large road were living quarters for the other new students. Of course, compared to the small pavilion house of Xiao Yan's group, theirs were much simpler and more crude. From the looks of it, such treatment was not something that everyone would receive. There was not the slightest shadow of a new student on the road at this moment. It was likely that they had all gathered at the exit. Xiao Yan's four-man group did not dare be slow. Their toes gently pressed on the ground and their bodies turned into wisps of light smoke as they swiftly rushed to the end of the large road. Around four to five minutes later, the swiftly traveling four-man group slowed down. They lifted their heads and eyed the end of the road. They did indeed see a large group of people squeezing together there. Noisy abuses repeatedly rang out. 
Xiaoyan waved his hands and lead the three others as they walked closer to the group of people. When the new students that had gathered around this place saw Xiaoyan's four-man group, their faces could not help but become filled with great joy. They had just cheered when they were interrupted by Xiaoyan's hand gesture. Immediately, they hurriedly shut their mouths. Xiaoyan's four-man group cupped their hands toward the new students and greeted them. Their gazes passed through the gaps in the crowd and eyed the exit. Currently, the exit of the main road was being blocked by seven or eight older students who wore tower-shaped badges on their chests. There was another large group of older students watching the fun from behind them. Clearly, they were very happy to see the new students being suppressed. This was because they had all undergone this hurdle in the past. On the opposite side of the eight older students was Atai, who had just went to request Xiaoyan's help earlier. At this moment, he was leading the new students. His expression was green as he faced off against the older students. There is no need for any more nonsense. Little brat, the new student tribute fee is a custom of the inner academy for so many years. We were not harsh with you at all. Therefore, just obediently hand it over. Losing wealth will help you avert disaster. Don't tell me that you don't know this fact. A young man, who was around 25 years old, smiled as he eyed the green-faced Atai and the others opposite him. He continued with, everyone hand over two days worth of fire energy, and I guarantee that you will all be safe and secure within the inner academy. This transaction is actually quite a bargain. Humph. Don't think that we, new students, don't know the rules. It was indeed true that the new students should pay the tribute fee to the older students. However, the Inner Academy also has an informal rule that the new students would at most give to two factions. After paying these two factions, the other factions would have to go after those two factions and talk with them if they still wanted to collect fire energy off of us. It would no longer be our problem. But I coldly snorted and angrily replied, however, today, from this morning until now, no less than five factions have come. What fire energy do we have to give you all? He he, that is under normal circumstances, but aren't you all from this batch of new students very strong? In so many years, I have never heard of any new students defeating older student groups and stealing their fire energy in the fire energy hunting competition. Since you are all so special and independent, the rules that apply to you all should naturally be special. That young man parted his mouth and spoke with a smile. Moreover, currently, you are not as poor as ordinary new students. The fire energy on your bodies may be much richer than most older students. You are talking nonsense. We have already said that we will not give a single day more of fire energy. No matter whether we still have fire energy in our hands or not, all of you can forget about it. Atai's face was green as he scolded them furiously. Behind him, the faces of many students were also angry. This repeated exploitation had completely infuriated them. He, all right. Very good. You are indeed a bunch of people with hard bones. Hearing this, that older student could not help but laugh coldly. He spoke in a sinister manner, little fellows, you should not forget that this is not the outer academy. Other than the fighting arena in the inner academy, it may be true that one cannot take people's life in the other parts of the inner academy. However, when people spar, one would usually suffer some physical pain, no. If you really don't pay up today, I will not dare to guarantee that you will not receive some unjust treatment when you all leave this place. A young person should not be swayed by his emotions and act impulsively. You. Seeing the dark smile of the young man, a fiery light once again rose within their hearts. Their eyes were spitting fire. There is no need to guarantee. The new students no longer need to pay you even half a day's worth of fire energy. The senior, please return to where you came from. A faint cold laughter suddenly sounded from within the group of new students. Who dares? The expression of that young man swiftly became dark and solemn. His gaze coldly swept over the new students and his fist twisted slightly. In a cold voice, he said, this batch of new students is indeed just like what the others had said. Their arrogance is boundless. Looks like as a senior, it is my duty to teach you all what the inner academy is really about. Kiki, just as well. In that case, I will experience senior's teachings. A cold laughter sounded once again. Immediately, the new student group parted and formed a path. Four human figures slowly walked out. It's senior Xiao Yan. Seeing the appearance of the four people, a cheer immediately sounded from the new students around. After the success of the fire energy hunting competition, the reputation of Xiao Yan, within the hearts of the new students, was already quite high. Xiao Yan? He is the Xiao Yan that defeated Lo Ho? 
Hearing the cheers from the surroundings, some of the older students, who were watching the fun from the main road, could not help but emit surprised gasps. Their gazes carried some bizarreness as they stared at the black-robed young man. You are Xiao Yan? Seeing that the emotions of the new students had suddenly soared, the expressions of those older students blocking the entrance also changed a little. Clearly, they were quite afraid of Xiao Yan's reputation. After all, Lo Ho could be considered among the top 100 people within the entire Inner Academy. At the very least, Lo Ho had once squeezed his way into the strong ranking. Although there was some luck involved in it and he only stayed within the ranking for three days, being able to even get ranked naturally represented his extraordinary strength. Yet, even this strong person was defeated by Xiao Yan's hands. Hence, some of the older students in the Inner Academy feared Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan glanced at the young man, whose expression was changing repeatedly. He crossed his arms in front of his chest as said with a smile, I am Xiao Yan. May I know what advice senior has? Do you intend to be the bird that stands out? Although you defeated Lo Ho, you should know that there are many in this inner academy who are much stronger than Lo Ho. That young man was unwilling to throw his face and withdraw in public. At that moment, he could only stiffen his neck and coldly snort. We, the new students, do not have any intention of appearing arrogant. In the hunting competition it was merely because the actions of some older students were too extreme. We understand in our hearts that being newcomers, we should hold back our vigor. This is the best method for new people to assimilate. Therefore, we are no exceptions. We are willing to pay the tribute fee that we should give according to customary rules. However, with regards to those other harsh rules, I, Xiao Yan, will clearly say this here. We will definitely not accept them. If you want to use force, the 46 of us new students present can only go all out to take you on. Xiao Yan gaze was slightly cold as he looked all around him and spoke with a deep voice. Bang. As Xiao Yan's words filled the air, the expressions of the dozens of new students behind him immediately became excited. Their feet violently stomped against the ground, and Du Qi surged. In a moment, dozens of different Du Qi forces agglomerated together. The pressure that formed caused the older students to hurriedly retreat a few paces. You. Xiao Yan. Don't think that you can be arrogant just because you have more people. We are people from Kingshan. Offending us in the inner academy. The face of that young man could not help but become ugly after being startled and forced back by the force of a group of mere new students. Immediately, he let out a furious warning. However, his warning had yet to be fully delivered when he heard the sound of rushing wind abruptly charging toward him. A black shadow immediately swept past his eyes, and his shoulders suddenly sank. He was shocked to realize that an enormous black ruler was already placed on his neck. I will say this once more. We, new students, are willing to pay those that we should pay. From now on, we will not pay even half a day's worth of fire energy to those that we do not need to pay. I don't care which faction you belong to. If you continue speaking such nonsense here, don't blame me, Xiao Yan, for ignoring my manners. Xiao Yan held the ruler with his left hand. His dark black pupils stared intently at the young man, who felt the pressure from the heavy ruler until he was sinking. His voice was cold. As he saw the coldness in Xiao Yan's eyes, the throat of the older student rolled slightly. A drop of cold sweat dripped down from the rest of older students' foreheads. He could sense that there was a real thick cold killing intent contained in the voice of the young man who was much younger than him. Chi. The heavy ruler moved slightly, carrying a rushing wind sound as it was placed back on Xiao Yan's back. Xiao Yan slowly stepped backward and finally pulled back such that he stood in front of Shunur and the two others. Just you wait. The older student's face was alternating between green and white shades after seeing Xiao Yan step back. A long while later, he finally waved his sleeves in an anger caused by shame. He turned his body and left behind some vicious words before leading his people and fleeing from this place. Seeing that Xiao Yan had actually frightened that group of older students away, all the new students could not help but once again emit cheers. The gazes they used to look upon Xiao Yan were incomparably hot. Clearly, Xiao Yan stepping forward to speak for them this time around had completely caused all these new students to approve of his position. All the seniors. We, this batch of new students, do not have some special ability and don't want any special privileges. As for the fire energy hunting competition, I have already said earlier that it was merely because the actions of the older students were too extreme. Now that we have entered the inner academy as newcomers, we have no intention of taking this chance to be arrogant. Everyone here is our senior. We, the new students, will not pay those that we don't need to pay. 
Hence, everyone need not view us, this batch of new students, differently. Xiao Yan will thank all of you here. Xiao Yan lifted his head to eye those older students who were watching at the intersection. He cupped his hands and spoke in a clear, courteous voice. Xiao Yan had just established his might but was now speaking in such a courteous manner. This action of Xiao Yan caused some of those older students to look at one another. A moment later, some of those with a more sensitive mind could not help but quietly nod their heads. This Xiao Yan was quite the character. He knew his limits when he did things. Behind Xiao Yan, Shunur and the two others also nodded slightly. No matter how strong they were, it was definitely impossible for them to make enemies of all the older students in the inner academy. If Xiao Yan appeared even a little proud after establishing his might, these matters might be passed into the ears of quite a number of strong people within the inner academy. At this time, it was difficult to avoid having people come and make things difficult for them. This time around, only some weaker older students had come. The next time around may well be truly strong people. They were able to defeat Lo Ho, but Lo Ho's strength was only average within the inner academy. Hence, they were currently unable to do things in such a high-profile manner. The most important thing was to quickly gain a foothold in the inner academy and do their utmost to train in order to raise their overall strength. This was the long-term solution. End of chapter.